yes, I always have to start every stream with a throat clear. <laughs> I'm sorry, give me, give me a second here. Give me, give me, give me just a second. Oh, Lordy Lou. Uh, let me go ahead and move this over here. No, nope, move all the way. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Move all the way over here. There we go. And there we go. Hello. Uh, do I have everything? Got my drink up there. Got my food down here. Awesome. Hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, as you notice, some things are looking a little bit crisper than normal. Got a new camera. And uh, Beardly Niji helped me out with a couple settings. So it looks even better than it did last night. I'm going to wait for a couple people to get in. I know there's a couple people who uh, wanted to take a gander at what we're doing today. Let me switch us here. And again, because I'm on restream, uh, unfortunately, uh, the uh, donation section is empty. Uh, but we did get a couple uh, donations, so that was nice to see. Um, and our friend goal is at 16. Not bad at all. I'm actually very happy to see uh, some new faces here. Well, new names. Because you can't really see the faces from this side of the stream, but... Let me lower this real quick. You guys aren't supposed to see the mic. <laughs> uh, and sorry for being late. A little bit late. What time is it? It is 6.09. My goodness, I'm so sorry. I was heating up some Hot Pockets. That is the excuse, and I'm going with it. Food comes first sometimes, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. weird but because uh, we're not actually doing any e3 events but if y'all remember oops if y'all remember uh what we're discussing in the last stream uh we will be doing um let me pop this out real quick uh, we will be doing a uh, a kind of a modded stream today i say modded because it was created by somebody else um, go ahead and, uh, should I keep this open? No, I'll go ahead and pop out the chat so I can read it over here. And then, of course, let me bring up the, uh, the website as well. To kind of give you an idea where we are, uh, getting this new content today. Put on Discord here resources and links and we have add-ons yep i want to pop that out over here there we are so there is a website very familiar website to a lot of people uh called mod db and that's where we're getting our content today mod db is a website for mods add-ons extra maps extra content modded cameras all that good stuff and uh, one of the things that uh, we had recently found, I don't think it's add-ons, I believe it's files. Um, yeah, the full release of the E3 project. So, this little project, let's go ahead and read more about that. Full release of the E3 project, which includes vanilla and E3 assets, as well as custom assets too. Um, but this is not the website. Let's see, is it this one? A project. Yeah, project is outdated, no longer being worked on, but the uh, other one that we just took a look at is the um, current release. Um, basically, yeah, working on an E3 restoration project that basically 
is an overhaul of the game in uh, Unreal Engine 2, utilizing unused content, vanilla maps, and complete reprogramming to HP fans the ultimate experience. So I want to take a look at this real quick while we're still on the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, and then, of course, we this should be the last Sorcerer's Stone... Um, this should be the last Sorcerer's Stone stream for now. But yeah, after this, we should be able to move on to Chamber of Secrets. Now, I, I haven't taken a, a, quite a close look at the uh, mod just yet. Um, so unfortunately, this could go horribly wrong today. <laughs> um, uh, oh, yep, I do want to. There you go. Sorry about that. Wait, do I have... Ooh, hold on. Let me turn this off real quick. Things were looking a little bit different. This is true. Uh... Ooh, do I not have it out right now? Hold on. Ooh, no momento. Need to check some things. Again, I'm not a professional streamer, so there's always something that goes wrong. <laughs> uh, what was it called? Wind what was it called? Window pane or, or something like that? Should be in my other shortcuts. No, not classic start menu. Or actually here, what I'll do is uh, I'll bring us back over here, but I will turn off uh, display capture. That way we can still kind of be in the stream, you know, looks nice. Uh, I'm taking a gander for something real quick, uh, just to see. I don't remember where I put it. Let me go to the actual program then. I don't even remember what it was called. <laughs> But this will give us some time for people to jump into the stream and say hello. I'm not expecting too many people today. One or two is fine. Just to join me on this experience. Uh, let's see. What are you called? I don't remember what you're called. Oh, do I still have that open? No, I don't. always that one program you're trying to figure out that you can never figure out let's go ahead and try going over to here and just finding it manually by these people, so... But no. Yay, I don't remember what it was. Well, this is a, a great stream so far. <laughs> Maybe one of these days we'll actually uh, start a stream within the first 20 minutes, because we're at 15 minutes now of just no content. Oh, I'm so sorry for you guys. I'm so sorry to you guys. Uh, God, what was it called? My goodness. Um, let me look it up real quick. Um, it's not, it's open, but it's not open. Details, yes, no, no, well, maybe details, no, no, no. Startup, because it should be an auto starter, because my power went out, or, or not power went out, but my power, um, uh, it, it, it flickered just a little bit, because we are in the middle of a storm right now. So, which reminds me, if the stream does go out today, I apologize. Uh, it is solely because we are currently uh, having a little bit of extra rain today. No, that's disabled. Wait, which ones are enabled? Uh, 
services. Status running. Window blinds, that's what it is. Window blinds, let me turn that off. right now. I feel very sorry for the uh, one viewer we have. I swear this is actually going to be content. I swear it is. Stardock. Okay, so that's the program I need to turn off. Where is it? Hmm. You know what? Did I put it over here? No. Did I put it over here? I put it over here. Hmm. Well, there's that one. But where are you? place I could think of is that it's over here. Ah, aha, 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 I found it. Perfect. Okay. I'll go ahead and find the program that actually opens the dang thing. Is it this one? Could be that one. Let's open it. So far, it is looking as though this is the one. Great stream so far. Hopefully I'm not frozen. Some stuff is going on here. Actually, might be. There we go. Okay, so, um, all right. So that was the wrong program. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, maybe it's config. Maybe it's this one. There we go. All right. So now I'm gonna go ahead. Uncheck that. And now re oh 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 you're freezing. Oh okay. No, it doesn't like that. Let me go ahead and uh oh. Uh oh, things are happening. Things are moving around and I'm not controlling them. Okay. Apply settings now. No, don't don't do that again. Poor pop tarts are getting cold. All right, so that should mean. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh 
Oh. Oh, things are very frozen. Oh, no, there we go. Now we're back. No, we're not. No, now we are. Please let me click this so I can un- Oh my god. What's this name? 21 minutes. And we haven't done absolutely anything. <laughs> um... set up a simple uh, let's go let's go with this one all right and then I should be able to switch us back over to desktop so I can take a gander at some of the stuff that we have today Not quite sure how long this stream is going to be, by the way. Uh, depending on how much content we're actually going to get in um, this E3 version of the game. Uh, and depending on if there are any crashes. Uh, if there are too many crashes for us to actually go through, um, then uh, unfortunately we will have to move on to Chamber of Secrets a little earlier than expected. And that was originally the plan to begin with, so... All right, let's uh, let's see. Watching you figure out electronic stuff is quality content. That's rare for me to see. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, let's go ahead. I, I can go ahead and bring this back over here. I was switching around stuff for um, window blinds, getting us a new, slightly new look here. I was hoping for something a little bit better though. But okay. Oh no, see, there's a little bit of. Hmm, not quite sure how I like that. All right. Let's go ahead and open up some stuff here. There you go. Whenever it blacks out like that, it usually has a uh, an, an admin thing. That's why. So let me go ahead and uh, pop this back up on the corner there. That way I can read this because since I'm not using uh, Streamlabs Prime, unfortunately it doesn't pop up the um, the chat for me for YouTube in OBS. I have to do it manually. Uh, so I have YouTube open up over here, as well as a uh, Streamlabs, so I can take a gander. So, let's go ahead and do some experimenting today. See what magic we can run. Or run with, I should say. Go, move this down here. Well, no, let me shrink it down here. Let me move this up. Let me bring that back, because it keeps disappearing. And, all right. Oops. I just... Then... And... All right. And, of course, we need to bring up the good old plan menu as well. So, let's go ahead and see what we can actually do with this today. Um, I did change the, uh, the run settings to go to... The demo rather than the or not the demo the um uh e3 version rather than the original so we are still able to do what we need to with windowed mode and uh video driver so we can uh, make sure everything runs properly so let's go ahead and uh jump into this let me go ahead and turn off uh the music we're gonna start some let's see if this actually uh, goes well today. Probably not, but <laughs> we might get lucky and it'll come out nice or it'll come out absolutely horrible. We'll see. All right. I'm going to go ahead and run game. This, let me shrink this, move it over here. That way I can still see everything. All right. And we're going to go, I believe software rendering was the one. No. No, it was software, wasn't it? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if it actually was. If it uh, lags upon moving it. Oh, no. We're good. We are good. 
move this over here. Let me move this. Now, if you notice, there's already some there's already uh, some rather strange logos on the side here. So, not quite sure what's going on with those. Um, I do know though that we can click on these, and these act as menu bits. Um, the only reason why I'm not clicking on them is because when I did test this out for literally less than a minute, uh, it did crash upon me trying to close it. So I'm not quite sure, so I'm not going to fool around with those. Um, we actually do have our old save files here as well. The, uh, the full game from Twitch and the cheated one from Restream. Um, but this one was the one I was testing out, so we're going to go ahead. Can I? I'm just going to do... Uh, I'm just going to click on this. Unless I can replace. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and, and start this out. Um, the beginning cutscene is actually pretty interesting, so let's go ahead and uh, switch this over. We're not doing storyboard, which is interesting. Go ahead and do this. Hopefully volume is okay. I have it at negative 13, uh, back to where it originally was. So if the uh, sound for the game is too low, though, let me know. So you can see we're not doing storyboard. Storyboard is actually in Privet Drive. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. I like how there's no motorbike. The giant named Hagrid left a blanket wrap bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, mm. the boy who lived. Audio's a little bit off. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, oh. the Dursleys. One. Until that I fateful day. And he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. A little bit twisted around here. Oh lord. Oh, that's... That's something. Dolly's birthday is coming up and I can't seem to find his present. Oh, that was okay, that was quick. Wait, so we actually, do we actually play this part? And why do I already have the wand if I am not... Okay. I'm not quite sure why I have the wand, uh, but I can't use it, so I'm guessing it's stuck on his model. Um, that is, uh, <laughs> that's a very big... <laughs> oh, we're off to a great start already. That is a gigantic uh, microwave, my god. Oh, that's, that's... Where's my phone? There's my phone, hold on. Sure that nobody has messaged me. Okay. Alrighty. So yeah, we're off to a great start with a gigantic microwave. Um, is this the? Oh yeah, that's a sink. That's <laughs> a. Mm. Oh. Ooh. I, I I don't remember getting all these parts. Okay. I, maybe I should have explored a little bit more. Hagrid took Harry to uh, Diagon Alley to purchase a Okay, most I've missed out on content, I guess, by doing uh by Off you go then, and best of luck, Harry. Ooh, I don't remember him using that audio. Okay. Good luck, Harry. Part of me wants to slightly wants to reload, just so I can go back and see big furniture or little people. Hmm, that is the question. Oh, this is interesting. I can't go through, but it's interesting. Uh, still can't use the wand, but that's uh, understandable. Um, you can tell that they um, that they definitely did add some uh, interest. They've added some extra coding because this camera is far better than the original one. Remember, I had to mod the um, the Sorcerer's Stone to get a better camera. Uh, okay. We've used bits and pieces of the library, I see. Uh, can't talk to anybody. Okay. Oh my god, this is actually uh, bigger than I expected. 
Alright. Another Slytherin. Why are they all Slytherin? Oh. Okay. This is giving me the uh, the PS2 vibes because I do remember you could explore bits and pieces of the Diagon Alley. Uh, okay, so we have three Slytherins, one Ravenclaw. Okay. I'm wondering if they have uh, stuff for Ollivander. Okay, do I have to get that? Or is it just another thing that I can't? Ah, okay. Interesting how these are collectibles. Um, also interesting that I can't purchase them. I'm practically stealing them, but... Okay. Wait, wait, did I just get two cauldrons? Oh, no, I can walk through these. Okay. Uh, more Slytherins and Ravenclaw and Ravenclaw and Slytherin. Okay. I, I don't remember this lamp being... Oh! I don't quite know how I feel about, about being able to collect the lamps, but um, I, Harry's definitely stealing at this point, but okay. Um, okay. Oh, I have... Oh, is that what the uh, Birdie Pots Bean <laughs> logo used to be? Oh, no. Oh, that's... That's unhappy for me. Okay, so Harry's just a thief at this point. He's never had anything in his life, so he's going to take everything from everyone, including their lights. You ever meet somebody who came over to your house, and before they left, as they're waving goodbye at the doorstep, they uh, unscrew your light bulb from your front porch and then just walk off? That's Harry. That is Harry. Ravenclaw and Slytherin. They really like this this combo of Ravenclaw and Slytherin and Slytherin and Ravenclaw. Do I, the wand has chosen you. Ugh. But I still can't use it. <laughs> the wand has chosen me, but I still can't use it. Um. Hmm. Okay. Hello. Nice game. Hey. Welcome to the stream. We're experimenting with a um. A modded Harry Potter experience where uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone has now included all the E3 assets and some of the older assets and level designs that were that did not make it to the final game. So it's going to be uh, semi-choppy, but it's going to be interesting. I'm excited. We've already played through the entirety of the uh, Sorcerer's Stone already. Um, we played it on directly just on Twitch for the full game. We did a Twitch-YouTube combo for... Um, the entire game again with mods and cheats, and now we're doing this one. I'm assuming... Okay. Slytherin and Ravenclaw again. Oh! And... Robes. Well done, Harry. I don't remember Hagrid saying that. Soon after... Oh. Harry caught okay. the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Can I explore the... Nope. I can't explore... Oh, Hagrid... Uh, uh, oh, Dumbledore was T-posed there for a second. Oh, and we did see this Dumbledore part stood up. in... Um, in this term, this corridor on the third floor is out in of one of the uh, other mods where not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath a sorting hat. Uh, today's um, he would not be chosen food to choice house is Hot Pockets, just letting you know. Not Slytherin, eh? Said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure. Cool, it's the first time I see that game. I remember the, uh, the other, uh, the other ones from Play One. Nice. Okay, so now we're in something a little bit more... Oh. I don't remember bells being a thing. But now we're uh, in a far more familiar place. It seems to be darker. Oh, and there's... I don't remember doors being down there. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Doesn't it seem a little bit darker than uh, I am it used to be? Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, 
Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry. So oh God, search cold. behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are Dumbledore's real. model looks um, Only this morning, a little I shabbier a turn and than he did in, in, in the uh, original. Full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful That's death. new dialogue. That dialogue did not... Whoa! Oh, this is going to get good. Okay, yeah, that's new dialogue that was not in the Sorcerer's Stone. That's cool. Or, I mean, obviously it was, but one of those uh, bits that were deleted. That's interesting. Oh, this is going to be a good stream. Oh, this is going to be a very good... Ex I'm, I'm excited for this already. Uh, whenever I see new content or old content that was deleted that was put back into a game, it blows me away. Always does. Um, oh, this is going to be cool. Okay, uh, can I collect these? Yes, I can. Bean icon back in the day definitely looked a little bit uh, odd. Of course, I don't know any spells, so didn't know why that would do that. Have you tried, Harry? You'll never know where these corridors lead unless you explore them. I don't remember that either. Interesting. Have you tried, Harry? Ooh, You'll never okay. Know where the okay, so from this, you can definitely tell that they that they. Uh, See, this is the one of the mods that we had added in the um, in the OG. So that's interesting that they themselves maybe they were the ones who uh, made that. I'm not sure. Okay, so that doesn't work currently. And these are locked. Okay, let's take a gander around the place and see. Okay, interesting. Now, uh, as you remember, in the original, you'd walk up here, and uh, Ron Weasley would pop up saying, Hey, remember me? Uh, my brother's Fred and George. I have something to show you. It doesn't show up that way. I did notice the beans uh, going that way, as uh, original puzzles puzzles from back in the day usually did, is um, have you follow them via treats. We have four viewers already, very nice. Or five, technically, with uh, YouTube. I believe on YouTube that would be Eric. I hope you're doing okay today. Ohomora locks and unlocks magical... Ooh! Ooh! Really? I got a trade? Ooh! Oh, this is... I am intrigued. So I didn't take a class for that. <laughs> <laughs> the broken code in the in the bottom there. Uh, question mark int question mark HP dialogue all or dot all dot question mark brackets. Uh, I'm gonna guess I'm I'm guessing that was the uh, the stuff for Hermione later on. This doesn't feel as smooth. Now it could be because of the mod for the camera. Um, but it doesn't feel as smooth as the original. So, uh, meow. <laughs> Good, I'm glad you're still here, Eric. Oh, that icon on the top right. Uh, I'm not quite sure about that one. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Ew. Uh, also, if you notice the, um... The trail for the actual Lohomora, uh, it does seem thinner, a lot thinner. So it seems as though they thickened it later on to make things uh, a little bit easier on the eyes. Okay. Might be able to get full points on this. I've slowed down my mouse just a little. Oh, uh, yeah. Slow down my mouth just a little bit uh, to make this a little bit easier on me, but I don't think we're going to get that. 
Ah, two points away. Dang it. Text is a little bit uncentered. Okay. Got a key down there. Oh, is that the spell? Oh, that's interesting. It's, I don't remember. No, it was blue. Oh, I, oh, I like how the spell... So, the spell icon is turning. It, it's, it's pivoting. That's cool. I like that. That was not part of the original. It just kind of stayed there. God, these little effects. I don't know. I felt as though the game might have benefited from these little tiny things. Oh, okay, and then of course these are okay. Can I talk to anybody yet? Way to the charms class. Good. You can. That Hermione Granger thinks she knows everything. If you lose any stamina, grab a chocolate frog. It'll give you back some energy. That's some interesting dialogue, and also the audio is a little bit. Try to remember where you've seen some chocolate frogs. They may come in handy when you're low on stamina. This is interesting. Oh. Oh, do I have to equip the spells? Oh, okay. That's giving me some uh, major PlayStation 2 vibes for sure. That's... I shouldn't know Wingardium Leviosa yet. Oh, and they have—they have actually have little spell icons. Oh, that's that's nifty. Oh, that's that's so nifty. Hold on, you guys can't see it. The music might cut off here for a second. Yep. Um, let me go ahead and um. Let's go ahead and turn off the command menu just for a little bit. Uh, it was nice aesthetics, but just for this particular game, we're going to go ahead and uh, keep that off just for now. Um, but if you notice, the yeah, the spell on the bottom left actually has an icon. So if I were to... I wonder if I can... If there's a button I can use to switch them manually. Oh my god, you can even do those. That's in... Why would you, though? Like, it's cool, but... I don't know. It definitely gives you a lot more freedom. To basically just f fool around with your environment. Okay, I don't know Flipendo, of course. Uh... Spell tracking is a little bit off. Oh, and there's uh, Draco Crab and Goyle. Well, well, well. If it isn't the famous Harry Potter. A little bit of audio I'm clipping, Draco too. Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Let's go, boys. Oh, uh, okay. I just started walking. Oh, okay. So, oh. Hmm. That's not how pillars work. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, watch the icon on the on the bottom left here. And it changes. And that's so interesting to me. Okay. And it just stays there. That's how it was with, um with uh, the PS2 versions is you would actually equip the spells. You'd uh, select them onto different uh, buttons, map it out to uh, whichever one you liked. Um, yeah. So it's interesting that they've they've kind of kept that mechanic, or they were supposed to have that mechanic in here. Okay, so the books aren't save points, apparently. They are um, spells. So I have a four is okay. even has oh my god so there was i mean they could have easily taken that audio from the ps2 version I'm gonna go ahead and put this on real quick because i am absolutely freezing right now excuse the unprofessionalism of robot stream on oh god all right but uh yeah they could have taken that avaphor's I believe uh, Sorcerer's Stone for the PS2 had Aberforth as well. Um, so they could have just taken that audio from there. But if the audio is legitimately from um, Chamber of C uh, uh, from the uh, Philosopher's Stone for PC, that's interesting. Yeah. I'm 
I'm so baffled by how good this is, though. Okay. Ooh. I'm Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Transfiguration mm. is the most complex and dangerous magic you'll learn at Hogwarts. New audio. Anyone messing around in my class will it, leave and not come before. back. You have been warned. I'm intrigued. Today we shall learn Avathors. Oh my god. There's an actual... Okay, oh, I'm... This is awesome. This is brand new content for me. Because I've been playing these games throughout my childhood. So I, I kind of know this thing from back to... From, like, look how horrible that is in comparison to what you've seen with the other spells. Oh my god, this is exciting. Five points to Gryffindor. Five points to Gryffindor. Nice. I wonder if they're taking McGonagall's voice from um, Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, if these, if these audio clips weren't from the files of uh, Philosopher's Stone, then they could have easily got it from. Uh, uh, Chimper's Secrets or, Philo or uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, but, um, uh, it's so cool to see, like, there's actual, there's so much hidden content. There, wasn't a, there was not a Transfiguration class in the, uh, Chamber of Secrets, was there? I remember there was Charms. I think that was Scourge. I don't remember. Oh, I feel like I've uh, unlocked like Harry Potter DLC here. <laughs> okay, but this is actually... I like the design of Aviforce. It, it looks like wings. I'm not going to get a 95 on that. There's no way. 96, hey! Not bad. Hold on, just real quick. I'm going to move this over here. We got it. Oh, that's so that's so cool. Like we saw this in the in the last stream where we did um, hidden maps and features. Um, that's so cool to see, though. Uh, still having the weird warping effect when you turn corners with textures. Like if you notice that bookshelf ain't looking too. Um... If you if you go home and your bookshelves look like this, uh, you've either a stumbled into the wrong home, or uh, b you haven't gotten enough sleep. I'm a fool. I want to heavily re heavily recommend you go get some sleep. I'm a fool. Where'd that bird even go? I'm a fool. Congratulations, you've completed your first class at Hogwarts. Very nice. How the heck do I get out? I'm a fool. I'm a fool. Am I, uh... I'm a fool. Oh, oh, oh! Isn't Aberforth supposed to change things into birds? And 
I just changed a desk into a pig. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, welcome to first lesson of Matt. Let's move quickly. Wait, what? Wait, am I supposed to do others? Or was I supposed to do that first? I feel like I was supposed to... Oh, okay, I might have broken it. Oh, I think I might have broken it. Oh, no, never mind. I could just leave. All right. Unless I'm supposed to find stuff over here, am I? Nope. Well, where do I go now? Oh, there's a bean. Ha ha. I like the multicolored beans with the particle effects. Those are very interesting. Uh, that's a big bird. <laughs> I know, right? If you lose any stamina, grab a chocolate so where flight. do I go now? Give you back some energy. Okay, timer is stuck down. Oh, okay, this is unlocked now. Um, I'm pretty sure that's not how doors work. Pretty sure that's not how doors work. Leviosa. Okay, I see something behind there, but it's not opening. And unfortunately, it only triggers a spell based off of uh, what it's facing and what it's pointing at. I, I still haven't learned Flipendo. That's interesting that I haven't learned that yet. But it does not tell me where it is I'm going. Can I leave? Can I go out? Can I go away? So I'm trying to think. Okay, so hold on. Your first lesson is upstairs on okay. the third floor. I've already done the third floor. Off you go. I have a feeling we might have reached a, a broken part. Um, only because... Um... I probably needed to do that. I wonder if the code still work with this version. Um, probably because I had to do that within the time frame. Oh, never mind. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, Mrs. Norris. Okay. I did not expect Mrs. Norris. Oh, that's cool. Okay. okay. And we got some nice beans. Oh, the doors close afterward. I like that effect. Gee, I, I don't think I need these many beans, though. Okay, so maybe I, I just have to walk up to one of these then. Or I just have to, like... Hmm. No. Ah! Oh! Okay. Um, um, hmm. That's, hmm. <laughs> uh, I have a feeling... I have a feeling I'm supposed to go down here, though. There's also a... Do I have a, another doorway? No. I might have to debug and go through that, but... I'm going to give it a benefit of the doubt. I'm going to take a gander around again and see. So the gold locked ones, I can just walk through them, I'm assuming. And then... Ugh. Well, this is also... Okay, it's some of them. Not all of them, but some of them. Yeah, 
I might debug or I might restart. Because I believe you can skip scenes now with this one. But let's go back up over here. Do you know the way to the chance class? That Hermione Granger think try to remember where you've seen uh. Hmm. Yeah, I have a feeling as though I might have Hello, broken this just a tiny bit. It's interesting how some doors open individually. That's a weird thing to say, but... Okay, the pig I cannot change again. Well, the good news is we're not that far in, so I might just... I cast a pendo and a dragon statue in the gardens today. And found a secret courtyard. Well, see, I would love to do that, but I don't have Plendo. And apparently I can just walk. You're quite tenacious, aren't you? I am. Mighty Ron, of course you don't want to say anything to me, of course, okay. Can't walk through there. Alright, let's... And a dragon statue. Let's go ahead and see if that's just what we need to do. Oh, I can... I can save it manually? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, th that's why there's no save books. We can save it manually. That's interesting. Okay. Ah. Well, I'll be. All right. Well, let's go ahead. Actually, well, maybe we should probably save there. Sorry, my alarm was going off. I always have an alarm on for some reason. Uh, okay. Oh, God, Slytherin has way too many points. Okay. Oh, God, there's so many of these now. Okay. Can I skip? Nope. There's that bell again. That, that surprises me every time. All right, so now we know what to do, so let's just go ahead and skip through it real quick. Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a a nasty horde of fire crabs. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to oh. everyone. And of course, our drink of the day is uh, Rockstar Pure Zero. It's a tangerine, mango, guava, strawberry. Very good, by the way. Very easy to spill, apparently. All right, so now we know a little bit of what we're supposed to do. Okay, that's still locked. Let's go ahead and rush this real quick. Ah, oh, sorry, I got turned. Okay. That was a map bad. Okay, so I gotta remember, we have to do the uh, the table to pig first. Hmm. 
Ooh, 100%. Never got 100% before. I'm actually uh, very uh, happy about that one. Ugh, okay. Messing up big time now. So I uh, took my focus away. <laughs> Still got 88, though. Also, I've noted it before, but the uh, the health bar or the um, the scar stamina on the left on the top left when that pops up again, uh, very interesting design. Uh, for those of, of course who have either joined my stream or have played Sorcerer's Stone slash Philosopher's Stone yourselves, um, that's a very. In I wonder if they took that from. I mean, obviously, like I said, they're using uh, a lot of deleted content, but I wonder if they took that from anything, uh, any other version of the game, or if it was legitimately in the game files, or if it was made based off of the um, like an E3 trailer. Okay, we're not gonna mess with any of the Wingardium Leviosas because. It's not necessary. I like that though. Look, multicolored bean with particles. That's not seen in any of the uh, games. It's so interesting. That means there's multiple flavors. Well, well, or, well. I mean, obviously multiple flavors, but com Harry picture Potter, combined flavors, you know? Malfoy, and you do well like creamsicle. Kind of like that. My fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. Naturally, we Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. You better stay out of our way, Potter! Let's go, boys! Also, Malfoy has a very... interesting... well, actually... It makes you think, okay? I'm gonna sound a little uncultured here for a second. But... There's something about the whole last name thing. And I realize... You know, okay, so... Malfoy says Potter, or Malfoy calls you Potter. Um, but I figure, you know, it's, he's not so very respectful, uh, respecting to call you Harry. And that's the first thing I thought. But then he also calls uh, Vincent Crab, Crab. And, um, oh God, what was Goyle's first name? I only remember Crab's first name, which is Vincent. Gregory, Vincent Crabbe and Gregory Goyle. Um, but he never calls them by their, by their first name. They always call them, like, even when they're by themselves in the in the Slytherin common room, in the movies, in the books, etc. Um, he never called them by their first name. I wonder why, because I know in Japan, uh, a lot of people are, are called, you know, in, in media such as, uh, you know, TV shows, movies, and video games, um, it's all last name, usually. Mr. Potter. And I'm first name is just not something you Deputy really of you really use. And head of Gryffindor House. In some cases, not all cases. Transfiguration obviously. is the most complex and dangerous magic. You it's an interesting point to make. He's one of the only characters that really does do that. Um, he doesn't say Mister like like Mrs. McGonagall does. Mister Potter, Mister Weasley, Mister Malfoy, just warned. Malfoy, Goyle. Crab. It's interesting that he uses only last names. Today we shall learn other Granger. Cause. Yeah, he just. Yeah, I don't remember him actually saying a first name in the in the movies or the books. And of course, hopefully, if we get a, a Harry Potter fan here tonight, they might be able to point something out to me. Um, if they remember. If uh, there was a case where Malfoy had actually used a first name. It's interesting, too, how, uh, in turn, when we talk Hi, about Draco Malfoy, Gryffindor. we almost no, always call him Malfoy and never Draco. Even though we know his first name as well as uh, his father, it's Lucius. But we never... Even Mr. Weasley uh, always goes by the last name and not the first name when it comes to... Um, 
addressing uh, Lucius in um, oh, it wasn't Borgen and Burks. It was uh, I can't I can't remember the um, the bookstore. Um, but he has a, a a very good idea of what disgraces the name of wizard Malfoy, not Lucius Malfoy. So it's I don't know. It's interesting. And again, no mister. Uh, of course, with uh, Dumbledore, he doesn't necessarily use first names very often. But he, when, when he addresses uh, uh, Ron and um, uh, Ron and uh, Hermione, he Miss Granger, Mr. Weasley. Or occasionally the full name instead of Ron, Ronald. Uh, it's interesting. Interesting choice. Oh, God. I have to do this one more time. But yeah, what are your guys' takes on that? Oh, come on. All right. So I'm tearing a Hot Pocket uh, case off. Or, yeah. All right, so, got to remember. There we go. All right. So, piggies first. We go in here. Boom. Uh, if if I if I could see this, thank you. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I'm a fool. There we go. It's one. I'm a fool. It's two. I'm a fool. There's three. I cast a thunder oh. and a dragon statue in the garden. I'm a fool. There we go. Okay. Okay. We might be good to go Please now. Stop that. I will stop that, don't worry. Okay. Oops, don't want to go back in there for a, a, a second. Uh, it will be a shame if this if this is uh, a little broken, though. I, I'm, I would be a little sad if it was. Only because I do want to play through this. But it does give us closer to uh, Chamber of Secrets if... Uh, we do end up just switching over today. That'd be fine. Okay. So, I guess because the first names are considered familiar and informal, but Malfoy doesn't really have friends. Crab and Goyle are just minions to him, so they stick to family names as per format. Ooh, you got a point there. I, I, I did forget that, um... Crab and Goyle aren't necessarily friends to him. I don't know though. Did what about Pansy Parkinson though? Didn't they have a th uh, didn't they have a fling for a little bit? I think sh I think he still called her just Parkinson. I swear Pansy Parkinson and them were a thing at least in earlier days before the Half Blood Prince. Or at least during the beginning, uh, you know, up to the beginnings of the Half Blood Prince. Oh yeah, duh. can't can't exactly unlock a. Uh... Oh god, that door is so weird. Okay, can this open now? No. Okay, so we might have to do a little bit of cheating. Just a little bit of cheating. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit of cheating. Because I don't quite see where else to go, and I assume that that door is indeed the door we need to go through. So we have already finished our, 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 uh, our class on the third floor. Can't go through here. These doors don't unlock. And Dumbledore just says, ah, Huggy Wargy Hogwarts. Oh, wonderful place to explore. Have you tried, Harry? You'll never know where these corridors lead unless you explore them. Yeah, which is what I'm trying to do, Dumbledore. 
Uh, could also be preference sometimes, even though you're friends, sometimes people just don't like being referred to by their first names either. Uh, could also be the case. Maybe Draco doesn't like his first name, so he uh, uses his last names to kind of do that whole last name thing only. Ooh. Then again, also the Malfoy name itself is very strong in the wizarding world. They are still uh, purebloods, so... Um, up to, of course, uh, Malfoy's son, because I believe, didn't he marry a half-blood? If I'm not mistaken, his wife was a half-blood. And uh, he also taught his son uh, uh, against the whole, uh, quote-unquote, mud-bloods are bad uh, concept. Actually, come to think of it, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to take another look at, um, you know what, I'm going to take a, another look at um, Cursed Child. I know nobody likes the Cursed Child. I I enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to check a, take a look at the Cursed Child and see if Malfoy uh, changes the way he speaks. Because I, I remember him actually saying the name Harry instead of Potter in the cursed child so you might be onto something about the whole friends and um the friends and form uh, uh, familiars and and stuff like that um but i do know that they kind of evened out in their later years so i'm curious to see if that's true i don't remember him saying weasley or granger in the cursed child so if he did indeed change, then that would be an interesting reflection on his character as a whole. Okay, so I know. Okay, so still can't go through anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Your first lesson is upstairs. On I'm gonna go ahead and floor, enable cheats, just to allow us to uh, go through things. So. Let me go ahead and uh, save. We'll go ahead and save on uh I wonder why I can click those, but okay. All right. Uh, oh, I can level select. Ooh. Okay. And it seems as though uh the levels themselves are are still pretty pretty much the same as they used to be so all right so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead oh yeah see there's that crash it only happens when we close that's interesting um but yeah let's go ahead and enable cheats so we can go ahead and go through the uh maps here But, uh, Eric, I think we're on to something. Mini games. We can do mini games. Ooh. Free play mode. What? So wait, does free play mode allow us to just go wherever we want? Okay, I'm gonna check that out here in a second. <laughs> that's, that's cool if it is. Um, wait, whoa, 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 multiplayer? We were gonna get multiplayer Quidditch, are you serious? And we didn't? Bro, what? Well, wow, okay, I, what the hell? Welcome to Hogwarts Exhibition Quidditch League. Here are the rules. You must play uh, each of the Hogwarts te house teams twice in each match the team to catch the snitch wins. After completing your six matches, the two teams with the most wins will play one another in the final 
the winner of the final will be crowned Quidditch champion. Good luck, Harry. I made the best team win. There was going to be multiplayer to this? What? That's sick. Oh my god, the things that we missed out on. I'm I'm so upset about that. Okay, I think it was three. Okay, yeah, it was three. Alright, so let's go ahead. Ah, god, that upsets me. We could have gotten multiplayer. Okay, so... Uh, set engine player pawn B cheats enabled true and then ghost there you go and then there we go all right what is this a triangle what is this I don't know this spell at all And of course, we don't have a name. It, I saw a red icon on the bottom, so maybe it's uh, the older version of Incendio? Wasn't there a, a, a blue flame in Chamber of Secrets uh, in the uh, PlayStation version? It was a uh, blue bell or something like that, or blue, uh, blue, bl blue bell flames. I forget. I kind of want to play the, the PS2 uh, versions on stream, actually. We might actually do that. I should still have them on here. What is this, though? I'm curious as to what this spell is. It, I don't feel like it's Incendio. It, it can't be Incendio. I knew I wasn't going to... So interested. I can't. I don't think it's Incendio. What is that? And it doesn't have a name. It's. Let me see the code up there. Base cam restored. Boss target set to none. Triggering next trigger. Uh, spell save two dot spell reparo reparo really I have reparo in this what I mean I remember in uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban uh, for PS2 you could do reparo but really they wanted what oh that's wicked that is wicked I like that She's a real know-it-all, and a teacher's pet. She's rather annoying, isn't she? That's new dialogue! Look at famous witches and wizard cards. The rumor is, a full set wins a special prize. Hey, Harry! Remember me? Ron That's Reason. new dialogue! Oh, what the hell? To show you. I kind of want Quidditch multiplayer in Hogwarts Legacy now, and by want, I mean need. I know, right? Okay, and then, okay, this is where we get to the, um... The tutorial with Fred Hello, and George. Harry. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. As a first year, you have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in defense against the dark arts class. Good luck, Harry. Okay, and now we're back in familiar territory. We're going to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. Yeah, I miss Quidditch. Climb up. Above the I will be playing the uh, Quidditch World Cup on this um, on stream. Don't worry. Not the stream, but I will be playing through the... Um, I will be playing through that game. That just baffles me that there's Reparo in this. Oh my god. I'm, I definitely have to play the PS2 games. I have to. We might actually have to wait on Chamber of Secrets. I might switch from uh, Sorcerer's Stone to Sorcerer's Stone PS2. Let's try jumping. Because those Run games were fantastic. Then press the jump button to jump Actually, across. yeah. Okay. If I'm going to say it on stream right now. We're going to do the PS2 versions. 
Meet us in the next we are going to play the PS2 we'll version. It's going to take a while for to get past Chamber of Sec uh, get to Chamber of Secrets because we are going to be doing that for sure. Uh, I'm curious to see if they uh, change anything down here. Okay, they didn't change anything over here, but the bookshelves look a little bit odd. So they are using uh, some of the older models still, which is interesting. But also some of the newer models. Uh, also with Chamber of Secrets uh, for PC, I do have a couple things added to there as well. Um, as far as uh, modding goes, the only mod that we'll actually be doing uh, from the very beginning... Uh, rather than after we beat the game is um, also I believe you can just jump over here activate peeves Oh, it came from over there. That wasn't a thing Interesting Oh, that changed it up because okay if you cross the bookshelf directly this direction Then he comes straight forward. Oh, oh, he actually Oh, he might just be glitched um, but yeah, if you go from here to here, he comes out of this beam. So you were able to just jump from here to here just fine. Uh, does he cause damage at all? Ouch. Yeah, he does. Okay. Oop, jumped a little too high. Oh, come on. Or a little too far. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't remember that dialogue either. But yeah, okay, so we are definitely... Go away, peeves. I don't remember that dialogue either. Oh, this is this is actually new. This is this is definitely new stuff. That's cool. And he doesn't go around like this path anymore. He goes over here. That's interesting. And when you get close to him, he does that. Uh, next in patrol is none. Waiting peeves. Oh, this is interesting. Um, but yeah, we're definitely doing the PS2 versions next. Um, but yeah, the um, the mod that we have set for the Chamber of Secrets is just an audio mod. Um, that mod adds in uh, some extra content, an, uh, extra orchestra uh, content. Uh, certain songs were incomplete. Certain songs um, didn't have all the instruments added in. Uh, so some of them sound, they sound great by themselves, but once you hear the full version of what it was supposed to be, it sounds amazing. So uh, that's the mod we're going to start with on Chamber of Secrets, but for now, we are going to be playing the PS2 version of this game um, after this. So I'm probably going to play through this on stream, uh, and then we might switch to the PS2 version uh, during stream, or we might uh, cut the stream, uh, take a 30-minute break, and then uh, get back on here for the PS2 version. Uh, which is a big glow up when it comes to these graphics, by the way. These graphics are good for the time. It's the PS2, you remember the PS2 did some good stuff. So interesting. I wonder if uh, Preparo comes in later on. ADC93, welcome to the stream. You missed out on a few things. I've got 25 uh, beans. Thanks, Harry. Oh god, there's dot there's like actual dot that's we'll cool. Need the beans for some, uh, you you've missed out on so much. Spirit. There is so much detail uh that's been cut out. If you there's a lot more See, as you can tell, there's like some audio that was never there before that's in. I'm so baffled. Uh, and then earlier we found uh, that Quidditch was supposed to have a multiplayer version as well. Like, So I'm interested then. So when we jump up here... The music is really wonky right now. When we jump up here, it's supposed to be the uh, entrance for uh, Draco Malfoy and... Um, uh, Crab and Goyle, so I wonder if they've replaced that. Okay, yeah, they did, because we saw that earlier. Move along, Potter. Keep away from this corridor if you know what's good for you. Oops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? 
defense against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me. Oh, um, Hermione just decided to, uh, disappear. Oh, and uh, another thing we, um, just recently discovered, ADC, um, is, um, new spells. So this, that little spell right there that doesn't say anything, there's no audio, it's just a spell cast, that's actually Reparo. And we were actually able to pick up a, um, we are actually able to pick up a portrait that was just laying on the ground and, uh, cast repair on it and it moved back onto the wall that was very interesting to find oh harry's gone I harry's down there Professor okay Quirrell. To today we'll learn how to p protect ourselves against the dark magic with the flipendo spell this is the symbol for the flipendo spell now hold down the mouse b button Make the same pattern and then let go. That sounds like different audio too. He said that a lot simpler before, or maybe it's the same. Uh, maybe it's the same quote, but a different reading. Because that sound that does not sound familiar the way he said that. The house with the most points at the end of the year wins. The yeah, cool stuff. I know, right? Cup. Five points for uh, and then after this, we're actually not switching to Chamber of Secrets. We are going to be uh, going through the Let's Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone on PS2 next. I just have to remember where I put my desk. <laughs> uh, if not, I, I think I made a backup uh, a while back. So I should have an ISO uh, copy of my old, uh, my old game. And again, because like I said, with the uh, PC Potter, versions of these, I did copy uh, straight off the disc because those discs, I got those back when I was uh, uh, way before high school. So those discs are very scratched up now. So I had to make copies. Uh, yeah, these games are so different on each platform. I know that's the reason why I want to jump in on that. Outstanding effort, Mr. P Potter. Oh, you also min uh, missed. Uh, points for Gryffindor. Uh, it wasn't Reparo. It was uh, Averfors, I think. Let's no, what was it Reparo? It was one of the new spells. Um, and I actually got 100% on it. Not 99, 100%. Ah, damn. A respectable effort, but, but not quite correct. Is it me or does Quirrell's um, robe textures look a little you bit different too? Enter the Flipendo challenge to I see the GameCube spell. version of this. Follow it's like me, Chamber Mr. of Secrets map and graphics. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hold down the mouse button to aim the See, look, new spell. content. Release the button to cast the spell. T -t Try it on that b barrel. All right, so. And I, I noticed the, uh, on the bottom left, that icon does look like how uh, Flipendo spell uh, used to look in the GameCube and PlayStation versions. So I'm interested to see that it's there, but it used to be a blue spell, so. Well, the icon was blue, but then it would change to um, purple if it was charged up. Cast your flipendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the d d door. Flipendo effects That cauldron looks much different. Cauldron. That cauldron Lock did not look like that back in the day. Okay. So we're seeing some of the older textures too. These cauldrons look cool. Very jeweled, but also a little too detailed for the um the rest of the map, so I see I, I can kind of see why they um, change the uh, design. Ooh, that cauldron up there looks way different too. Oh, oh, I'm liking this. Okay. I noticed a few things have, have looked just slightly different. Oh god, that distance is so much better too. Well done. Now go on and collect your challenge stars. 
I'll meet you further on. That music was different. That was very different. Okay. Hey. Um. Uh, too much, too much detail on it, and why gold? Uh, why color gold? Yeah, yeah. It's very like bejeweled almost. Yeah, I don't know. Um, also, you, you did miss uh, part of the stream earlier where I did mention that uh, what we're going to be doing. I think I, I, I streamed it last. Star. You didn't say that before. Oh, the challenge star icon is a little bit different up there too. It's like very plain. Um, this is a different color grade than I remember. Um, but so we are going to be doing uh, the PS2 versions, of course. Um, we will also be starting a Kingdom Hearts stream as well. Uh, Critical Mix is what it's called. Uh, it's a mod that completely redoes some of the stuff uh, for Kingdom Hearts 1. Um, we did a Dissidia game last night, uh, but we will also be doing uh, Crisis Core as well. So we got a few things going on. Again, not new games, but... Hello, Looking Harry back Potter. on some of the, uh, I am nearly headless, Nick, the stuff that we grew up with. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye. Okay, so that looks the same. You can also load a saved they game change. From the main oh, menu. okay. So you can go in here now. Whoops. <laughs> Search everywhere, Harry. They're all. Nintendo. Nintendo. That's interesting. Nintendo. Nintendo. And see, I told you that's where he uh, in the last stream. I told you that that's where he, his model goes. Uh, it just goes into idle from here. Touch the book to save your game. Your game will restart from this save game book. Those two bits of audio, though, those weren't... I, I as a kid, uh, once I figured out how to sneak into walls, I went to Nearly Headless Nick, and I spammed the heck out of him, and I exhausted his audio. Those two did not exist. Your game will restart from this save game book. I do, yeah, no, I don't remember those at all. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. No one takes you seriously when your head's unhinged. <laughs> that I do remember. <laughs> you can also load a saved right. game from the main menu. God, those look so interesting. So, are these horses or unicorns? I assume these are unicorns, based off of just the lore of Harry Potter. Uh, is that actually John Cleese? It sounds like him, doesn't it? Just a tad. I don't think it's him, though. Secret area one of three. There's, ooh. See, that also wasn't a thing back in uh, Sorcerer's Stone for uh, PC. There was no secret area, like, notification. There was no pop-up. And they changed that in the Chamber of Secrets uh, PC version, where you'd actually get a sound effect. And in the main menu, or the pause menu, when you go here, there would be a button you could press, or uh, a part on the, on the menu somewhere, um, where it would say um, secret areas uh, found in the location that you were currently at. It would give the uh, the ones you found out of the max of which ones you could find. Some parts sound like him, and sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, yeah. Cast your flipendo spell on this block to knock it out of the way. Flipendo, flipendo, flipendo. flipendo. Nintendo! 
at that distance. That's definitely something I, I'm not used to is uh, the distance for this game. Uh, they increase. There was never a camera zoom there before. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, the um, the shot distance or the target distance that you had for Sorcerer's Stone was much lower than Chamber of Secrets, and they increased that heavily in Chamber of Secrets. Um, but this is like very far. Uh, we've already done multiple route. Oh, <laughs> uh, I thought I could cheat that. <laughs> I thought I could cheat that. Uh, I, I did not cheat that very well. But yeah, look at this. Look how far this goes. Look at that. You would have to walk to right about here in the normal uh, Philosopher's Stone to actually hit that. So it, That's so cool. Uh, yeah, that, that zoom in did not exist. Oops. Come on. Go. Nintendo. Okay. Not gonna cheat. I swear. Ah, that little. Oh no. Are you serious? <laughs> Okay, now I now I just have to cheat at this point. Now it's just Nintendo. Nintendo. Okay, so I forgot that the camera mod that they have included with this, if you move around the camera, it unfortunately moves the character around a little bit. Ooh, that music. A little bit more spoopy. Secret area, three out of three. But we, I don't think we got a two out of three, so that was interesting. We got a one out of three, we got a three out of three, but no two out of three. All right. Uh, the music, though, being lowered like this, I don't know if it's because we had that issue with one of the um, the gnome rooms where the music slowed down for some reason, but it, it works very effectively in this area. All right, now we're past that. Oh, thank God, a save point. Then speaking of gnomes, I know there's gnomes. Yep. This is a gnome, Mr. Potter. They like to p p pester young wizards. Knock him on his b backside to complete the challenge. They move quickly and c can be quite a nuisance. Use Flipendo on the gnome to c get the past. That last, n that last little thing did not exist. That last little, use Flipendo. 
It was just use Flipendo to knock them on their backsides. That was it. Oh, there's so much. There, there's little tiny, little tiny things. What? Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. You completed the challenge. You we get report. Oh, that's sick. Stars. That's sick. Points for Gryffindor. I did not know the report. That's cool. I like that. Practice. Back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron, and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. But there was little time to dwell on this, since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. Hmm. Ooh, what is this? Meanwhile, the house point hourglasses are slowly fizzling. What? Slytherin are in the lead on house points. Where is this audio from? Oh, that's I'm. This I'm is cool. See, it makes you your feel as though you like you're playing through games. it, just like you did with a, with a philosopher's dome. Your broom with a direction keys. But then there's like little moments like that that just like, wow, Speed wait a minute, this is weird. Keys adjust your flight speed. Ready, Potter. On my whistle then. I'm not ready, but let's do this. I'm getting better with this. Well done, Mr. Potter. Although when it comes to racing games and flying games, I my body I can't help <laughs> but uh, have my body like move with the the character. I don't know why. It's always been a thing for me. Oh, these are a little bit was were they green? I thought they were yellow. These rings should challenge you. Oh, okay. Never mind. I think they were green before because these are the yellow ones. I just. Okay. <sighs> oh! 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 Okay. Oh, God. I believe you have a natural talent for this. Let's try it with moving rings. Mr. Potter. Woo! Look at that. Score. Twenty points. Look at for that. I also congratulate you for being the first student to find the secret room since eighteen sixty seven. From now on, you may practice flying at any time. You will find the option on the main menu. Oh, that was nice. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. Also, the effects on the, um... You, you couldn't quite see it, but the effects... What? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you in that last Harry Potter stream that there was the Gryffindor, com uh, Gryffindor uh, Boys Dormitory? I mean... <laughs> I guess there's only two students living here in the entire school, but, bruh. <laughs> I am absolutely baffled right now. This was one of the songs that were in the, okay. I remember coming across this song. In the files when I was younger, but I never remembered uh, uh, any point in the game where they played it. Nintendo! 
I guess they all share beds, yeah. <laughs> but this song was not... This song was not in a scene. This song was in the um, in the files of the Philosopher's Stone, but it was there. It, it wasn't played. It's an absolute beautiful piece. Take turns and <laughs> take it in turns sleeping. <laughs> I like that. God. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Turn it up a little bit higher. Alright, I'm just gonna sit here just for a second, just to let this play, because... Like, not a lot of people who have played this game, if they haven't gone through the files, they would never have heard this song. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. It doesn't sound like Jeremy Soul, though. That's the thing. Sorry, I had to message someone real quick. Uh, beautiful bit of piano. I know, right? Uh, Jezza, bad. I didn't get the note. You were live. I'm sorry. I'm not quite sure why that didn't pop up for you guys. Um... Now, since you're on YouTube, Jess, I believe you can go back in the stream, uh, if possible. Take a gander at some of the stuff that we've uh, encountered. There's some really interesting stuff uh, that we've found so far. I'm absolutely baffled. There was, we found the Reparo spell. Uh, there was a whole Transfiguration class thing going on. Um, Avifors, a whole bunch of cool stuff. Um, Peeves, the poltergeist had a different uh, AI route. Like uh, there was audio, um, there was characters that had added on audio. Like there's report cards at the end of challenges now. Like absolutely cool stuff. Oh, I love this layout. So I'm guessing, yeah, girls dormitory over here. Yep. This is kind of, this is semi-reminiscent of, um, how it was in, uh, Philosopher, in Philosopher's Stone for the PS2. And of course, Jesse, uh, after this, we're actually not switching to Chamber of Secrets. We're actually going to start, uh, playing the PS2 version of this game. Oh, it's so cool to actually be able to explore this, uh, place without having to cheat. Uh, cause in the PC version, you only saw this area in cutscenes, which is why certain things are a little bit weird, like you can walk through things. Um, there's not, like, set collision with, uh, some of the rarer stuff, like chairs. Um, but, yeah, you couldn't walk around this unless it was, uh, unless you ghosted through the wall. So it's, it's cool to actually be able to go through here again. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, it's neat. What is this? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is cool. I'm like tearing up slightly. <laughs> wow, this is straight up new stuff. This is absolutely phenomenal. 
Like, this doesn't look like anything to people who, have, who haven't played this game, but for people who have played this game, this is blowing minds. Like, this is stuff... Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I get it. Empty corridors, but, you know, still. I'm not quite sure why everything's a little bit shorter here, but okay. Okay, I, I want to go like this just in case. Um, interesting uh, little cutoff here, though. I, I have to say, I'm, I'm surprised that they didn't add a little bit of fencing here. Uh, just for safety, you know. <laughs> oh, this is so... Uh, I'm absolutely... I'm not quite sure how I got there. Uh, ooh. I'm... Wait, did the fire just turn on as I was walking in? If it did, if I saw that correctly, that's freaking cool. Okay, nothing over here, so yeah. Oh, oh yeah, no, I forget that spells are automatically equipped. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through here then. I love that door. Like the fact that the doors, you can essentially open the doors one at a time. Like if you go against one door, will it actually do it? Look at that. Like it opens. That's so cool. Like, can I do it here? Look at that. That's so cool. Like I know that's such a weird thing to like uh, go crazy over. What is it? The infirmary? What? Again, I, I'm <laughs> I'm baffled by all this stuff. Like, to somebody coming into the stream who, haven't, who hasn't played the original game before, this is nothing. But there's so much content. Like, a lot of it is still like, very old. And so, like, again, non-found locations. So, or a non-used location. So none of these have uh, collision physics. But, oh my god, this is this is amazing to me. Oh my goodness. And let me guess. Yup, look at that. Oh my goodness. Uh, definitely a few repetitive uh, <laughs> paintings up there, but okay. Okay, lighting effects. Very interesting how they made those. What is in here? You're quite tenacious, aren't you? Yeah, I know I'm tenacious. You can't just go around bumping into people. <laughs> what do you say? Snape's always awarding points to Slytherin. It's not fair. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So you guys are gonna get uh, a freaking... This This doesn't look like something that would blow somebody's mind, all right? But you, especially Addy C. Especially Addy C. Take a look at this, all right? So, That's right... That's an unusual portrait. It is an unusual portrait, isn't it? So, but get this. There's a spell for this, right? There's a spell that was in the coding of the game. That wasn't used. Look at this. Okay, this is, again. This isn't something that would blow anyone's mind outside of the outside of the context of this stream. But okay, okay. Seriously, this is gonna like, bruh, bruh. That's freaking cool. Like, there's actually Reparo in this game, which was not introduced into the game series until Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for PS2. So the fact that that exists is amazing also look at the animation for uh, spells they turn they revolve that wasn't something that existed in the original or uh, in the um the publicly released uh, pc version it was just a standard static effect that stayed in one place this rotates that's just that's so nifty I'm like, oh my god. 
Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It just turns. That's so cool. Okay. I just saw Ron down in the entrance hall. Okay. So I might have to go all the way down to the entrance hall. Oh, no. Here we go. Alright, let's go. We might. Uh, let's, I'm gonna go up here in a sec. That wasn't Spongify tiles. Okay, no. I was like, oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare try to introduce Spongify into this. I will... My mind will be blown. Okay. Okay. That's cool that they allow you to go into these, because they were, these were cutscene areas. So, um, before, this was the area where Crab and Goyle would walk out of. And over there would be uh, NPCs that would walk through when you're talking to Neville. Um, so the fact that those are still here, I, I'm very happy to see. Uh, let's go ahead and go through here. Ah, uh, and we're back through here. Uh, Anastasia Russ 19, welcome to the friends list here. Also, if you guys noticed, I, I finally uh, added the rest of the uh, animations, or not animations, but I finally uh, added the rest of the um, alerts to be uh, customized. So, finally got there. But hey, welcome. Glad to have you on board. Uh, if you don't know what we're doing right now, we're, we're actually uh, playing through um, a very particular version of the game that adds in content that was deleted. Um, from the original game, uh, this is basically the E3 version of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So we're just experimenting, going through here and, and seeing what we can find. Um, we've already played through the entirety of Sorcerer's Stone legitimately, then we did a modded cheat run, and we're playing through this one, and then we are finally going to be on the PS2 version of the game. So yeah, welcome to... Uh, the stream. If you've ever played this game before, then you're in for a treat because you're going to see some stuff that you never quite saw before. As you can tell with some of these corridors that look way different than before. Uh, there's also uh, different spells that didn't exist before, which is nice. Or they, they did exist, but we're uh, still in uh, beta mode. Okay, so uh, I forget how to get out of here. Also, some of the doors have disappeared. Yeah, Anastasia, what kind of games do you play? What what interests you? And how would you find my uh, I just saw Ron my nifty little saw stream him. here? Thanks for the friendly welcome. <laughs> of course. That's what you're going to find here. Here we go. Yeah, what 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 ticks the clock of Anastasia? Because if it is a game that interests me as well, I would very much uh, enjoy uh, playing on stream. Uh, something that everybody enjoys. This stream isn't just for, you know, I mentioned it before in my previous streams. Uh, this game, th is, these streams, oh god, these streams are going to be very um, based on nostalgia and uh, games that I've played in the past, but I also want to play games that uh, other people find nostalgic as well. Strange cauldrons again. That's an interesting tapestry uh, texture. Um, I remember them saying that Ron was out in the ent entrance hall, but I don't know. Whoa. What is this spell? Spell level tutorial three, spell Petrio? Petri. Yeah, because flip 87, flip 88, 89, Petri. So can I pet, wait. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, that's sick. But 
Trificus Totalis, are you serious? That Okay, so the last the last dream that we had for Harry Potter was one of the um the hidden secrets and, and hidden um spells and stuff. And one of them I remember you could target um st a, a particular student with, but it didn't do anything. So was that this? Oh my I am That's cool. So there actually was going to be uh, offensive and defensive spells. That's cool. My God. Uh, Anastasia is sleeping. It's uh, Anastasia is sleeping. It's 7 a.m. and I uh, just woke up. Uh, another stream I follow. He play this game too. I never did. Nice. And I go back to sleep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you um, you sleep well. You have a good one. Thanks for joining us on this stream, uh, even for just a few seconds. I really appreciate it. Uh, come back when you get the chance. Uh, check out some of the, the stuff that we've unlocked. Uh, and hopefully next time that uh, you're on here, we'll be playing um, the PS2 Hi, version. Ooh. Not only for the lesson, Harry, but I'll teach you a new Hello, Hermione. That was own. a new quote. So early for me. Haha. -ha. <laughs> yeah, 7 a.m. is way too early. Of course I will until here. Oh, oh, oh! What is it? Wait a minute. Hold on. This is it. Oh, I'm I'm horribly messing this up. But oh, what is this? Wait, was this the? Was this the original Alohomora? I no. No, because I. Great, Harry. That's not the original Alohomora, is it? I've never seen that before. That that that. You're getting the hang of What spell is this? It's 4 a.m. for me. Everyone is all over the place. Trust me. It's, um... What time is it for me? So it's 7 a.m. for you. It's 4 a.m. for ADC. And it's 8.04 p.m. for me. Uh, Eric on YouTube, uh, this, this... We're in the same time zone, so that's the same for him. I'm not quite sure... I'm not quite sure where uh, Jezza's uh, time time zone is. 80% on the mark. Look at that. Um, watching until sleep and lurk and listen. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you sticking around. Harry Potter fans all over the world, you know it. Okay. I don't think I'm going to make 95 on that. Not even close. But what is the spell, though? There's oh, well, so many spells now. But I don't know what that spell does. Like, that's not we a Loha. have a few minutes before the charms lesson. That can't be a Loha Mora. Oh, no, because lo that's a Loha Mora. I've already done Loha Mora before. Just it's, it's AFK. God, ah, okay. <laughs> I'm not used to your YouTube name. Uh, thank you. Uh, so Jezza is actually it's AFK, which means that they are in, indeed in the same time zone as me. Okay. Um, there is supposed to be a chocolate frog here, according to that particle and sound and everything. Not quite sure where that frog went. What? What? Is, what? <laughs> okay, I'm about to get a little bit buggy. Uh, ooh, there's a chocolate frog icon. That's interesting. Um, but I, <laughs> I'm not quite sure that's how mirrors work. But okay. Uh, come on. There we go. There we go. There we are.
Okay, I might go back down there. I'm gonna test out a couple more areas real quick just to see if I can go through them. Okay. Welcome, young wizards. Ah, okay. I am Professor Flitwick, and today you will learn the levitation spell Wingardium Leviosa. I see the um, bookshelf is uh, still glitched for him. Hold down the mouse button and follow the pattern, then release the button. Eighty-five, not bad. Wingardium Leviosa. Most impressive, Mr. Potter. Thank you. Five points for Gryffindor. Let's continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. I, I do notice that some of the audio, or some of the dialogue audio, gets a little muffled from time to time. I'm not quite sure what causes that. Those aren't doing too good. I don't know what it is with di uh, a dazzling effort, Mr. Potter. I don't remember saying dazzling Ten either. Ten points for Gryffindor. Um, diagonal. Try going slightly faster this time. Lines are getting me a little bit here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I don't need a crazy amount of points. Keep trying, Mr. Potter. You can do this. Mm. You that Wingardium Leviosa, um, Leviosa challenge to practice this icon spell. is interesting to see. Follow me, Mr. Potter. Where are the characters? There they are. <laughs> we just lost some characters here for a second. Uh, you guys will hate me. I've never watched Harry Potter. I don't hate you. Um, I started out with the books, um, so to give you a little bit of context, um, my Auntie Annette, why can't I drop this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I not drop this? Uh-oh. We have found a bug. Okay, there we go. Well done. This music. Welcome to collect the challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. Good luck, Mr. Potter. I don't remember this music at all. That's cool. Like this part I remember, but it would it would it would cut off later on. Um, but yeah, I actually started. Um, so my auntie Annette, um, she got me the very first book. I remember that, and then she got me the second book. Um, and then I think I bought the third book for myself, the fourth book Auntie got, the fifth one she got, the sixth one my my Nino Bob got me, because he started getting the Harry Potter series, and then the seventh book is always a, a big thing for me, because the seventh book was, I actually attended the Borders, if you remember Borders, the, uh, the bookstore, I attended, it was uh, July 20th, 2007. And that's when I met uh, a close friend of mine, Marguerite Boatwright. Um, but, uh, yeah, oh my god. But I, I always started on the books first. Um, but yeah, no hate there. Uh, and you're not missing out on a lot. Like, yes, it's cool to watch the movies. The movies are good. But there's a lot of content that's cut from the, the movies. Uh, so you're better off reading the, reading the books instead. Definitely try to watch the movies uh, just for the experience. Uh, it's pretty good acting. Um, really good, really good famous names. Gary Oldman. Um, uh, let's see, Gary Oldman. You had uh, uh, Richard Harris as the first Dumbledore. I think Michael Gambon later on. No, Michael Gambon was the uh, director. What am I saying? Um, music uh, for the most part done by um, John Williams. Uh, of course, Michael Thulis and stuff like that. There's, there's, uh, um. Oh, who's the, the, the woman who does uh, Bellatrix Lestrange? Um, I forget her name, but there are so many good names uh, that play. And of course, uh, Emma Watson went to do great things with her career, same with Daniel Radcliffe. Rupert Grint kind of fell off uh, for a little a bit. Star. I'm not used to that challenge star quote. Um, and I know, actually, Emma Watson just recently announced that she has stepped away from acting, so that's interesting. Uh, Rupert Grint went on to do some very 
uh, strange uh, movies and Daniel Radcliffe the very same, uh, but solely for the uh, desire to act. And they've done some amazing stuff. If you get the chance, watch. Um, if you want like a horror survival kind of thing, uh, and by when I say horror survival, not like surviving in a horror movie, but horror survival to me is a, a very suspenseful. Uh, surviving for your life kind of thing. It doesn't have to be monsters or killers or something like that, but literally living... Uh, so The Jungle, I believe, he played as a character... Uh, I think it was based off of real-life events. Um, he played as someone who uh, was traveling around the world, and him and a few other people, uh, of course, went to a jungle, and they... They lost track of the guy who was... Um, who was uh, leading them through the forest, and then they lost track of each other. And so it, it, he literally had to survive, and it's an amazing movie. Uh, and of course, if you like your horror, then uh, of course he went on to do um, Woman in Black as well. That was a very good movie. Um, I enjoy, I'm not a big like slasher film kind of person. Uh, blood and guts in my horror movies, uh, it, it's, it, it's, you know, Oh, there's a lot of movies that have done that, but with Woman in Black, it's very... Everything's quiet. Every little tiny shadow in the background or, uh, you know, pipes settling or floors creaking. Those little kind of, like, tiny details, those are what actually get me. Um, you can give me a billion and one jump scares, but those are the kind of movies that I enjoy. So, um... He did a fantastic do job in Woman in Black. I didn't see Woman in Black 2, but I don't believe uh, he's in that movie. Which is probably why I didn't watch it. Because sometimes it, it, I'm just all for Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, why isn't this going? Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm at, okay, so... Uh, there's issues with the Wingardium Leviosa spell. I can't seem to deactivate it properly. Like, usually you just let go of that, but I... But you have to, like, fool around with it a little bit to finally drop it. There we go. It's... That's really weird. Um, but yeah, let's see here. Maybe I should try them? Yep. Yeah. Don't over here, but you should definitely give them a watch their amazing movie. Yep. Oh my god, Lucky Luck's back in the building. Awesome. Lucky Luck, you have missed out on some really good content this stream. This is absolutely... There's some really cool stuff. There's uh, audio that we haven't heard before. Uh, there's spells that existed that did, never existed before. Like, there's some really good stuff. Um, but very happy to see you're uh, back here again. Uh, nah, book's nothing for me, sir. Okay, okay. I remember pre-ordering the last book and thought I'd never get it. Day one, and thank God, seven in the morning, postman knocks on the door, and I spent the whole day reading. Oh, my God. I miss those days when you just, you, you look forward to a book, and you're it, even, like, now, we're having a storm right now, so it's raining and pouring outside. And just sitting back on a murky day, uh, sitting back with a really good book and just relaxing and just getting into a, a, a whole un a new universe uh, while everything's so quiet around you. I love that. I love that. Uh, Helen Carter. Yeah, Helen, uh, uh, Helen uh, Boham Carter. Yeah, that's her name. Uh, really good actress. I actually just saw Fight Club for the first time, and I didn't know that she was in that. So that blew me away to the, the fact that she was actually there. Um, lucky luck. I knew it. It was on another stream. How could you? <laughs> um, also, apparently, so I'm, I'm starting to get the vibe that Wingardium Leviosa isn't so much about putting it down with a button, but I think it's timed. Because, yeah, see? So that's interesting how it's timed. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it being timed. I, I, I would, I don't know. If they combined it being timed as well as being able to let go of it manually, that would be pretty cool. Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna... There we go. Um, let's see here. Oh, come on, come. There we go. Uh, it's the crazy. It's same weather right here, uh, here right now. Really? I 
nice. Actually, I was playing Animal Crossing earlier, and it was raining on there too. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my god, it's everywhere. I can't get, I can't get a sunny day anywhere. Um, lucky luck. I thought you would begin with the second game. Um, I was thinking that too, but we have. Um, I have decided that we're gonna put off the second game for a little bit longer, because of. So the the content in this game is absolutely fantastic, and seeing all these like locked up content finally being out and about. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and switch over to the PS2 version of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for a little bit. Uh, just so you can, you guys can, uh, so we can have fun and, and play through some of the spells that, uh, the PC games never gave us. Um, this game actually, uh, of course, has already showcased, um, as far as the, uh, content that we've unlocked here today. Um, Avifors, uh, Reparo, um... I don't think we have the bluebell, uh, bluebell flames, which I don't think were in, was incendiary. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of spells that we just never got to fool around and have fun with. So we're gonna go ahead and, and go to the PS2 version for a little bit. We'll play through that, and then we'll go to the Chamber of Secrets for PC. So that's how we're gonna do the Harry Potter games. I think is uh, PS uh, the PC version first, then the PlayStation versions, and then continuing onward um i don't have the ps1 version i would have loved to play the ps1 version because it gets so much um it gets so much uh hype for uh the hagrid uh model so i would love to play that at some point did i miss it you completed the challenge i think i might have missed you've collected okay no i got all i got all the stars 20 points um now off you go let's see adc she has the same last name as me really nice so you, your last name is Carter. I've learned something new. Lucky Luck, I love the dedication you put in these streams and the game. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, I, there's no reason not to. There's absolutely no reason not to. I, I've heavily enjoyed these games. And and to be able to um, play through this again, I'm really unlocking like uh, a lot of good memories, you know. Um, I don't want to be a drama king, uh, drama king and bring up like you know stuff from my past that aren't the, the most positive things to bring up. Um, but there have been moments in my life where uh, I didn't quite enjoy those particular, those certain particular moments in my life. Um, but uh, as far as the good moments, a lot of those moments were, uh, you know, being able to enjoy these games. So, oh, these! Look at this! Look at this! This absolutely blows my mind away. These little, these little moments right here. Um, it's similar to the uh, Sorcerer's Stone and Chamber of Secrets game. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. That's so cool. Those little tiny excerpts like that. It just, that's so, that's nifty to me. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really just want to uh, play, play through all that I can. Um, I don't think we're going to be doing the Game Boy versions of these. Um, and if we did, we'll probably do that Hedwig. way later. Hedwig wasn't a, a audio thing uh, for... Oh my god! Just little things like this. It, it just blows me away. Um, let's see. Oop, come on, come on. Oh, is that the uh, the dude that wore a um, a, um, a particular magical jellyfish for a hat? Was constantly getting stung. I remember that. Hold on. Actually, I want to. I want to see that one real quick. Uh, yeah, Urk the Oddball, Medieval Dates Unknown, highly eccentric wizard who is famed, among other things, for wearing a jellyfish for a hat. <sighs> I wonder why. Like, that's a very interesting detail for, for a person. Um, let's see here. Um, Harry, don't be late for the horology lesson. I'm waiting at the entrance of the greenhouse. See you soon. Um... I'm so hyped for the, piece, uh, the PS version. I never played those, but I have a hoodie of the Hagrid from the PS1 version. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, did you, uh, out of curiosity, did you get that online or was it in a store? Because if it's online, if you could send us the link. You heard that, right? <laughs> that was strange. Um, if you could send us the link, I would love to um, uh, keep that. Because uh, on the, um, the Discord, there is now a channel dedicated to uh, resources that we shared throughout these streams. Um, including like the mods that we use, um, where to get certain games, um, or certain game, um, add-ons or files and stuff. So, if you can find that link, um, that'd be great. Uh, yeah, it's from another streamer. Ooh, okay. Whoa, 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 was that an HP bar in the bottom? 
What was that? I swear an HP bar. Dude, there's an look at that HP bar on the bottom. Can you see? It? Yeah, you can see that. That's interesting. Does he still throw apples, or is it? Did they change it? Books. Interesting. Okay, so you guys have watched me play through this. You know. If you look in a mirror, it surely will crack. That Peeves w was throwing apples this whole time. He's throwing books now. That's... Wait, he has a lot more health than uh, than he originally did. Okay, no, the, the, the bar just didn't reset. That's interesting. I love this. There's the odd... That music did not exist. In the... Oh my god, I'm... I am absolutely baffled. My god, this is exciting. Um, sorry if I'm nerding out. This is just... Oh, my goodness. Uh, it had that scene on PS1. Okay, okay. That's what it was. So, PS1 version, uh, PS2 version. I think in the Chamber of Secrets, they had a version of that as well for PC. Um, but not in the PS3... Uh, not in uh, Pris uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, Game Boy versions looks like Pokemon, right? Yep. Yes, it does. Um, yeah, it was from another streamer. Serpent Gameplay Merch. All right, I'll have to look that up later. Um, if I find the... Uh, once I have the link to that, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up after the stream. Um, once I find the link to that, I'll add that to the um, to the Discord for resources. So if anyone wants to get a PS1 Hagrid um, uh, sweater or hoodie, uh, make sure you join... Uh, check out that streamer's uh, merch page so he can get some... Um, so he can get he can get a little bit of support too. Filch is skulking around here somewhere. Watch out, he's a mean one. I don't remember that dialogue either. Have you met nearly headless Nick? He's quite friendly for a ghost. Some of these dialogues I don't remember. My mother played Quidditch when she was here at Hogwarts. I expect I will too. No. No, these did not exist. My mother played Quidditch when she was my mother played Quidditch when she was here at Hogwarts. Okay, both their I mothers are the same too. person. Cool. My mother played okay. Quidditch when she was blasted. Charms class has moved again. I'm sure to be late now. This is not quotes. I need a Derwin Shipping Wizard card to complete my set. These were not in Sorcerer's Stone. What the hell? Watch out! For Excuse my language, but he's up on the third floor harassing students again. These okay. I have I have played this particular version of the game, the PC Harry Potter game. I have played this all through my childhood. The uh, this particular mod is adding some really good stuff to this. This feels like a like, like I said before. This feels like DLC. This feels like uh, how games do it now, where they'll 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 add on new content or add on deleted content later on. My mother played Quidditch. My mother okay, played Quidditch. Quidditch. Yeah, you get it. Okay, you're, you're there's a lot of mothers who have played through Quidditch apparently. Um, oh my God, this is this is baffling. Uh, I've sent a uh, picture to your DM and send the link. There's also a sweater or t-shirt. Yeah, this is insane. There we go. Thank you. I'll go ahead and take a look at the uh, the Discord here in a bit. Or not Discord. Um, I'll take a look at the uh, the private PM and I'll add that to the Discord. There we go. Okay, is Malfoy still there? Okay, yeah. So we're going into Malfoy territory. What was that? What was that laugh? Okay, so they've locked the... I've never heard that laugh before. Do you guys hear that? That's weird. I've never heard it before. Um, uh, I did it on Instagram. Okay, I'll go ahead and check out the Instagram one then. then. Okay, there's Malfoy. Well, well, Potter, we meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? Touring the castle, are we? This is as far as you'll get today, Potter. That audio. This is as far as you'll be going. You won't get past me, no matter that how did, hard okay. you try. That touring the Trust castle quote? Big scary castle, eh? Oh dear, I think Potter is going to cry. That was not part oh, of- Oh, boo-hoo. Potter can't get out of the castle. Are they- 
were these alternate versions that were cut? These wizard crackers should make you feel or are these audios There's from like the PS1 or PS2 fun. versions? Here, catch. You're not leaving this castle until I've finished with you. I think I can throw the wizard crackers back at that That audio was locked there before, that's so cool! Uh, my camera is locked though, unfortunately, so that makes things a little bit difficult. Famous or not, you won't get past me. Yeah, my my camera is fully locked, unfortunately. Watch which it. which adds a little bit of a challenge. Hey, he's goners. Curse you, Potter! Next time you won't be so lucky. You don't belong with us wizards. Okay, Potter. great. Yep, there we go. Run along home to your muggles. Run along home to your muggles? I've never heard that before. What? <laughs> Run along home to your muggles. Why does this sound like I own them? <laughs> Oh my god, I've never- that's not something I've heard before. Uh, what? 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 Oh, what the hell? This is sick. I can actually- oh my god. There was a- Interesting. Okay, so this gives a whole new concept of the Wizard Crackers. So, Wizard Crackers were originally an item in Harry Potter series. But this is a spell for Wizard Crackers. So, am I summoning them, or are Wizard Crackers themselves currently spells? So, there's even a little icon on the bottom. It's a green orb with a, a T. Um, and I know in Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, imps can actually uh, throw... Uh, wizard crackers. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, wow, I know, right? I, um, this is... Uh, I'm not quite sure... Uh, about that, uh... <laughs> Some of them float, that's interesting. I'm, I am intrigued to see what happens next. Like, this is so cool. Hurry! Over here. I'm having so much fun right now. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hagrid. Good to see you. These are the Hogwarts Castle grounds, and I'm the gamekeeper, of course. Can't believe how quickly everything grows round here. Your friend Hermione's at the entrance to the greenhouse waiting for you. Drop round for tea later, after your lessons are done. All right, I like, <laughs> I feel like I'm seeing this stuff. What is this? What? That wasn't there before. This was not here before at all. Um, ADC, is this a whole game? Yes, it is. Um, but I can see that you're two hours live, but this is the beginning of the game, right? Yeah, we're still at the beginning of the game. Technically speaking, well, we started from the very beginning and at the very beginning of um, I mean, it took 20 minutes to get here, but <laughs> it took 20 minutes to actually start the dang the, the, the dang thing. We we're having some technical uh, difficulties, but um, yeah, the beginning of the game, there was no um, there was no storyboard um, entrance. Like, you know how they, they give you the beginning of the story uh, with you know, little pictures. Um, it actually started, they started a cutscene on Privet Drive, and you could actually go into the Dursley's house as Harry, and you were wearing pajamas for Rose. Um, and then once you got past that, you could actually go into Diagon Alley and get your stuff. So, and then, uh, and then, um, there was, um, the Great Hall thing as well. Like, oh my god, but there's a freaking sundial here. This was not here before, you guys know it wasn't here. That's so cool. Oh, that's such a good detail. Uh, broken fences, though. Oh. Um, oh, wow, I need to see that back. Yeah, uh, if you go onto the YouTube channel, um, 
I believe the YouTube one you can rewind, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me actually... Actually, I don't need to... Hold on. I can just jump onto the, the phone real quick. Uh, I'm going to see if you actually... If I'm telling the truth here. <laughs> um... Yeah, the the YouTube one you can jump, uh, you can jump all the way uh, in the past. So, yeah, go ahead and check that out if you want. Uh, go to the YouTube uh, version of this stream um, if you want to take a gander. But yeah, it's interesting. It's very broken. Um, it's it's definitely not fully detailed, but it's very interesting to see in this kind of a game. Uh, you're the best. Oh. It's not <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What do you think you're doing here, Potter? First years aren't allowed to play Quidditch. Okay, no new dialogue the with Quidditch uh... pitch is off limits to you, Potter. Go away. No new de no new deals with him. He's just very stuck though. Uh but I will stay live now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited to like this is a this like I said, it's this is DLC. This is this is definitely garden. DLC. I'll wait here for Neville. I think he's got lost again. I Watch don't... out for the orange snails and nasty plants called venomous tentacular. I read about them in my herbology book. That wasn't there either. Go on, Harry. You better get to the lesson. It was just the Neville got lost again and go get to the lesson. Hermione did not say anything about the snails or the venomous tentacula. Also, I find it interesting that the uh, the beans that are laying out and about are the multicolored ones with particle effects, but the ones that you get from uh, statues and from um, chests are the regular ones. So that's interesting. Uh, and of course, we have already gone. That didn't happen before either. What? Okay, so before with the orange snails, um, you would defeat one and it would like stun. It would get stunned and then it would twirl around and then that was it. And then it would like revive That's and. an orange snail. These quotes weren't here before. Uh, ADC, yeah, same. I'll take a look back later. Okay, awesome. That's not. That's so cool. Oh my god. I'm... Ah, that's... Just... I'm still baffled by that di that uh, that distance, too. And you get house points for them, too. That's... That's very intriguing. Ah, uh, wow. This is... Well, I thought that... You know, just little things. Little things would have been changed, you know. Or or it would just be changed from the beginning and that was it. But this is this is the whole game. This is seriously the whole game is changed. Um, I've only heard the English version on your stream, but I can tell that this is this is insane. Yeah, it's it's absolutely insane. Oh, that's right. I don't have uh, it's like a venomous tentacula. I don't have incendio yet. Yeah. And I'm I'm pretty sure, based off the length of this game, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be tonight's stream, and then that's it, uh, for for today. Secret area, three out of seven. Um. Otherwise, if we can finish this. I don't think we're going to finish it under four hours, um, if we are able to, uh, depending on how late it is on my time. Because so I think it's like, what time is it right now? I think it's like getting to 8 o'clock, right? 8.30. So it's 8.30 p.m. right now. I might be able to, uh, if we can uh, finish this off before midnight, uh, then we might be able to uh, take a break for a little, uh, for like 30 minutes and then come back to the stream uh and do a uh, Harry Potter and the uh, Sorcerer's Stone PlayStation uh, on the same day. Otherwise, I might leave uh, leave that for uh, tomorrow and Friday. Um, I might uh, I might take 
Saturday off only because I might be going to somebody's house to, uh, or actually, um, I, I, I'm not completely sure if we're still doing it, but, um, it's AFK mentioned, uh, that we might be doing a, um, Lord of the Rings, uh, Lord of the Rings marathon. So if we are still doing that, then I will take Saturday off. So I'll be back Sunday, of course. Um, but I don't really do much after work. Like, uh, especially with everybody in lockdown, like, nobody really goes out and, like, parties or anything. And I, I'm an introvert, so I don't party to begin with. But, um... Oh, God, I didn't know there was a third one. No, 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 no. Stay away. Stay away. No. Why? Okay. <laughs> I don't know why gnomes trip me out so much. I can stand any other enemy in these games. Gnomes are just the worst. Um, but if we're still doing that, though, uh, but uh, yeah, so I don't do much uh, after work, uh, apart from work on my own video game that I'm, I'm making. But um, I might do some streams uh, at midnight my time on work days. So. I thought there was a secret spot over here. I guess not. Ah, there it is. Uh, let's see. Damn, I just heard my brother's alarm clock for work. Oops. Oh, are you like... I heard my, my brother's alarm clock for work. Is it that early where you are? What time does he normally work? Well, what time is it over there? Time to think about it. It's got to be early in the morning. So it's 8 p.m. my time, and you're usually a little bit later. It's 5.30 a.m. Yeah! Oh, my God. So you guys are, are a little bit close to each other. Well, a, a lot closer than I am to you guys, for sure. <laughs> like, I am straight up overseas in comparison to you guys, so... I didn't know I was ever going to be international. I mean, I've, I've gone places uh, years and years ago. I was I was a little bit more outgoing when it comes to um, leaving my my place apart from work. But um, yeah, I've I've gone out of the country a few times before. I would like to go again at some point. Um, if any of you ever get the chance to go to Japan, definitely go. It's a gorgeous country. Absolutely. Okay, am I going this way? No, I'm not going this way. I'm going this way. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's right. I wonder if I can speed run this game with, with how many times I've played this through my life. I wonder if I could ever speed run this. Wow! Also, I do have the the uh, debug mode on, so you guys can see a little bit of the coding up front, uh, up on top. Uh, some people enjoy coding. I myself uh, love looking at like just a little codes and, and seeing how they've made the game. Um, so that's what that is up for, uh, up on top. Is just uh, everything activating. Uh, damage, jump distance, stuff like that. We got a few people uh, joining us today. Also, and, and something I will always praise with this version of the game. Look at this. The spell spins. Like, I don't know how many times I've mentioned that. But the spell actually rotates and spins. That's not something that, that used to happen. It was just a, a stagnant animation. That was it.
so I might make some more hot pockets here too. Um, I try to eat on stream just to kind of give that that kind of like um, a, 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 uh, one of my uh, friends Rose. Um, she was mentioning before that the streams feel a little bit, you know, they feel natural. They feel like you're just hanging out, which is what I'm going for. Uh, that's why uh, on the bottom of my um, of uh, my intermission screen, uh, instead of uh, a follower thing, it's friends. So. I don't know. It's just, uh, you guys are. Ooh, I don't want to go in there just yet. Um, yeah, and then like with for helping us out, eating, it's, it's just like you're you're Here's hanging out card, with me, and you're you just you know you know maybe you guys will eat lunch or dinner with me too. You know, it's kind of nice. Come on, George. Um, so I'm trying You've to get like this relaxed kind of thing because I, as as Rose pointed out, there are a few streamers that seem a little bit uh, over exaggerated, uh, or just going just a little bit over the top to get uh, a little bit more uh, approval or or, or um, connectivity with their audience but with me um this is just relaxing to me uh, it's 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 like if you guys were uh over here with me just hanging out just sitting in a chair next to me and just uh you know chilling out and and just uh giving your opinions on stuff and it's it's, it's nice it's quiet Welcome it's nice and i hope you I guys uh Professor do feel Scott. Uh, relaxed Today as you watch these streams. The bed, um, which is useful against it's awesome to see that every time plants. when I join your stream, there are more people watching. It it blows me away. I, <laughs> <Pay attention. laughs> I, I, now I okay, here is Incendio. Um, I to try now, Mr. Potter. Like I like I said, I, I'm not here to uh, you know get a lot of um, you know audience. I'm I'm just here to have fun. If I if I make some friends along the way, that's great. But uh, otherwise, oh, I'm just here doing my own thing. As they say, just vibing, you know. First rate uh, happy Mr. to Potter. be your friend. Aw, thank you. Five points for Gryffindor. Let's continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. Ooh, that one. Oh my god, this one is horrible. I'm ashamed. Oh, I'm ashamed. Oh, that's terrible. But yeah, uh, it's Good just work, a hangout spot for everybody. You have great potential. Ten Especially with all the stuff that we've been finding, my goodness. And we're already at 310 points. I have not cheated. Uh, I have not added any extra points to give myself a, 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 a leap up. That's just how much uh, stuff there is. And when you're finding new content uh, or, or doing or oh, taking particular yeah. actions... In this game, uh, you're rewarded Mr. points Potter. for it, unlocking new areas and stuff. It, it baffles me Try that this stuff wasn't included. This time. Yeah, I can never thank you guys enough for. I mean, you guys can literally watch anybody else, or you could just watch a movie, or you could go out. And for go to McDonald's or something. You can go to a library. You guys can, uh, you know, play a video game yourself or play these games yourselves. But instead, you're you're choosing to spend this time now with me. So I, I'm very challenge. grateful for that. Through the doors, Mr. Potter. I'm honored. I'll watch you from the balcony. Okay. So have they changed anything here? I just noticed Those some flowers on the left. Bushes. You may cast incendio on them. Also, is it just me or step back to avoid their needles? Search for the door behind the spiky bushes. Be careful, Mr. Potter. Mm, that doesn't sound familiar either. But in this magical world, I would have assumed that there would have been Ooh. It's yellow this time. Was it blue or purple before? It's yellow this time. Incendio. Um, but I would have assumed that there'd be a, <laughs> a different name other than um, Spiky Bush or Spiky Plant. You have Venomous Tentacula, you have um, Bow Truffles, you have Imps, you have... Um, uh, what were the ones from Prisoner of Aspen? They were... Um, I can't remember the little the, the little mushroom plants that popped from the that popped out from the ground and spit poison all over the place. I can't remember what those those were called, but you have all these fancy magical names, uh, and then you have uh, <laughs> then you have spiky plant. <laughs> what is it? It's it's a plant. It's spiky. Oh God! There's another one. Jesus. Okay. 
Um, you thanking us with these streams, that's enough. I can't get enough of these games. <laughs> uh, video games are always better with friends, and I love hanging out with you and watching and talking Harry Potter. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are making me so... I, I smile so much on these streams, my goodness. I don't... I, 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 I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... I don't... I but a dope of incendio should keep it at bay long enough for you to run past. More this is a typical weakness of venomous tentacular. Cast incendio to wilt it. More dialogue. This is so cool. I love this stuff. Oh my god. These dialogues. I'm going to say this every single time that there's new dialogue. But <laughs> there's, there's so much new dialogue. It's intense. Incendio. 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 Oh my goodness. Like, I feel like a kid again. Like, I'm literally playing the games that I, I played as a child, sure. But I, I'm, it's like I'm experiencing it for a whole new time. Or, like, when you watch a movie but you fall asleep. And so you're waking up during little bits and pieces, but you're you're missing out on some content. So as you finally, you're like, okay, I'm going to drink, like, 15 cups of coffee. I'm going to stay awake through this whole movie. And then you finally watch in parts that you're like, oh, wow, this is what it was? This is what happened? I don't remember that. And my grandmother will will uh, always attest for those ones because um, if she falls asleep, this is a weird thing, but if my grandmother falls asleep while she's watching a movie, that means she likes it. <laughs> Which is the complete opposite of what you would assume, right? You'd assume, okay, if you're bored, you're not gonna, you're gonna fall asleep. No, my grandmother um, will always fall asleep on a movie she li she likes. And if she doesn't like the movie, she will stay up through it. It's the weirdest thing. Um, and that's the same with Harry Potter. Um, every, my grandmother has watched the Harry Potter movies over and over and over, same with me. But she'll always fall asleep. So she always sees bits and pieces of the movie a different t a way different time. So she'll always be like, oh, I don't remember that. Uh, and then she'll always mention that same thing. It's like, oh, well, I like the movie, so I must have fallen asleep. But she will always fall asleep every single time. Why is this purple? It's interesting. A purple tree, I know. Uh, wow, one minute. One beat in that chest, I know. Hogwarts is having some um, financial difficulties. So unfortunately, uh, they can't give out as many beans as they used to. <laughs> what? I get that because it's comfortable for her. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But yeah, uh, I believe her favorite movie is, I believe, the same as mine because, again, the actor, she loves, uh, she loves Gary Oldman. Um... And so, yeah, Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, she, I, I remember her uh, very much enjoying, and I think she's seen most of the movie finally. Uh, I, that's a new quote as well. He didn't say wizard card when the wizard card would pop up. That's interesting. It, it makes you really realize how silent your main character is in a video game. When he's starting to finally say things that he didn't say originally, Harry didn't say nearly any of this stuff. He never said wizard card. He never said a uh, 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 challenge star. Like it was, he's always so quiet. Um. Those vines are attacking that poor tree. And I don't think she's seen the. Um, that looks like a dachshund. I don't think she's seen the Fantastic Beast movies Ouch. yet. Uh, I believe my aunt might have showed it to her at this at some point, but uh, the same aunt that uh, started me with Harry Potter. Nipendo. Incendio. 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 Wait, hold on. Do you notice that? Incendio. Incendio. The spell has a curve. Incendio. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so Flipendo and um, Reparo. And I believe when Guardian Levioso as well, it has a straight shot, straight ahead. With Incendio though, am I just am I seeing this correctly? Incendio. That curves down. That has a downward Incendio. curve, like you're throwing the spell. That's interesting. Um, not something I actually noticed Incendio. before. But I'm also not sure if that's um, something that's part of this version of the game, or if Incendio. this is 
part of Sorcerer's Stone completely. Uh, but it curves down. Yeah, because if you notice. Oh no, they all. No, see, that's a straight shot. That's not curving down. It's curving up a little bit, but. I also don't remember the trees uh, being able to be cast a Flipendo on, but that might be something I forgot. That is intriguing. Haha, <laughs> get it, tree? <laughs> intriguing. Uh, this is the content that uh, you guys wanted. <laughs> If I say it too much, the joke will uh, wilt. Something made me make these jokes, though. I have to. Uh, I don't know what they are, though. So, one day I'll get to the root of these problems. Gary is a legend actor. I liked him as Jim Gordon. Oh, he played amazing Jim Gordon. Uh, it dips at the end, yep. Yeah. Uh, lucky luck. I think I'll go to bed, but I'm going to watch further on mobile, but I think I will fall asleep while watching. Haha. Uh, somebody else was also falling asleep. Uh, Anastasia was uh, falling asleep uh, to the stream, too. Um, so I'm going to already say that it was nice again and hope to see your next stream also live. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's always a pleasure. Uh, to have you on stream. The stream is always it, the stream always gets much more energy when you're on here. So, like I always say, you're the man, the myth, the legend. You know? So, thank you as always for popping up. I think you're you were one of my very first followers too, or well, followers on Twitch, but friends on the stream. You know. So. You'll always be special to me. Cast Incendio with the venomous Incendio! I do like the fact that we can like like rapid fire some of these spells now. Uh, it, it gives a whole new feeling to this game. The water looks a little different, too. Uh, I saw that same animation on the uh, fountain when we were flying through um, our flying lesson. It, doesn't it look a little bit different? Like, water before was trickling down. This is more like a firework spark kind of effect. Uh, aw, that was so lovely here. Well, thank you. I'm honest. There's quite a few people who have been on the stream that, that, that definitely made uh, uh, made an impression, for sure. So, I'm very glad that you were able to, to join us to, to even begin with. Even if you come in for like a single second or, or five minutes, it, it's, all, it's more than enough to change the way the stream goes, so... I was indeed one of the first ones on the stream. Uh, the love for HP games is real. <laughs> yeah, you were. Yeah. There are many more challenge stars to collect before you complete the lesson. I'll meet you at the end. More audio. Like I said, I'm going to say that every single time that there is new, there's this new audio clips. But that was never in the original game. Never. More purple trees. It's always very odd. I'm still going to be here. I wish I found you sooner. This stream is amazing. Thank you. I wish you found me earlier, too. Because, uh, like I said, we played through the game legitimately the first time. And the second time, I think, is, is uh, when you fully came on board. And that was the uh, the mods and uh, no 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 no. I think you came no you didn't come on during the the mod uh, the mods and cheats. I think you came on the end of the uh, 
the legitimate one, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, yeah, when you join, though, yeah, I mean, yeah. We'd already done a couple things here and there. Uh, now, of course, I will be doing uh, one-off streams once in a while, too. It's not all going to be Harry Potter. Uh, I, I got uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, Crisis Core on the way as well. Uh, Final Fantasy. Um, I, at some point or another, I need to play like the, the absolute classics like uh, Halo I've never played. Um, I'm playing through a lot of the games that I've already played through. Uh, so I'll try not to spoil uh, a, a lot of uh, story stuff for people. Uh, Kingdom Hearts is one of those things. We have a uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, modded uh, game we will be playing, uh, which is a Critical Mix, which basically like adds a whole bunch of new um, uh, features. Uh, if you're familiar with Kingdom Hearts 3, they had an item called uh, Koopo Coins, which allowed you to um, uh, basically, uh, if you died, you'd come back alive just instantly. Um, they've added that into the very first game. Uh, Keyblades have uh, different abilities attached to them. Uh, and your shortcut menu changes based off of which Keyblade you have. So, there's a whole bunch of... Oh, and you're forced to be level 1 the entire the entire game. Uh, and there's also a solo mode which forces you to uh, play as Sora and only Sora. So, you, Donald and Goofy, forget them. They're gone. So I do want to try that as well, but um, and of course Crisis Core, I have an HD uh, HDification mod, which makes the game look absolutely gorgeous for a PSP game. Uh, I might play through the story of uh, Dissidia Duodecim as well. Um, not sure, but I will. Uh, and of course, the entire Kingdom Hearts series is coming to uh, PC at the end of this month, so I might just make that a, a, an entire series. And of course. Uh, Final Fantasy 7, we mentioned that there was a Barrett mod in the last, uh, not the last Harry Potter stream, but last night's stream, unscheduled. So, might fool around with that as well. But first and foremost, it will definitely be, uh, Harry Potter, the uh, Kingdom Hearts modded game, or modded version, and then finally, uh, Crisis Core. And then we'll look into some, uh, other games as well. But I do want to do series, um for scheduled streams, and then uns uh, unscheduled streams will do one-offs. Uh, and then, of course, if anyone wants to join the Discord, we have, uh, we do have a Discord. Uh, maybe we should look into, uh, playing some games all together, like Minecraft or, uh, Uno or something like that, you know. But, uh, give me just a second, though. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, Use the restroom real quick. I will be right back. Give me a few minutes. I'll be back.
Oh, let's see. I caught the end of a proper... Oh, okay. I'm still gonna be here. I caught the end of, of proper playthrough. Okay. See, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Um, and I'd be up for the Minecraft. Heck yeah. I know there's a few people uh, who joined uh, at the end of the proper stream. Uh, and we were talking quite a bit about uh, you know, little things like that, like Minecraft, uh, Uno, stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and jump on there at some point. And I'm not a big person on shooters, but uh, I do know uh, that Beardly Niji, one of the uh, streamers that I, I host on occasion, but also uh, my roommate, um, he's a big fan of the Halo series. So while I'm not a big fan of shooters as a whole, um, I do know that Halo is an absolute classic, and I do want to play games that were other people's childhood classics. Um, I know it's AFK uh, was talking about Spyro. So, there's going to be quite a few things in the, in the future, for sure. Nothing's stopping us. Do I have to play all the Final Fantasy games to understand the latest one? No, that is a common misconception. Uh, yeah, you mentioned Spyro as well. This is true. Spyro is, a, is very popular. Um, but yeah, Final Fantasy, no, you don't have to play every single one. Um, now, very occasionally, you will get a game that references background information of the other ones uh, as an example final fantasy 15 um mentions benora white apples which was an item from final fantasy 7 crisis core in the same way uh in the same way final fantasy 7 has a character named shinra final fantasy 10 also has a character named shinra so it's a little back and forth things um and then i think final fantasy 9 mentions uh, there's a quote in final fantasy 9 um during the play and uh, it's uh, uh, no, no, um, no, it was something, it was no strife and no something. And it was a reference to Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII. I forget what, what something is, but yeah, so mainly it's just, it's references, but otherwise, no, each game oh, is individual. See, report cards, what is that? That's so cool. There's report the cards, that blows me away. Um, but yeah, no, you can play any single Final Fantasy game in any, um, in any, um, order, doesn't matter. Uh, Spyro was my second game I ever played. There you Ooh. are. I hope okay. you did well in your herbology class. I've got something I need to talk I definitely to want to, uh, be best to discuss play Spyro. In my hut. Meantime, you're gonna be late for your I played a bit of the remastered one. I think I mentioned that. I played a bit of the remastered one, but not enough to actually say that I fully played it, you know? Oh, and there's beans over here. Actually, uh, it's AFK. Uh, are you still in the chat, or are you, um, are you AFK? <laughs> uh, curious. I believe Eric's already gone for the night. Uh, complete, completely remastered. 100%. All achievements, too. Very nice. I am an achievement hunter. I am a, a completionist when it comes to, uh, uh, console games and stuff like that. Um, out of curiosity, is, are those games out for PC? Like, um, Hello, the remastered ones. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. If the remastered ones are on Best PC, if I can get them on, like, Steam or me. something, I will definitely he get it that way. Remember all. He ran off onto the school grounds with it. I need the remember all to find my toad. These are... Come on, I'll show you where he went. The, that's a, that's more audio than before, that's world. sick. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? <laughs> think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. This is so cool. Oh my god, there's so many, there's so many added things. Give me back Neville's remember all, Malfoy. I would like to explore that this. Long bottom wants his remember all, eh? Give it back, Malfoy. You'll show me some respect, Potter. Going to cry, Potter? You want the remember all back? See if you There's can so catch There's so much it. more dialogue. Think you can catch me? Come on, then, I would like Potter. to explore this area. Um... I'll stop you, Malfoy. I would like to um, 
explore this with walking. Because there's, there's actually a lot of uh, interesting stuff in here, especially with the, uh, the caves. Oh, I forgot he has little bludgers. Yeah, nope. Alright, nope. Come on. Malfoy, where are you going? I'm, I'm faster than you at this point. This is... Oh, God. Oh, the, <laughs> the trees are a little bit... Uh, hmm. Now, we didn't make it to the caves before. Um, I'm curious to see if I should try to... Uh-oh. I'm losing health. If I should tr just get Malfoy, or if I should show off the cave. Uh, if I can stay out of the bludger... Actually, I'm dying pretty quickly. Um, yeah, it's on Steam. Okay, perfect. I will actually get it on there, then. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm hurting a little bit more than I should. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, Malfoy, there you are. Oh, God. Oh, this is not good. Where did Malfoy go? Can I hit you, please? Oh, I'm gonna die. I am very much going to die. Oh, hold on. Ah, shoot. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna die. Actually, this is an easier way of, uh, making a gander all to collision. I can find an open area. Harry gets full health. Ah, the health cheat doesn't work. Harry gets full health. Harry gets full health. I'm gonna die anyway, so... Oh, hey, hey, hey! Never mind. Thought I was gonna die. You'll pay for this. Here, take this. Uh, thing. this is clanking. Yeah. <laughs> <You're a nuisance, laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's clanking. You've got my remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. I need my remember all to remind me where my toad Trevor is. Come here, Trevor. Come back. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. You can see McGonagall. I'm exploring the grounds. See you later. That quote wasn't there either, but you can see McGonagall hiding in the corner there. <laughs> Mr. Potter. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. More content. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Harry, Gryffindor's first Quidditch match of the year is later this afternoon against the formidable Slytherin team. See you then. Uh, I was taking a uh, taking a gander at some of the some things that were uh, some new uh, notifications that were popping up, but wow, I'm just this. Oh, Let Harry, stop by my hut for tea and a chat. Go through the gate on the grounds, then follow the path through the forest edge to my hut. Your friend Hagrid. Oh, this is cool. That was not there before. I'm just, I'm absolutely, oh, I'm enthralled. This is a dream. But yeah, um, as far as uh, Spyro goes, I'm definitely going to get it. If it's on Steam, I'm definitely going to get it. I'm going to try getting the old versions as well. I wonder if I can roll the log. 
more dialogue that wasn't there before. Like the uh, PS1 versions, I they're probably not going to... See, it doesn't look like a fire crab. It looks like a fire turtle. Does that look like a crab to you? No, that is a legit turtle. I also like the detail that they are orange snails and they are giving away orange birdie bots. Nice detail. I need a frog very really badly. Hey! I asked for a frog. Ask and ye shall receive, as they say. Oh god, you can hear the the fire crab, even though it is a legit turtle. That is a turtle. That is not a fire crab. That is a fire turtle. Or a fire tortoise. Please don't hit me from up here, Jesus. Oops, I need that. I need that. Uh, either one is closer than a crap. Yeah. Even that little little tiny uh, that seemed to work. That wasn't part of. See, it, it, these little quotes. That tree looks like it could be knocked over. <laughs> this stuff made sense to keep. I don't know why they took all this stuff out. Like, it full on makes sense. Like, if you walked over here, unless you were holding out your wand like this and walking around, you wouldn't have, like, that wasn't your first idea was to knock over a giant log, you know? Like, if I got that here. That tree looks like it could be knocked over. But how? See, that wasn't part of the original game. So that unless you had worked. unless you had this sign right here, you wouldn't have known. I know I didn't when I was a kid. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm so. Uh oh. Oh god, that rapid fire! Oh god. <laughs> oh, this game has gotten uh, much different. That tree looks like it could be knocked over. But. Well, this, uh, <laughs> this, this got a little different. <laughs> that tree looks like it could be knocked over. But how? Okay. I'm not going to fool around here because I don't want to die again. I could have sworn that Minus was a, um, for when, it, when cheats are enabled, I believe Minus was a uh, save. But I'm, I'm going to, I'm not going to click it just yet. Well, because I don't want to make a mistake. Oh god, these logs. Uh oh, 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 that was a little too close. All right, let's see. Is it okay? That is a save. Uh, it's like super jump mod. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Uh, the cheat itself is called... Ah, that always gets me, that little audio that never was there. Uh, th that particular cheat is, um, it's not one of the typed in ones, it's, it's one of the, the ones from the launcher. Uh, and it is, uh, super hairy, I believe. These ones, they pass out like they're supposed to. Oh, come on, come on, there you go. Waterfall. I love this area. This is. I, I love waterfalls and aesthetics in these areas. Oh, it's a dude who uh, created the snitch, the golden snitch. Herper the Fowl? I think that's Herper the Fowl. Oh, wait, I can just uh, jump down. Uh, boom. Oh, these these trees are just not 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 okay. That Hello Hagrid was no Come along, then. I've something to show you now. By the way, congratulations on making the Quidditch team. Word travels fast round Hogwarts. <laughs> Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? Hagrid, you can't just now say I can that. show you what I wanted to talk to you about. I got this from a man in the Hogshead pub. It's a dragon he egg. He didn't say that before. It's a dragon's egg, Harry. He did But it's our secret, my That's dear. That's a... Hold on. The egg is in a very delicate stage. That's a very particular detail to skip out on. Okay? Got it from a man in the pub. That was a detail that was very important in the book. But all he said in the original game was, it's a dragon's egg. He didn't say where he got it from. That's an interesting detail to omit from the game. So the fact that they added that back in, I like that. I don't understand I cutting dialogue, neither do I. To give it that last burst of heat to force it. Like you... I can't leave it here alone, but I need some fire seeds to give it that like you, last you've burst heard. of heat to make it you, You've been on this stream long enough. To hear just how much seeds. new content I there is. Them in caves out in the garden. I need you to collect as many fire seeds as you can find. Careful though, they're spitting fire and the seeds are hot. Let them cool down before you pick them up. Off you go then. Go on, Harry. That egg needs them fire seeds to help it hatch. That last bit of dialogue wasn't there either. Like, I can understand, like, redoing lines, but taking out full detail is a little bit odd. Ooh, that's a new... That sign was not... Oh, God. 
Oxys. Nope, stay. There we go. So like I was saying, that is an interesting sign. That was that was another thing that wasn't uh, uh oh. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, some boundaries were not made. Um but yeah, this sign did not exist in the original. How interesting. Nintendo. That distance. Nintendo. Nintendo. Uh, I haven't seen too much use of uh, the other spells that, uh, like, um, Reparo and stuff like that. So I'm a little bit sad that there's no, there's not a lot of Avaforce and Reparo usage. Um, but maybe that's why they cut it too, is because it, it was it was nice, but there wasn't enough. Are those rats? There's rats. What? There were not rats before. What? Those are rats. These are legit. Not in the game. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? But um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for Game Boy Advance had rats as enemies, I remember. Uh, maybe that's why they uh, they were cut wasn't enough uh, wasn't used enough pointless mechanic yeah yeah exactly uh, which makes sense why they would add it later on uh, case in point Kingdom Hearts one had a, a few things um, that was uh, deleted or removed same as Kingdom Hearts two and they were added later on in the series but at the particular time that they were added in in the originals they were out of place or they just didn't make sense to keep or they didn't they weren't used enough but these are straight up can I I can't cast anything on but they're straight up, that's such an intro, even rats, like, I don't know why that's something that, that, uh, that isn't in the original, that's so weird, like, straight up rats, like, what's the reason for deleting rats? That's a detail, that's an element, that's a, not an element, that's an environmental detail. Maybe Alahamora will open it. Another little bit of odd. Whoa, is that a bat? Bro, these were not here. Now, there is, uh, I think, bat chatter uh, sound effects, but there weren't actual. That. Wait, I can cast on the bats? Can't do anything with the bats. But the bats are targetable. That's so interesting. I, I'm baffled. There, there's actual bats. There are creatures that exist in this game that aren't going to kill me. That's cool. That's nice. Okay. It looks like I can jump across. More dialogue that didn't exist. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Got him. Nintendo. That waterfall looks nice. I love the waterfalls in these games. There's a, uh, there's a Twitter account. Door is locked shut. More dialogue that wasn't there. Um, there is a, a Twitter account. There's quite a few uh, interesting Twitter accounts lately. Um, but one of them is What's Behind the Waterfall. And it's, um, it's a Twitter account dedicated to uh, video games that have waterfalls in them. And if they have something behind the waterfall. Uh, another personal favorite of mine is uh, Can You Pet the Dog? Which is another Twitter account that... Um, dialogue um, that dedicates itself to uh, video games with dogs in them and whether or not they can uh, 
Oh, this one I missed. A new wizard card. Uh, w uh, whether or not you uh, could pet them. But yeah. Uh, remember Final Fantasy 15 had an in more music. Um, Final Fantasy uh, 15 had an entire dungeon that took place behind a waterfall. So. All right. Ah, there we go. Hopefully that chest isn't important. That's just beans. All right. Because uh, we ain't getting that now. <laughs> that looks way that different. A fire seed plant. It's not a tree I anymore. It's a fire like seeds. bush. I wonder how I get the seeds out. And that dialogue with it. This is cool. That was an interesting animation, too. Yeah, that's a whole different... That's... Th this is cool. This is just plain old cool. Where? I don't see no doxy. Oh, I, I killed the doxy. So I, I love the fact that there's so much like new dialogue and stuff. Hagrid told me to stay away from the hot seeds. Yes, he did, but he didn't tell us in this version. Well, I mean, he did tell us, but differently. <clears throat> Some of these jumps are a little tenacious. We have five viewers too. I'm I'm super stoked about that. Thank you for joining the stream and uh, seeing what random uh, random adventure we're having today. Interesting how there's a little bit of a issue with a barrier there. Not quite sure why. Okay, so we want to go this way. Hagrid told me to stay away from the hot seeds. You know what? No. We're gonna burn ourselves. There we go. And all the viewers are on Twitch right now. No one's on YouTube. Looks like a fire crab. That's not a fire crab. That is a turtle. That is nowhere close to a uh, to any. Uh, no, that's no. that for a few beans. Uh. 
It's interesting how the, uh, the fog, uh, the, the little, or not fog, but the, the, the steam makes the game lag just a little bit. And of course, the new spell distance uh, it, it makes all the difference. Save right there. Yeah, see, there's a little bit of lag. Just a little bit. Turtle going to the water became a uh, inside joke for me and uh, it's AFK. <laughs> I was watching them uh, do a uh, do a stream of uh, Ark, I believe it was called, and uh, they were killing off the dodos, and it made me so sad. But it was just like the turtles all over again. Also, more dialogue that didn't exist before. Oh wow, that was quicker than I remember. Oh, then there's bunnies. I these did not exist. I, it's so much stuff. Well done, Harry. You've found the fire seeds. Great work, Harry. You've collected all the fire seeds I need. Okay, see, that was like a, uh, a, wizard card a different... ...from my own collection. I don't know. Now I can show you what I need them for. Place our secret, mind you. Come on inside, Harry. Wipe your feet now. Some dialogue sounds like older dialogue that they re-recorded for, like, different energy, I guess. <laughs> Oh, Harry still has an issue with uh, stairs. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. Well done, Harry. <laughs> that laugh. You've done it, Harry. It's that laugh did not exist. Ain't easy. I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Up you come, my beauty. Thanks, Harry. Here, take this flute. It can be used to help some creatures sleep. Some creatures find music very relaxing. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. Uh... In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. It used to be Fluffy's favorite. She'd snooze off when I'd play it. Harry, you're a true friend. I want you to have this book. Quidditch through the ages. You'd best get ready for Quidditch now. Should be an exciting game. That's a whole... Smithering's a tough team, but you'll show them, eh? That's a whole bit of content. Mm. We'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. That is a whole go, section then. of content. Best of luck, Harry. Harry, you're a true friend. I want you to have this Quidditch book... Uh, this book, Quidditch through the ages. That... 
What the heck? Good luck, Harry. And there's dialogue for Good luck, Harry. This is This is dang cool. I Go ahead and put them in the fire, uh, Harry. Okay. We, we might have a might have a small issue. Might might have a might have a might have a slight <laughs> well done, Harry. It's like, hmm. Oh, he's already. Oh, there's gonna be two Norberts You've now. Done it, Harry. Oh, it's he has a brother. Right, easily. I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian Ridgeback, you know. Mm. Up you there's come, two Norberts now. Thanks, Harry. Here, take this. Can I skip this. It can be used to help yeah. some creatures sleep. I'm, I'm still baffled Some though. Creatures find this music whole very section relaxing. right here. If you play the right tune, you can send them to sleep. In fact, I remember this very tune that I used to play to my Fluffy. It used to be Fluffy's favorite. She'd snooze off and I'd play it. Harry, you're a true friend. I want you to have this book. Is that the first time we've heard Sweet Fluffy Angels? be uh, hey, referenced as she? Now. Should be an exciting game. Slytherin's a tough team. Wait, was Fluffy a girl? Shortly. Hmm, we'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. Off you go, then, and best of luck, Harry. That... We're getting so much information. Um, it doesn't... It's a shame that we don't have, like, Quidditch through the ages, you know? Can't do the report card. Wizard card shortcut to save games. Level select, okay. Okay, can we leave now? Okay. Later that day, as owls flooded into the Great Hall, Harry received a long, thin package. Wow! It contained a note from McGonagall from explaining her gift. A sleek and shiny Nimbus 2000 broomstick. Harry couldn't wait to try it out during the Quidditch journey against Slytherin. This is amazing. Harry, that's amazing. Fershies aren't normally allowed on the team. A whole scene. It's a great honor, Harry. I'm sure you'll do Gryffindor proud. Ron and I will be cheering you from the stands. Good luck, Harry. That's an entire cutscene that didn't exist. I, this is an amazing, it's still a very broken experience, but this is such a cool experience. Oh my god. The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the couple and try to put it through the hoop to score. Watch out for the bludgers. See, unfortunately, we're only going to be playing um, Sorcerer's Stone on the PS2 uh, uh, one time <laughs> because there's it's not really uh, there's not many mods or or cheats or anything like that for the PS2 stuff. Good luck. Mm. Oh, Maximilian dude is online. Nice. Up. And they're off. <laughs> All right. Hey, Quidditch! There's the snitch! Blood All up. right. Here comes the snitches. Oh, oh, oh. Now what? Uh, Snitch is a little bit faster than I remember. Okay. Oh! Wait. This is actually a little bit challenging in comparison to the original. Do they change the AI? Like before, I, I, I just went into it. Easy peasy. 
Either that or I'm slower. This is uh, quite a bit more difficult. I can't catch up to it. I cannot catch up to this thing. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're getting a little bit. And, and yes, I am speeding up. Okay. I wonder if... You no, know, that doesn't necessarily speed me up, unfortunately. I'm actually struggling to catch up with this. You remember uh, the Quidditch matches we've had before? Super easy. But the, the, realistically, the Snitch is a lot faster. Oh, jeez, this is actually slightly frustrating. Come on, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Slytherin has the corporal. Ooh, that was close. Come on, in. come on. Nope. This is amazing. I've never seen Oh, come on. Roger, he turns, he misses. This is actually... Just a little bit funner. Oh, where'd it go? Come on. Look at Potter go. I still gotta say that I enjoyed uh, Quidditch within the uh, PlayStation version just a little bit more. Come on. Come on. Oh, thank God. Oh, beautifully done. Oh. That was a lot more difficult than uh, the original uh, version. This, this niche was a lot harder to get. <laughs> and we're back up to five viewers. Very nice. Welcome, uh, whoever just joined. Uh, if you're not familiar with this uh, version of the game, so we're playing uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Or Philosopher's Stone, depending on which uh, part of the world you're coming from. But we're playing an E3 version of it. So basically... Um, a modded version of the game that brings back quite a bit Harry of content, ever uh, including uh, much story content that was cut. The hoisted Harry onto their shoulders and carried him off the field. And obviously, narration quotes. Uh, a lot of cut content, spells, stuff like that. Uh, ADC with my phone. Oh, it was me. My phone died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations again for winning the Quidditch match against Charge Slytherin. your phone! You are fantastic! Everyone's talking about you becoming a seeker, Harry. Why, you're the youngest seeker at Hogwarts in a century. Something is troubling me, Harry. That's so much more content! Before, I heard a monstrous, terrifying sound behind one of the doors. Ron and I heard strange noises outside the Forbidden Corridor. Come up to the third floor and have a look. This is amazing. I, I can't say this enough. This is amazing stuff. Hello, Harry. I can go through here now. No, is there... Ah, I can't go into the Great Hall, though. Dang it. Profit that Gringotts, the wizard bank, has been broken into. I wonder who'd do that. Hello, Hamora! 
Oops. More beans. Can't go wrong with those. Feeling we've already unlocked these, but I, they've reset. I'm not complaining. I, I I have already 416 beans. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, now again, I haven't used uh, any of the cheats other than uh, Super Harry uh, the stream. So the fact that I have 425 beans now it, it blows my mind. But it also makes sense that they cut out uh, all the bean stuff because um, ooh, ooh, We've got some reparo going on finally. Ah, that's so cool. It's so pointless, but it's so cool. <laughs> Slightly bugged uh, cauldron. Oh well. Love a good froggy. Now, oh, Fred and George still over here? Yeah, they are. Real quick, I'm gonna get me. Hey, Harry. Have you collected 25 beans? I gotta give me one of these little uh, things for the wrist. Forgot just how much uh, focus on keyboards there are. Thanks, Harry. We really needed these. On older games. For a little joke, we play more slither. Here's a wizard card for you. You've also, like it. how it, he, they specifically say it's a joke uh, that they're going to play on Slytherin, We've got one. but it's specifically just um, Professor Snape. I feel bad for this. Chocolate this frogs person. are really good when you're low on stamina. She ain't going anywhere for uh, quite a while. Oh, I, I don't want a little more. There you go. Now it seems though that the uh, repair stuff is not necessarily uh, not important. Uh, but it does give you some points. God, not the gnomes again. Nintendo. Oh, they're just uh. Nintendo. All right, well, free game, I guess. Nintendo. That was uh <laughs> very easy. I don't know if we're going to finish this before midnight, though, so... Uh, that's kind of cool, house points for fixing pennies. Yeah, it is. It, it, you're basically doing a, a service at a school. Um, that was how it was in... Half-Blood Prince. Um, not necessarily points, or house points, but you would get awarded for fixing up areas. Um, okay, so I'm going to go... Uh, I guess the end of the game in the end is Slytherin have to win first. Yeah. So it probably does make it more difficult because, uh, no, uh, Slytherin is still very much high up. But these points, oh my god. Hufflepuff is still always last. <laughs> I love that. Okay, you know what? No, I'm just going to go this way. We don't need to come. We don't need 100% this. I already missed a few, um, things anyway, so I might as well. Uh, let's just have go. Have you met Nearly Headless Nick? 
was quite the third floor of that big bed. At least it was yesterday. Also, those purple little things. I'm wondering what those are. Those aren't beans, but... First, I thought they were spawn points uh, for a particular uh, character pawns, but I'm not sure. Because I was able to collect one. Maybe uh, a leftover Birdie Bot's bean? I don't know. Wow! Did you see that? Professor Snape just came out of the Forbidden Corridor. He's limping quite badly. Come on, Harry. Let's take a look before Filch comes back. Hear that growling? Oh, I think there's something awful down the corridor. It's adulthood and taxes, that's what it is. So is my answer Let's for, uh, on the run. for we'll somebody who's uh, asked lesson. me, you know, what I miss from my childhood the most. Not paying taxes, that's what I miss. <laughs> Not having to pay all the bills, that's what I miss. Oh, can I connect this? Okay, so I cannot, cannot get that. I can't cast a spell at it. I wonder what those little purple f uh, sp uh, flames are. Okay, I'm assuming this is Lumos, which is the uh, the last. Um, Today we yeah, learned to illuminate the last, um, dark magic challenge. with the Lumos spell. Watch my wand, then hold down the mouse button and repeat the pattern. It Looks a little tilted Release in comparison to how it used to be. Done. Wait, doesn't it look a Oh, God. Doesn't it look a little... A little bit... Cr oh, my God. This is horrible. Well, we have enough points. We're going to win at the end anyway. This is fine. That was a shaky effort, Mr. P I, I know. <laughs> I know it was a shaky. Practice. I, I will. Five points for G Gryffindor. Go on, Mr. P Potter. T -t Try again. But it looks... It, it looks... Uh... It looks crooked. Okay, that one was... Oh! I... Remarkable, that Mr. Was... P Potter. A p perfect spell. I've... Ten... Points okay, I'm not going to question it. <laughs> and again, Mr. P I'm not going to question it. Let's see what you can do. I'm not going to be able to get 100% again. That's for dang sure. This one is going to be... 87. It's going to be 87. Oh, I won. There am Well done, Mr. P Potter. Fifteen p points for G Gryffindor. T -t -t Try working faster this time, Mr. P Potter. Do you want it done fast or you do, do you want it done right? Oh, that's my best one yet. Ninety-five on the spot. I'm okay with that. An outstanding effort, Mr. P Potter. I know. Twenty points for G Gryffindor. <laughs> Seven viewers now, my goodness. Welcome to the stream. You may begin the Loomis challenge to practice the spell. F -f Follow me, Mr. P Potter. Let's see, uh, Sorcerer Stone, at the beginning, you learned Flipendo, but it wasn't a challenge. Down the it was, uh, Ollivander's thing, I believe. To cast Lumos, let so, go of the I'm trying to remember you what the actual first spell that. challenge was G for Gargoyle. PlayStation. The sound is a little bit different for that. Oh, the sound is much different for Lumos. As you see, Lumos is a most useful spell. That's quite bright, isn't it? Most useful spell. Now that was a different dialogue. Cross the chasm and collect your challenge stars. I'll meet you at the end. Oh my god, there's so much dialogue that... There's so much dialogue that got cut. 
There's so much dialogue that got cut. Challenge star. Go and there we go. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and do uh, this one. Oops. It's interesting how it gives off a bean and then disappears. Um, so, I don't know. I wonder why. Like, it, it makes sense in the particular sense that it kind of gives you the impression that that is indeed something you've already activated because in um chamber of secrets and prisoner of azkaban those particular lumo statues they reset after a certain amount of time also i like the camera work how it cuts so you don't see it disappearing uh, it's a, a very common practice in uh, game development you always want to cut the camera away or tilt it in a direction uh so that you can't see what's going on so that when it comes back, it looks like it's already been done. But in reality, it just cuts with a snap. Uh, it's turning out me missing the first playthrough of this wasn't so bad because this one got so much more cooler. Uh, this one got so much more cooler stuff for a first time watching. I know, right? Like I said, like I keep saying, it, this feels like DLC. This feels like, like this game got an update. <laughs> But it makes me wonder, like, some of the cut content, like, it makes me wonder what made them change. Uh, like, what what stopped them from doing certain things? I'm, I'm always very curious about that. Because none of this, uh, none of the cut content is particularly bad. I mean, uh, like you and I were, were mentioning, uh, Reparo just is, is a little bit pointless uh, because it's, throughout this entire game so far, we've used Reparo three times. And we're, we're, I, I want to say Loomis is about uh, the halfway point of the game. Um, I, I don't, I don't remember uh, when Gar uh, this being here in this, in this level. Was when Guardian, was this here before? Also, I'm not a big fan of, of the fact that this is timed. I'm glad that they changed that so where you could, um, in the in the original game, or the uh, final release, I am glad that they um, allowed you to actually just drop it whenever you want. Okay, that lowers that. Oh. Ah, this one did not disappear. But I can't get the B neither. That's okay. I don't mind. Let's walk a little bit faster. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, you want. There we go. Okay, I just did that at random. I didn't know that was actually gonna work. What? I didn't find this in the in the last stream. Cool. I'm not gonna say no to that. I legit did not find that. I, I I don't even remember finding that as a kid, so that might be something no, because the challenge star was there. But no, when I finished Lumos, uh the Lumos challenge the first time, it did say that I got all the, the challenge stars. Maybe it's maybe it was a secret that wasn't uh there to begin with. Uh, another cool part about the uh, the PS2 version is that I didn't play that uh, very much at all because um, I only played it when I was at my friend's house, uh, Matthew Reese. If you guys remember me uh, 
uh, giving you guys that story. Um, but yeah, I, I never really played it that much, so I actually don't remember a lot of it. So that'll be kind of fresh for me, which is nice. Because I, I remember these almost back to front. Because I had a computer. I did not have a PlayStation 2. I mean, I do now, but... Um, there's a lot of stuff that I don't remember from uh, the PlayStation version of the game. So it'll be, it'll be kind of cool to have kind of like... That in itself will, will be... Uh, it's uh, another interesting change here is that they changed peeves from throwing apples to throwing or in this like beta version I guess you could say or E3 version he throws books but in the full release he threw apples so but I'm I'm very excited that I don't remember Harry doing that that little that little uh huzzah animation that's god there's so much there's so much. There's so much. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm very excited. I, one of the things I remember very faintly from the, the PlayStation version is the f amount of freedom you had. Uh, the Chamber of Secrets had a little bit too much loading for me, uh, but I'll, obviously I'll still play it because it's, it's freaking an amazing game. Um, but yeah, it had a lot of loading. Uh, whereas with Sorcerer's Stone, there wasn't a lot of, uh, loading screens at all. You had a lot of free range to Hogwarts, too. You could, uh, you could look through so many different classrooms. You could, uh, you can go through the student tables and, and find beans and chests and cauldron cakes and stuff like that. Uh, which was another thing. I think, couldn't you get cauldron cakes and, um, pumpkin pasties earlier than the Prisoner of Azkaban in the PS2 versions? But for PC, you did actually have to, um, you did have to wait a little bit to get those until Prisoner of Azkaban. I think. Don't, don't quote me on that. I think. PS2, you could, you get cauldron cakes. Yeah, yeah, so there was cauldron cakes. Whereas in the PC version, you weren't introduced to those until, um, the, uh, Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm not sure on pumpkin pasties. Yeah, pumpkin pasties might have been a, uh, um, POA. Might have been a POA exclusive. But cauldron cakes, yeah, I do remember cauldron cakes. Cause, Please cause, stop that. Oh, yeah, no, I remember cauldron cakes, because in Chamber of Secrets, cauldron cakes, you could, uh, use those to heal, I think? Yeah, cause it healed. So I remember finding them uh, during the Whomping Willow level uh, when you first start the game. Um, Cauldron Cakes did heal you just a tiny bit. Whereas in the Prison of Azkaban, they're used as separate currency, uh, apart from beans. I remember wondering what they were, uh, what were they looked like acorns? Yeah, they, they did look a little bit like acorns, didn't they? Um, I have a Harry Potter cookbook uh, I got for Christmas. My my auntie got me, and uh, I I believe both cauldron cakes and pumpkin pasties are on there. So um, maybe I'll do a, a cooking stream at some point. I don't know. I kind of want to do that during the holidays. You know, have have holiday streams too, like a nice little Christmas holiday uh, stream or something like that, just to like. Just to spend the holidays with you guys. It's it's weird, but uh, it's cool. Uh, during during the holidays, I usually go to my grandmother's. Um, and then uh, occasionally I'll, I'll have a friend I'll, I'll, I'll hang out with on those holidays. But other than that... Uh oh Oh! There, that's the one. But uh, other than that, I mean, you're not really going anywhere anymore, you know? With this is all pandemic I'm and all that. Headless, Nick. Harry didn't say that in the beginning either. Keep trying. Give it some good old Gryffindor spirit. I don't remember him saying that either. Clever lad. You remember found that. secret napping place. Shh. Keep trying. Give it some good old Gryffindor spirit. I don't remember that Gryffindor spirit quote at all. Um. Oh man, that's nice. I'd love the recipe. 
Um, yeah, I'll actually um, post the recipe then. Like I said, on the Discord, we'll have a, a resource section on uh, Streaming Central. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, I'll add that on there, might as well. I also found a, a Final Fantasy 15 cookbook. Um, it's, not an, it's not an official one, same with the Harry Potter one, it's not an uh, official one. But, um, but yeah, it has like all 100 and something recipes that Ignis finds and uh, creates. And there's some nice ones. There's some really nice ones that I want to try. But yeah, I'll, I'll post some uh, recipes for you guys. Uh, I do at one point also, um, I want to get a, a friend, an old co-worker of mine, and also a really good friend, Alejandro. Uh, Alejandro uh, and me used to fawn over food a lot. Look at that report card, man. Um, but I want to do a thing where uh, me, Beerly Neji, and Alejandro uh, will all get together and uh, we'll do like an enchilada bake-off because I make a mean enchilada. Neji's recipe is very uh, similar to mine. And then Alejandro, I don't know what kind of recipes he has, but he's traditional with his food as well. Um, maybe get Grandma on there the too. Cup is heating up. Never heard Dumbledore say heating up before. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. He's spitting fire. The seeds are hot. <laughs> um, but I would love to like, do a little uh, like enchilada bake off, and then uh, my own grandmother uh, being like the um. um Next is our potions lesson. Oh, what do you and call it? it? Like, like the, uh, the tiebreaker, you know, just the, or not the tiebreaker. What is it called? Uh, let's see. Uh, I love to make holding cakes for myself. Sounds cool. Not sure if I'd like pumpkin, but there would be a uh, judge. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but would be worth a go. I mean, I love me some, uh, um, Pumpkin bread, and I love... Well, why are you guys kind of stuck? I feel so sorry for you guys. Um, I love me some pumpkin bread, and I love me some pumpkin pie. So, those in themselves, I have no issue with. Um, have you met Hagrid? He's so large, I can scarcely see the... But, um, yeah, I would love to have Gavin come up on uh, as a judge. And if we could do that live stream, that'd be pretty cool, you know? Is this different? No, this is a different. Oh, this is different. Oh, this is different, different. What? Oh, this is different, different. Hold on, I'm saving. Is this like acid? Can I not jump in here? Hold on, I already saved, so. Yep. Oh, that's cool. This was not part of the original. Oh, this is so. I. I and loving this. Okay, let's go ahead and jump across. There we go. It's a little dark in there. This was not a room I remember at all. This is huge in comparison. Okay, there's there's the, the, the main area. What in the world? What is this? I can't cast anything on it. But I've never even seen that model before. That's new to me. I don't even remember that in uh, Chamber of Secrets. Uh, so it, that's a new model. It's interesting. But yeah, what do you guys think? Should we have a bake up? Ooh. What is this? This is sick. I I have a feeling I'm gonna die though. Okay, no, not dying. This is interesting. Uh, one of the uh, viewers I had uh, for my uh, game dev streams mentioned that they would like to see a, a cooking stream at some point. So, hey, maybe. 
This is crazy. Look, is that another snake? This is a whole, like... This is amazing. This is cool. Um, not quite sure I want to... Oh! That's some bogus. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do that one more time, and then we'll we'll continue on with uh, the dungeons. Uh, yeah, because for some reason the, the custom save point thing isn't working properly. So you can all press minus, and that's supposed to save it, but it's not saving it. Uh, I think we'll leave them a couple of beans. Yeah. I'm going to get those main ones real quick, and then I'll... <clears throat> nope. Ah, okay, the custom save works if I press plus. Okay. Okay, perfect. Oh, we, we got this then. We got this. Let me just... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting a little too excited here. Hold on. I'm going to save right here. Ah, here we go. Quick saving does seem like it's uh, cheating, but hey. Okay, good. All right, let's see. Do I... Okay. Oh, these are thin. I don't like these. Oh, God. Harry Potter uh, didn't quite seem like a parkour kind of game, but here we are. Anything I can cast? No. All right. <sighs> Such an interesting concept, though. All right. Accidentally pressed plus instead of minus. Wow. What? <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh, I didn't wow. know. There we go. I actually did not notice that you could fall through there. And there we go. Save there. And actually, can I just fall through? Yes, I can. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 That's bogus. <laughs> oh. Okay. That was interesting. Okay, now now we're safe. That was that was very strange. All right, time to go into here. I am your potions teacher, Professor Snape. Today, Today, Professor Snape's you will face, learn how to mix facial model looks a little bit different. Potion. You're late for potions, Mr. Potter. Inexcusable Oops. even for celebrities. Five points from Gryffindor. Potter. Go to the dungeons and fetch the potion ingredients for the class. Bring back Wigan Tree Bark, Moly, Dittany, and Flubberworm mucus. Uh, another little be bit of detail. It, or I shall deduct house points Snake pronounces it as Moly. Be gone and don't come back and Harry pronounces it as Molly. So I'm very curious, because I don't remember those ingredients being mentioned in the Harry Potter series audibly. Uh, in the books, yes, but not in the, um, the movie. So I wonder, is it Moly or is it Molly? I'm watching you, Potter. Yeah, I know you're watching me. I think that's one of the <laughs> Audible Q is a, a little today. little late. Hmm, that must be dissonant. Little late. Or a little early. Ah, there we go. Where am I? I wonder if Snape tricked me. I still need to look for Snape's potion ingredients. 
I wonder if Snape tricked me. Better keep on doing what he told me to do, though. All right, there are a few things I'm just gonna skip through because this is a, a rather long dungeon. I think that's where the Snape. Snape and Harry cast the water man. You told me. One thing I've not seen in this version, I remember in the PS1, the cat down the well. There's a cat down the well. Oh, ooh. I don't remember the cat down the well. But I also never played the PS1 version. I wonder if I can cast a Fipendo spell at that switch. Oh switch. God! A lot of yellow, a lot of specifically yellow beans. So talk to me about this cat down the well. I'm curious. So I'm not. I never played the PS1 version, unfortunately. I saw somebody else play it. Uh, call me Kevin. If you get a chance to watch his content, his content is freaking amazing. Um, I don't remember if he did the PS1 version. I think he did the PS2 version. So he definitely did not do the PS, uh, the PC versions until Prisoner of Azkaban. Can I get it from all the way up? Look at that. That's crazy that I can get it to that. Uh, I have I have more than enough beans. I'm not gonna worry. A challenge star. I don't. Was there a challenge star? I'll have to jump it. Look at them skills. Hardcore parkour. Uh, yeah, on the grounds so there's a gated well with a student looking down, and you have to go. Uh, you have to go down the dungeon to go through a maze thing to find the cat. You have to listen to the meow. Really? That's interesting. Oh, I would love to play that. That level sounds very interesting. Uh, I'm I'm always intrigued when it comes to uh, just things that do things a little bit differently, like um, uh, like with that as an example. Um, Trying to find oh, no. something via sound and sound baron. distanced. I That's stay interesting. Away from the baron. Ooh. Yeah, come on, go through the thing. Thank you, Mr. Baron. to have messed up. So trolls in your way, you have to use puff balls to knock them out. Oh, you've got me very intrigued now. And like, see, look, more rats. I, uh, that's such a small detail, but that's so important for environmental details. There are actual rats in the dungeon. Like, that's so. That's such a that's weird what thing to hide. Snape up. asked me to get. Hmm, that looks like Wigan tree bark. Oh, this is cool. This is brand new to me. Uh oh. Uh, we, um, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> um. Okay, yeah, you, you, did. you didn't see anything. All right, but this is, this is, inter this is a whole puzzle that didn't exist.
Okay, so am I doing it like this? Okay. I assume this is what I'm doing. This is a whole puzzle that didn't exist. That's so neat. I have 508 beans now. I wonder if I can levitate that. Okay, so levitate. This one. I'm actually pretty excited to play the PS2 version. <laughs> Okay. There we go. Bring that over here. Let the time run out so it falls. I wonder if they included that in the PS2 version. Uh, maybe. And then this. Drag it over here. Let it fall. What time is it? 10.26. We might finish this? Dramatic music much? Okay. Whoops. Engine. Anyone who's seen this, these set of streams know that this is the uh, section where I die the most. So unfortunately, I will have to. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cheat past this. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this. This every time, and then die frequently from it. Uh, you finishing streak at midnight or going on because I'm loving this um, so what I'm going to do is if I can finish this particular game before midnight uh, then I will actually start on the PS2 version if I cannot finish this uh, before midnight then I will finish the game and then um, probably Sunday I'll start on the PS2 game um, I do want to start doing, um, I, I do want to start, uh, streams at midnight after work, because I get off at 11 o'clock usually. So I'm usually back home around 11.45, uh, and then midnight I am, uh, uh, cup, cup, oh, uh, cup, no, cup, uh, no, cup, there we go. Uh, and then midnight I'm usually, uh, either talking to friends or... I think that's what the ingredients are. I, where do I go now? Forget. I've, I've played this level so many times. Um, oh, that's right. I gotta go down here. Um, yeah, I'm usually either talking to friends on Discord or I am uh, playing something already or working on my game. Uh, Saturdays are usually um, the days that I work on my video game. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. Oh. Oh, I survived. Um, but I haven't been working on my game very often because I've been uh, playing these and I've been enjoying every second of these. Alright. Mr. Ghost Gamma. So yeah, if I'm able to finish this before midnight, then um, we'll take a tiny little break and then we'll switch on over to... Uh, the PS2 version. Uh, just to make sure that the streams are separate, I'll go ahead and cut off the stream uh, when we beat this, and then uh, probably do like a, a 15... I was thinking uh, 30 minutes, but I'm going to do a 15-minute break, uh, and then start the uh, Harry Potter uh, PS2 stream. If not, we'll do it 
uh, either uh, Saturday if I don't, if I'm not going out on Saturday, then we'll do it Saturday. Uh, if not, we'll do it Sunday. Or, like I said, midnights on Thursday, Friday. We'll figure it out. Oh, God. I'm very glad that you're enjoying this, though. Oh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> I'm not quite sure why Harry uh, decided to uh, do that, but okay. That was an interesting bit of movement. <laughs> How you do it. Fast. I think that's what we need. Snape asked me to do Hey, it. and we're that must be back. Destiny. Late again, you lazy boy. A further three points. For three a points. I have 542 lesson. points. I see Are you you've kidding collected me? a few challenge stars, but I'm afraid they have no value in my classroom. I've ended the lesson without you, Potter. The other students are off to the Halloween feast. Join them. Can we see the Halloween uh, feast for once? That'd be uh, that'd be kind of cool if we could. No. Harry, a huge troll is on the rampage. It's cornered Hermione in the girls' bathroom. See, how does he know? She needs our help. We okay. must try to rescue In the her the away. movie in the book. Come on, Harry. We have to get moving. We were searching for Hermione because we knew she was crying in the bathroom. Or we heard from another student Harry, she was crying in the bathroom all that night. Smell? That's why she wasn't at the uh, Halloween feast. And we're going to go over there to apologize to console her. That's when we found out about the troll. Because uh, uh, Quirrell was like troll in the dungeon. Thought she ought to know. Um, and uh, this way, there we're like, oh, wait. That's the same one that Hermione's in. Uh-oh. But with this, Ron's just like, hey, no, I know the exact location of where everything is happening right now. Please help. Come on, let's save her. And that's it. Actually, technically, based off of the uh, time of the year this takes place, being Halloween, would this be considered the middle of the game? So I always feel like Lumos, the, the Lumos challenge is considered the middle. Or maybe the troll chase is the middle. Oh, I almost lost there. Oh, and I always love this area because it shows like some of the enemies and stuff in glass cases. There's a tiny troll there. And... I love that area. I wish that, that we got more time with that little section. Um, actually, I like that mission. There was... Where is it? Where? Get the cat on PS1. I would like to experience that mission. The troll is enormous! <laughs> I would like to experience that mission. Charge the trolls truck so it bashes him in the head. We need Guardian Leviosa. Alright, let's spam it. If anybody joins the stream now, they're gonna be very confused. <laughs> Ah, okay, he fixed the targeting. Remember in the last stream when we were doing mods and cheats, uh... The, um, troll was only targeting me. But it seems if I get out of the way of the, uh, of his view, he goes back to hitting Ron. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to do this the good old-fashioned way. Spamming the spell and hoping it hits. 
I actually remember dying a few times on this mission um, in the PC version as a kid. There we go. Are you all right? Thanks for saving me. Hermione, are you all right? Was another thing that wasn't said in the original. Hermione just went straight to being a, a sociopath and be like, "Hey, the troll, is he dead?" Harry, Ron, and Hermione returned to the Gryffindor common room and discussed the strange goings on at Hogwarts. Harry suspected that someone had released the troll to distract everyone so that they could get into the Forbidden Corridor. Was that? But there wasn't much time to think about who was behind this, especially since Harry was busy preparing for the second Quidditch match. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> preparing for the flipping footage match. Welcome to Quidditch. Yeah, those purple little, uh, those purple little things. I think that that's uh, a spawn for events. All right, this is gonna be a lot more difficult than before. So let's go ahead and have a little bit of Quidditch traumatization here. Because I remember it was very difficult to catch up to this uh, the first time I played uh, with this version. It's interesting how uh, in the other version of the game, they seem to have slowed down the uh, snitch. And oh my god, oh my god, that snitch is going literally berserk. Oh no, this is going to be a long level, I apologize in advance. Right in the face. Oh, I am actually dying, dying. My health is atrocious right now. I'm going to die to Quidditch. Now, as I mentioned before, I like difficulty. Difficulty usually uh, attracts me to a game far more than an easy game. But I'm not used to this. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay, so the trick is not to technically follow him, but to cut him off. I... I I say him as though the snitch has a gender, but I've never seen such the way that it's like freaking out though, like just tossing and turning it and going insane. I do like that. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, definitely the uh, the public release or the um, the final version of. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Roger. They definitely made this a lot Roger. easier. Because if you remember, I was able to play that. And I won within seconds. Ooh, I think the fastest run that we did um, was like maybe 20 or 30 seconds. With these though. Oh, it drains faster too. That's another reason why I'm having such an issue. So when you catch up to it, 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 it the the thing the, the gauge usually drains slower. That's probably another reason why uh, I got it so easily. But look at that! Look how fast it disappears, though. Come on. I want. I, I have other levels to play. Please, please. Nice 
Find his way by Fred or George Wheatley. I can't tell which. Come on, 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 I was so close. Come on. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Come on. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off. Like at this point, this is. I, I said I wasn't gonna play sports, but this is this is my FIFA. This is. Come on. Oh my God, that was frustrating. Oh my God. I can see why they changed it. I can see why they altered it in the in the uh, final release. Because that is disastrously difficult in comparison to the full release. Trying to convince him um, that he couldn't I wonder who the secret for Ravenclaw was back then, because Cho Chang was in Harry's year and she wouldn't have been the secret back then. You're absolutely right. I'm curious myself, actually. I'm pretty sure that's a detail that they would have added into um, uh, what was that Harry Potter site. It's an invisibility cloak. That you could have an account on, you could make your own um There was a note with the cloak. Your father left this in my possession. You could make your own um, a very merry Christmas character, team. and you could have your own wand, and your, you could be sorted into your own house. Harry and... tried on the cloak. I forget Ron what and helped what website that was, but um, there's a lot of information on stuff that wasn't included in the books and the movies. Cast spells, um, that was actually it. just J.K. Rowling writing new content. Um, I'm pretty With sure. More, but safely bundled up. Harry set off for the tallest tower. Music. He hoped that the cloak would conceal him from Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. That music. What's that? That's new. That is new. I'm invisible. My invisibility cloak should keep me hidden. I better be careful casting spells, though. This is my. Oh my god. There's again, new content. I've got to be quiet. Is sick. I love this music. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? Uh, actually, we should be able to find out who the seeker was by playing. Um... Well, well. We oh. are in trouble now. That hurt. No, but that hurt a little bit. Um, if we play Quidditch World Cup, because um, Slytherin Theory would have been a seeker the whole time, and I can't remember Slytherin Seeker too. I don't remember the, the Slytherin Seeker nice. before Draco Malfoy. I don't remember. But uh, Quidditch World Cup uh, would actually be able to tell us who Ravenclaw's was, because yeah, Cedric Diggory and Malfoy were both seekers in that game. So, in theory. We should be able to see who the seeker was for Ravenclaw. And based on the fact that the Quidditch World Cup game was based off of the uh, first two Harry Potter games, um, yeah, we should uh, get all the detail we need. So we should try that out at some point. Wow, okay. automatically locked door. Run. Maybe Alahamora will open. Cho Ching was a uh, seeker in the World Cup. Dang it. Okay. I was hoping we could uh, figure it out from there. Well, I'll, I'll do some research and see if I can find some information. Look at that. Like, even where did Filch go? Like, little little details like that. I don't know why they... Automatically locked door. I wonder if I can open that. Spell, I become see little oh, why did they cut that out why did they cut out that those kind of uh bits of dialogue Whoa! that's so like needed Whoa! it's needed detail oh. I hope you didn't hear that. Oh, that they should not have deleted that that those uh Intruder. Those bits of audio. 
Uh, yeah, I spent hours playing that game. Oh, so did I. It was so fun. I enjoyed Quidditch games. Uh, which is why I'm, I'm sad that they, uh, stopped putting them in the games. Like, Order of the Phoenix didn't have... Oh! Wait, I don't think Order of the Phoenix had any Quidditch, did it? Didn't, uh, freaking Umbridge, um, like, ban Quidditch or something that year? I forget, but I don't remember Quidditch being a thing in Order of the Phoenix. Maybe I can climb that. Oh, God, Phil, someone found me. Um, and then... Prisoner of Azkaban didn't have... Uh, they had the cutscene for it, and that was it. But you weren't able to play in that game. Uh, Goblet of Fire obviously didn't have... Um, obviously didn't have it. Um, Order of the Phoenix didn't have it. Half-Blood Prince, you did play Quidditch. And then, obviously, now, how can I get up Part there? 1 and Part 2 of Deathly Hollows didn't have Quidditch. But, yeah. I would love to see a, a modern-day Quidditch game, though. Character customization, too. That would be sick to have in that kind of a game. Wherever you are. Apparently, there are unidentified only one known before show with Gilderoy Lockhart you claim to have been. Oh, I forget. I forgot that Gilderoy was um, a Ravenclaw. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Intruder. Ah! Intruder. Oh, 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 oh. Like I said, Filch. Filch makes this game a horror game. Intruder. Intruder in the Forbidden Corridor. already 1047 at night so we might very well be able to get past this before midnight uh terence higgs was before draco for slytherin and years before regulus black oh i forgot that black was on the uh, slytherin which uh, team okay Okay, so the cheats don't work quite the way I'd like them to. But we can still uh, fly. There we go. Uh, damn, the wind here crazy, making my lights flicker. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we were having a very large storm earlier. Uh, there was thunder, lightning. My uh, computer actually reset for a second. I'll have to climb it. 
<laughs> you think I'm your Harry. Harry, you think you're gonna climb. Uh no, sir, e Bob, not on my watch. How dare you think that you would have to succumb to flying I mean to uh climbing. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Uh oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh Harry is unfortunately large. Oh. Okay, there's Filch. Uh oh. Okay, some things might have broken. Do you think I'm blind? I'm not letting anyone into that tower tonight. Yes, you are. <laughs> Peeves, you'll be banished for this. That could come in handy if I have to distract Filch along the way. I've got to be quiet. The tower at last. I hope Charlie is here. More dialogue that got cut. Ron's brother Charlie had arranged to collect the dragon from the tower and return him to Romania. Yeah, so you notice the uh, the purple here again? Yeah. That's definitely a spawn point. Uh, he mentioned Charlie. Wow, I know, right? Yeah, Charlie's only mentioned a couple times, and Bill is only mentioned, I think, once or twice in the movies. Mrs. Norris. I could have sworn I heard footsteps in here, but... Yeah, blah. The book's a lot more. Let's check as far as the video games go, though, I think it's the only time Charlie's actually mentioned in the uh, series of video games. No. Maybe he's referenced in Goblet of Fire because he works with dragons? I'm not sure. Uh, Bill is in the movies. Yes, he is in... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um... Deathly Hollows Part 1. Possibly Deathly Hollows Part 2. Uh -huh. I've heard you for sure but Deathly Part 1. Quick, Mrs. Norris. Because he's the one that you says Mad Eyes Dead. Above. You'll not get past me now, you rotten little gutter snipes. I would love to use gutter snipes against someone. Just like that is a very unique insult. <laughs> Made too much noise. Uh, Bill is in the movie and two. Okay, I had a feeling he was in two. Oh yeah, no, he was. Yeah, because he's part of the Order of the Phoenix. Yeah, he's part of the the group of people that come in uh, when Harry's in the uh, Great Hall talking to Snape <sighs> at the cottage before W dies. Oh yeah, duh. Of course, that was his cottage. Fleur, Fleur and his. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't remember that. <laughs> That's a detail I completely forgot, my goodness. See, I, I love these streams talking to you guys, because we get to talk about all these little Harry Potter details and stuff. Ah, it's so nice. Oh. 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 
I don't even care about that extra bean. I'm just going. I'm just going. I have like 500 and something beans. I'm good. Is this extreme cheating? Yes, it is. Does the mirror of Erised look just a little bit different? Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and I Lily I wish Potter. we could see them. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Oh, Harry God. turned slowly about. Uh, that's so part of the you, game with every kid's like night. Hundreds before you, I've I'm totally fine the with cheating it. Yep. Mirror of <laughs> said yeah. Professor Dumbledore. <coughs> he went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire. Yeah, of definitely our every kid's nightmare. All right, this, give neither knowledge from what I've seen in the chat, the mirror of for the past Erisette two times that we've done this level, home shortly, yeah, this was every kid's Dumbledore nightmare, went for on, sure. Adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? Thought Harry. Did you have Filthy to sneak wet. past Gave Filch? Us the slip, Mrs. Norris. I've locked the only door out of here for the sake of the nerves. Sneak Stay around Filch in the PS2 the version for a bit, my dear. Or in this case, uh, Addy, you would know a little bit more about uh, PlayStation One version. Was Filch uh, someone you had to sneak around in that version of the game? Strictly uh, this version of the game. Only way out of this room is past that gate. And we're back at seven viewers again. Nice. You take that side. Why is it that we always get <laughs> we always get the most um, the most viewers at a time? during the the filch events i don't know why it happens every time uh in ps1 you had to collect the cloak in certain points i wasn't invisible the whole time like this oh that's interesting oh. sneaky 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 Just drop it. Just drop it. Please drop it. Uh, and yes, the cat was there after the first room. Ah, oh, God. The uh, paralyzed spell. I'm actually very surprised that uh, we haven't seen any use of it since we learned it from uh, Hermione. I would have thought I would ha we would have more opportunity to use it, but I guess not. Same with Repairer. Like I said, we only used it three times this game. Uh, it was an icon on the bookshelves. You had to sneak to it to uh, become invisible and get past. It was very hard. That sounds very uh, difficult, actually. Oh God, not the cat, not the cat, not the cat. Don't see me, don't see me. <laughs> Mrs. Norris looks around. Oh, that was terrible. That cat, you saw that cat. That cat jumped. That cat jumped for just a split second. I like the little codes up there. Mrs. Norris hit a wall, auto transition to patrol. <laughs> Mrs. Norris finished perform jump. Yeah, see, she did. She did indeed jump. 
as oh oh no okay you didn't hear nothing and, and sure of course uh, mr. Felch didn't see an entire thing levitating before his eyes sure no here what are you gonna do what you gonna do oh no running running Uh, yeah, the version looks so much easier than the PS1. This is North. Looks around. Sneak actor. Boss target set to none. Level 4 sneak. Mrs. Hor Norris hit another wall. Poor Mrs. Norris. I like how the cat just like, <laughs> just screamed and hissed. Oh, that was beautiful. Mrs. Norris, you don't know what's coming to you. <laughs> Goodbye. Is there more bookshelves in this area? I feel like there were... I don't remember there being bookshelves and, and, and chairs there for some reason. It probably was there. Another reason why I'm going to enjoy playing the uh, PS2 version is that I just get, I'll, I'll be able to sit back here, have my microphone like this, and just play with a controller. Much more relaxed than just hunched over the keyboard like that. That'll be nice. Let me move this real quick. But yeah, I think after this, aren't we going after uh, Fluffy? So, yeah, we should be able to finish this before midnight. Hey, that means we could do the PS2 version. Tonight, rather than tomorrow night or Sunday. Love this song. And this song. Do you have 25 beans Those for absolute us? slappers. <laughs> That's it. That's all the beans we need. Ooh, we're up to eight Thanks, viewers Harry. now. Very we nice. It without you. Here's a wizard card for you. As I'm going to say, every time we have a whole bunch of viewers, I'm just saying, so this version of the game we've played a few times, but we haven't played this particular version. This particular version is a quote-unquote E3 version. Uh, adds in a lot of deleted content, including extra spells, extra dialogue, extra cutscenes. Really fun stuff. So thank you for choosing to uh, join my stream. I appreciate it. We don't have followers here, just friends. So if you would like to become a friend, by all means, go ahead and join. We're doing Harry Potter streams. Uh, we'll at one point get into uh, Kingdom Hearts streams. We're going into Final Fantasy streams. We're going into um, a few other one-off streams here and there. Uh, mainly all the nostalgic games, you know? The games that people have grown up with and stuff like that. Games that you haven't seen in a long time. But I'm trying to twist it up a little bit, so... Okay, yeah, there's the uh, the scene. Once Norbert had been freed, however, uh, and I'm still Malfoy talking sprang his on my own. <laughs> Harry was yeah, by you're the only one that's been chatting. We have eight viewers. For his and detention, no one wants to say hello. Harry was to make his way into the Forbidden Forest and search for a wounded unicorn. That was dialogue that's new. What? This is new. This is brand new. What? Oh. 
Oh, this is a whole new level. Oh, this is good. Oh, you eight viewers are about to see something cool. So, like I said, there's a whole bunch of deleted content. Uh, especially stuff that was seen from the old A3 trailers. Um, some stuff hidden in the code, stuff like that. And there's a gentleman that has actually uh, added some stuff in and recreated that uh, kind of content and, and unlocked a lot of potential. Uh, this, of course, is one of those uh, levels, I guess. Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be a long one. Okay, this is going to be a long one. <laughs> oh, this is cool, though. I am enjoying this. Um, we are using the minor use of cheats and mods. Um, well, technically, this whole thing is a mod in itself, just to unlock this content. Uh, we are using the uh, use of some minor cheats here and there, such as uh, auto-saving whenever we want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, auto-save there, though. Oh, this is... This is going to be hellish. Oh, God. I've never been quite good with... Oh, with parkour. I'm sorry, I'm sitting right there. I'm a coward. Oh, come on. Nope. 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 Sorry. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not playing through that whole thing. Nope. Oh, I don't like that hitbox. I don't. I could already see why this was removed. Yeah, you think? <laughs> oh, come on. That's... Okay, I'm just rushing it. No, I'm not rushing it. Uh, it's AFK. Well, hey, welcome back to the stream. Here's my favorite part of the stream, where I die repeatedly. This is like the freaking the potions class all over again. No, you know what? No, no, they're not having it. No, <laughs> they don't win. No, okay. I'm sorry. Holy shit! <laughs> what? What is this? Why is it so big? Why was it so big? Oh god, that was absolutely terrifying. Holy crap. Why was it so big? Why is everything so big? I'm terrified right now. I mean, not legitimately terrified, but you know. Uh, <laughs> super jump. Fuck it. Water Mouse is back. Hey, how's it going, Water Mouse? I woke up just uh, about maybe a couple hours after your stream had ended, so I apologize for not making it to your stream. Oh my god, that giant doxy was terrifying. What is this? I died. Okay. Well, I guess I'm not touching that. I'm okay. What about you? I'm doing pretty good. Pretty chill today. Oh, interesting. They moved the chest over here. People to talk to. Yay. Hey, there you go. Now it's just not you and me. Now it's... Oh, my God. Why are these things so huge? I don't get it. Oh, wow. Oh, God. This is interesting. Um. Um. <clears throat> I'm just. You, 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 
see your name. You didn't. Yeah. Wow, I made the jump. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was that was amazing. Wow, what a good jump. All right. We're not talking about that. Wow, this actually goes on for a while. Interesting. Harry Gilly with three years early. Oh, I love that. Uh, taking a break from VR. Oh, good, good. VR, too too much VR can hurt the uh, eyes a little bit. Just a tiny bit. This is a very empty level. So you can definitely tell this was uh, removed early on. But it's still interesting. What is this here? What? Ooh. That was an interesting bit of animation. It's a very empty level, though. <laughs> Hello, I am under the water. Yeah, <laughs> I like. Incendio. Incendio. A lot of broken textures, though. Are those dead goats? Or are they supposed to be dead unicorns? Uh, I'm saving here because this is a very large area and uh, I played enough video games to know large areas. Oh. 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 That is a gentleman. That is a shadow. A shadowy figure. A shadowy gentleman. A figure. Oh, and he's turning. If you notice that. Is he turning? Oh, yeah. He, he's turning to look at me. Okay. Well, that's terrifying. I've never seen a shivering animation from Harry. The shadows, a hooded figure came crawling across the ground. Whole bits of audio just cut on the animal's side and began to drink its blood. The hooded creature got to its feet, it moved swiftly towards Harry. A terrible pain pierced the young wizard's head. Half blinded, Harry staggered back and fell to his knees. <coughs> Harry was rescued in the nick of time by the centaur Forense and rode on his back to safety. Forenze explained that unicorn blood had the power to keep someone alive with an inch from death. So much happening off screen, but you know. The figure he'd seen in the clearing was none other than he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. And that it was he that was trying to get his hands on the Sorcerer's Stone. Okay, you could... Her... Malfoy challenged you to... Ooh. Wait, in the trophy room? How much new content is there? The Harry Potter uh, versus Malfoy uh, duel was in the PS2 versions, and they cut that out of the out of the PC versions. Oh my God! There is so much new stuff here. I am absolutely baffled. Um, but yeah, that Forbidden Forest sequence—you could definitely tell that was deleted very early on. But the fact that there is that much audio left over, um. It's absolutely amazing. Um, let's see here. Is that meant to be Voldemort drinking unicorn blood? Yep. And uh, instead of the, he massacred goats. Yep. <laughs> Wait. So is there actually dueling in this game? There can't be. I mean. Oh my god. I know where this area is. This is the freaking um. This is it's one of the things that we saw in the old. You won't get past me, Potter. Oh my God. This is what was in the PS2 version. You had to sneak bat past a, um, a prefect 
every time you had you wanted to do something at night, you had to sneak past a, a prefect. This is so cool. Uh oh. Is that Percy? That's Percy. Yeah, because uh, in this... Oh. Yeah, in this... In the PS2 version... Um, he was studying in this in this room. Um, and you didn't want to distract him. Uh, and if he got distracted, he would catch you. Oh my, this is a straight up new thing for the PC version. But any noise that you made would attract him. Similar to how Filch works. <laughs> that jump was a little, a little broken. So can he see me here? And of course, there was a uh, leg locking curse he could do. Uh, similar, similar to Pratificus Totalis. No, it was Pratificus Totalis, if I'm mistaken. So I'm wondering if... Wow, this is... I mean, it is cool that they added um, this into later versions, but I wonder if this was just, they didn't have the time. Maybe it was a time crunch that it didn't meet. This is, like I said, I've played this game repeatedly as a kid. And to see just brand new content like this, this is like full on, like, if somebody added DLC to this game. Oh, okay, so... Like, this is new. New uh, version of the game, um, if they heard anything, it, it, it it's basically coded just like Filch. If he heard a noise, um, they he, he would investigate it. Um, so what you could actually do is use that to your advantage and you would be able to cast spells randomly to hit against walls or bookshelves, not even to really affect anything, like to break uh, jars or anything, but uh, just to hit the wall. And that impact alone would make enough noise to um, have uh, the prefect run towards that. However, if you cast that spell too close to the prefect, they would know where the source of the spell came from. Or if you cast it repeatedly, um, they would be, uh, be more likely to find out where you are. Oh, it's so cool to see this um, stuff re-added in. You won't get past me, Potter. Mm. Oh. Cheeky bastards. All right. Um, instead, uh, same painting to fee uh, to Fred and George's shop. Yeah, yeah. Come to think of it, yeah, that's exactly what you had to do. Um, same with Chamber of Secrets, PS2, same room. Yeah, exactly. Uh, can you freeze them? There was that Pratificus Totalis spell that I learned. Maybe. Nope. Can't freeze them, unfortunately. Oh God. But what I can do is cheat. Oh, come on, hurry, 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 hurry. Yes. Get out of there. Okay, I'm saving here. There we go. It's interesting how the save point doesn't actually work properly. But uh, it also makes sense that uh, Pratificus, the, the uh, paralyzing spell, Pratificus Totalis, um, since it wasn't fully implemented, I've only been able to use it once and it was in the room that I learned it. Um... But that would make sense. But you also weren't given that spell in the PS2 versions. Only the prefects and uh, uh, teachers could use it. Because you weren't actually properly taught that spell. Wow! Oh, oh, that was on me. Good thing I don't have much to do. Uh -huh. Oh, 
cut. <laughs> of course, I reloaded accidentally. Yeah. I meant to press this minus button instead of the other minus button. Where did the preview? Okay, there he is. Uh, that would have been really cool. Yeah, it would have. Oh God. Um, you could hit other students earlier. Can you hit them? Yeah, no, unfortunately, it didn't let me. I was only able to hit students in that particular room that I learned it in for some reason. So then again, it is a heavily unimplemented spell. So maybe they're testing it out. And uh, I know some games, uh, my game included, has testing rooms that allow you to access particular things that you couldn't access anywhere else or certain effects that only worked in that particular room. Um, usually a, a dev room or a dev testing room. Final Fantasy VII had a uh, dev room as well. Um, <clears throat> but... Um, yeah, it could just be a spell that wasn't fully implemented, and that's why we're not able to. Uh, same as before, if you remember at the beginning, we're able to uh, cast Wingardium Leviosa on candlesticks. We can no longer do that. And certain witches, or witch statues, cannot have Flipendo on them, so. Such is the unfortunate case from unfinished rooms. Okay, we're back here. How do I get across? Oh, we're going to have to go a search in here. Kind of already on. Oh. That's interesting. It's not useful to me, but it is interesting. Uh oh. Oh, what? What? You mean all I had to do was just walk up to it? <laughs> I'm so angry. <laughs> oh my god, here I am just like, I wonder how this works. Oh, it doesn't quite work as proper as I would like anyways, but... Okay, well... Oh, God. Oh! No! I'm not doing it again. I'm an idiot. I wasn't supposed to worry about that anyways. There was a thing down below. Whoa! What? This is a very interesting um, and slightly broken way to spawn this. Uh, Why well, you can shut as well as open? Yeah, it's it's a very strange effect. I'm um, very cool with it though. Okay, I'm gonna save here. And uh, that ain't happening, so I'm gonna go ahead and boom. Okay, this room is broke. Yeah, it's very broke. But this is a cool area, though. Might as well just close the door. I mean, since I have the option to do so. This is an interesting built-up room, though. See, I would have assumed that you could use that before. Power. Oh, that's cool. See what I meant uh, before about um, certain things that could be picked up. Unfortunately, when Guardian Leviosa now runs on a timer instead of just clicking it to push it back uh, to drop it, so I have to wait. There we go. Ah, 
That's nifty. Ooh, am I about to learn a new spell? That's a new spell. What is that? Oh, that's... I like that. I, I have no reason to use... Oh my god, it's a... Oh, okay. Okay. It, again, new content. I love this. It's literally called... Uh, the map is literally uh, Midnight Duel 3. Or the cutscene is Midnight Duel 3. It's Aloha... Aloha Morasta? It's a very strange... Look at the top left there. It's a very strange... Uh, it's definitely not Aloha Mora. And of course, I already forgot the name of the actual spell. It's AFK, weren't you, what was the game that you were playing, um, where you had to, um, trace the spell? Well, not really trace the spell, but, um, uh, trace in the air a particular, like, symbol to activate a spell. I forget what game that was, but you had heavily enjoyed it. Oh, that one. Perfect. And 97. Uh, close enough to perfect for me. For me. See, I was thinking to myself, oh, we're going to finish this before midnight. I, I didn't take into consideration all the new uh, all the new content. No, this isn't broke either. Uh, Orbis Reborn. Okay. Why do I need... Is that for that? Oh, what is this? What is this? Oh, that's cool. Oh, my God. This is really freaking neat so it creates like a uh that's so cool that's so cool so that's why it's so dark oh, that's uh, i am i am baffled oh my god oh this is an actual oh this is a dual duel Well, Potter, we meet again. Having a tour of the castle, are we? You'll show me some respect. Oh, this is just, uh... Is this the, uh, thing again? The, uh... The, yeah. What happened? I... Oh, um, <laughs> what? Oh, this is so cool. Through this door, Harry. What? Okay, hi. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay. I I wanted to duel with. I wanted to duel with Malfoy, though. Come on, let's go. Okay, I wanted to duel Malfoy. I'm guessing that was a, a level that they just didn't finish, possibly. This way, Harry. I've got a new spell, though. Can't use it for anything, but it's a nice spell. I think this is where the growling has been coming from. Oh God! How hard is it to be? Ooh! I think we'll be able to pull the door. How and why are they there? Yeah, exactly. Go on, Harry. We're right behind now, you. Now, what I'm interested. Remember what I mentioned before? Those last couple of streams, I mentioned 
that there was a part of Fluffy's um, song. Wait, are we leaving? I don't want to leave. I'm doing this. I have a flute. I want to play it. Okay, we get it. It's a giant three-headed dog. Okay. Okay. This is a nice cutscene, but uh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. So we just leave? That was close, Harry. Come on, let's get out of here. Hermione, Ron, and Harry researched the secret of the Sorcerer's Stone. It could produce the elixir of life. Well, a potion that would make anyone immortal. I approve. No someone's trying to get it. Anyone would want it. I approve. The reason why, in the book and the movie, Hermione suspected that the package Hagrid had taken from Harry Ron and Hermione had met stone. Fluffy. It was the Sorcerer's Stone that before the end. The corridor. They did go down the Being Forbidden for, uh, Corridor before, whatever it was that and they saw the him. dog once. Snape's been acting very suspiciously. I approve lately. that they he may be planning included to steal this. the Sorcerer's Stone. There's because no way in this game, it makes it seem as though they only met Fluffy once, and that's it. Do you remember that Dumbledore said that but in the, the book and the movie, is out completely of different. To all students, that must be where the stolen object is. Let's split up and look for a way up there. That's that must doubt. mean that tonight's the night. Let's go. What about Filch? He's always watching the Forbidden Corridor. We'll just have to take our chances then. That's new! We have to get to the stone first. Ron and I will meet you on the third floor at the doorway to the Forbidden Corridor. <sighs> it looks like Filch is somewhere I, else tonight. I'm, I'm very happy Phew. with this. I was worried about running into Filch, but he's nowhere in sight. Oh, I love this. Um, but yeah, so the thing that wasn't Come done... On, let's go! Um, so there is a flute song that you play, of course, and it's missing the last three notes in the official game. Uh, what? Oh no, we're not doing this again. We're back at it again, where healing kills ya. Yay. I don't know why this glitch happened in the, in, in the original, but it's happening again. But, um, yeah, I mentioned before that there, the, the song you play for Fluffy is not complete. Card, but one. This way, Harry. Harry has never said that either. I also don't have every last card but one. Uh, I am missing a, a, a couple here, unfortunately, Harry. You're a little bit wrong. Um, this will never make the finished game the same again. I know. Oh, my God. This has been so much fun. Um, but I'm curious to see if they allowed the song to play through completely for those last few notes. And you'll, if they did, you'll realize what I meant. So if you... I don't think we should go in there. If you hear but we've got to stop the Snow. old version and you of hear course. if this Harry, new version. You remember that Hagrid said that he used to calm Fluffy with music. Try and play the tune that Hagrid mentioned to put each of Fluffy's heads to sleep. Be careful though. He looks ferocious. This dialogue wasn't there either. This would have made so much sense. Go on, Harry. We're right behind you. It literally went from, uh, in the original, it went from Ron saying, I don't think we should go in there, to Hermione saying, you know, we're right behind you, Harry. Oh my god. Only happy because this one's for Fluffy. I'll try the flu. That might put Fluffy to sleep. So let's on. see. Do let's see if careful. this is if they if, if they fixed it. Howling, Harry. Oh, they didn't add it. I'll play it for you guys later. Um 
At the very end, there's three more notes that they, they never include. Oh my god, he wakes up far faster. Okay. So this is medium. Middle is slow. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be interesting, but easy. Second, and there's a third. I think we'll be able to pull the door open. The, the door's already first, open. No, I don't. Right. See you in a minute. I hope. It's okay. It's a soft landing. You can jump. <laughs> right, he's dead. On, Harry. <laughs> You're a thud. It, it, Harry just didn't thud at all. Oh my god, that thud was. <laughs> there we go. I know what this is. It's the devil's snare. Stay back. It's the devil's snare. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to pay more attention in herbology. Help! It's a devil's <laughs> snare! Help us, Harry! Because really, I couldn't tell. Try what is this again? Is this a devil's snare? <laughs> Imagine if they just said nope and left Ron. Yep. <laughs> it's like, ah, yeah, you know what? Ron can fend for himself. And here we have again the vines that sound like pigs. Yeah, you're welcome. That was close, Harry. This way, Harry. Okay, so the dialogue is. Oh no, flying is more difficult in this, so this is gonna take a little bit. Oh no. Time to put your Quidditch skills to practice. My Quidditch skills are not happy, and I die by healing. Good luck, Harry. That music's different. That music's very different. This is so intriguing. Oh, you're kidding me. I am not a fan of how slow Harry flies. Even, I am, I am uh, boosting, by the way. Okay, he should be turning around. Yep, there he is. This music, though. Hurry. Hold on. If Harry, after hearing her, my drop just no turn around. <laughs> Come on. Oh, this is so unfair. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, you're kidding me. And it drains so quickly in comparison to the uh, the final release. So There we go. There we go. I'm starting to learn it. I'm starting to learn it. 
don't speed up. Don't speed up. Come on. No, let me. No, let me catch you. Let. Why are you running? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Now you're gonna turn on you. Oh god damn it! No. You have to be so precise with this now. And the rings don't do diddly dang squat for you either. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. No, we're not. God, it's faster again. Come on. The turn. <laughs> there we Every time I get closer and closer. Every time. Every time. Come on. No. It's just barely faster. It's gonna turn, isn't it? Come on. Come on. I know you turned. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, Harry, you dumb- <laughs> No, Harry! <laughs> you almost had him. Okay, he's turning. Yes. Come on. 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 We're not doing this again. Come on. No. Yes. <gasps> I don't like the flying speed. Well done, Harry. In this version, I'm very glad they sped him up. Oh my god. Oh. That's so frustrating. How much closer must you get? I know, right? The The real problem is just how fast it drains. Uh, the, um... The, um... How fast the, um... The next puzzle is a gigantic chessboard. The charge drains the very quickly. I hope he's alright. All right, we're just gonna. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. Beat you, Hermione. Ah, oh, Hermione's so fast. Not unless I do Walk this. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Get out of my way, Hermione. Oh, Thank Ron, you. Are you all right? I've defeated most of the pieces, but I've been hurt. It's up to you now, Harry. <sighs> Harry, you have to be careful and avoid the pieces. They all move one square Where's at a time. Where's that camera? You'll have to make there the pieces fight each other in order to get across safely. Walk onto the board, Harry, to start the game. Do be careful. Okay. So I died a couple times here. I didn't want to move that way. Oh, never mind. They'll fight. Anyway. And we have six viewers in the house. Very awesome. Remember this, but I used to get so stuck when it was just the first two spots. Yeah. Yeah. I got stuck a, uh, a couple times here, actually. Okay. No, I should have turned the other way. Nope, one of them will fight. There you go. No, I'm, I'm gonna die, actually. I am gonna die. No, see, I told you. It, the problem with the camera mod that's installed on this, right, is that, you know what? No, you know what? No, no, Hermione, you don't get to talk. No. Whoa. I'm gonna play this my way. Whoa. Yeah, the problem with the camera is that if you turn it, if see, see you, you see what's what's wrong with it with the camera there. 
So you can't use the direction. You can't use the, uh, the directional keys to turn it. But if you move the, the camera too close to forward instead of turning, then it automatically goes forward. And that's what's messing up a little bit. Okay, so for this one, I would just literally move forward. Oh, no, I'm actually dead. I'm actually very dead. There's no way out of this one. Yep. <sighs> it also doesn't help that this is not how chess works. What if we say... Uh... Oh, Ron, are you <laughs> Most of the pieces. Oh, Ron, I feel so sorry that you had to bounce out of my way. Uh, first two spots back and forward. Yeah. They all move one square at a time. What time is it? 11.45. We might actually finish this before midnight. Hey! And we're back to seven viewers. Hello, hello. Do be careful. Right around this part of the game is usually when we start getting more viewers, I've noticed. Yeah, because, okay. So, hand up here, right? This is just me moving the camera, look. That's the problem that we're having. So if you turn the camera, that's fine and dandy, but you have to pull it back. Otherwise, if you pull it forward, Harry moves forward, and that's the issue that we're having uh, when it comes to moving. So I have to remember to pull back and turn, not move forward and turn. Bounce on Ron's head, yes I, yes, I did. And it was glorious. Should be our good way because that'll turn there and then there we go. is that the bishop or the king i don't know either way uh this is no the bishop's back there that was the king either way this whole game is a mess this is uh made by someone who clearly does not know how to play chess i might have just lost it i lost it no actually no, I'm good. There we go. Oh, no, I've lost it. Uh, okay, nope, never mind. Got it. Perfect. This is not how chess works. Oh, okay. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Just getting in her way. Uh, I am not. I am not doing this part of the puzzle again. I'm not. So... Uh, I've done two streams of the potion puzzle already. I'm not doing it again. I'm not. So I apologize to the hardcore fans, but... Oh, wait, no. Mix that up. Engine. Player pawn. B. Cheats. Enabled. Two. Sorry, <laughs> I'm I, I'm not doing this again. No, no. Uh oh. No. Wait. Do frogs still kill me? Frogs still kill me. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. I don't understand why frogs kill me. That's such a weird and rare glitch. I've lost two. <laughs> I lost two viewers probably from skipping that puzzle. It's okay. I'm like, oh my god, he's cheating. I've done two streams of this already and I've played this game my entire life. I can skip a couple things. Okay, is there any new dialogue I for Coral? I'd be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me. <laughs> a little bit of buffalo there. Stuttering Professor Quirrell. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. 
Okay, so far, nothing too new with Quirrell. Or I should say, because of deleted content, nothing too old with Quirrell. Uh-oh, Harry, you should not have done that. A little bit of uh-oh spaghetti-o is going on here. Yeah, move that there, move that there, move that there, move that there. Ah, Quirrell, he is the wrong spell. Okay. Now remember, I can't heal because healing kills me. Uh-oh. Oh. I don't want to die by healing. Uh, jump this BS2. Uh, you know, oh god. I might just do that, actually. I'm just gonna get everything in place, but then I'm gonna like I'm gonna solve it legitimately, but I'm going to cheat to finish. And there we go. So technically, that's the right way to do it. So uh, other than that, you will not succeed again. My head just poking out just barely. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, has anything changed with good old Moldy Voldy? Wow, I've got the Sorcerer's Stone. He has See, the stone. He only said wow. I wondered whether I'd be meeting you here, Potter. I suppose you were expecting someone else. Well, it's me, scared, stuttering Professor Quirrell. Well, frightened no longer, dear boy. New content. You made me displease my master. You will not succeed again. New content. You're far too inquisitive to remain among the living. Old content. But, but, master, it, it wasn't my New fault. content. Harry Potter, give me the stone. I know you have it. Give me the stone. Let me speak to him. That was a, a mixed bag of, of emotions master, there. Master, you're, you're not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. <laughs> His head just popped out like, hello there. <laughs> Harry didn't say Voldemort before. Okay, so there is some... I'm glad I didn't skip this, because there's good... Very thing. well. I promise you'll die begging for mercy. <laughs> Boss music. This is different music. This is different music. This is different boss music. Wow. I like this music far more than the music they gave us in the actual fight. I love that little dialogue there, though. Uh, the leave you begging for mercy like your parents or something like that. Like, oh my god. I can see why they kind of cut that one out because, uh, I mean, yeah, he's a murderer, but uh, this is an E for everyone game, so, um. They didn't actually mention in this game that uh, Voldemort killed Harry's parents. They never said that, not even once. If you realize that, they never once said. They said that Voldemort was a bad guy. But they never said that Voldemort actually killed his parents in the, in the, in the video game. Buddy, hit me. There you go. You will heal to me, No, I don't think I will, sir. Lependo! 
Dude, anyone who can jump like this, yeah, I wouldn't mess with, okay? Anyone who can jump like that with a single uh, type of button, nah. Okay, you gotta do your little thingy. Ooh, look at that, defeated by stone. There we go. And Harry's gone. And then Dumbledore teleports. Boom. Harry awoke. As Quirrell just fucked. Madame Pomfrey at his bedside. You were very lucky, Potter, she said gravely. But I'm afraid you're going to be here for quite a while. That never existed either. So the stone's gone, said Ron finally. Harry nodded and wished it good riddance. New content. Oh, then I Ron love it. produced a brand new famous witches and wizards card from his robes and handed it to Harry. You've got the whole set now, Harry, Ron said. Harry was stunned. Ron went on to remind Harry of the Quidditch match that day. Anyway, he said, you haven't got time to sit around in here. We've got Slytherin to beat. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Harry, still stunned by Ron's gift, nodded I, slowly. I just killed he Voldemort, just and they're like, bruh, you want to play a mini game real quick? Defeat Slytherin. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not quite sure how this works. Uh, I'm okay with the new content, though. That's kind of cool. Uh, is that midnight? Um, as in in game? It was pretty dark there. Otherwise, uh, it's 11.56, so it is four minutes to midnight. So, yeah, we technically, uh, I believe we have one more Quidditch match, apparently. But other than that. <laughs> we legit have one more Quidditch match. No. <laughs> God damn it. Welcome to Quidditch. <laughs> That student, there was a student just walking. Let's there was a student walking on the grass play. there for a second. Why is there more quick? <laughs> 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 oh, 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 I literally just killed a mass murderer. Uh, and technically a, a student, I mean, a, a teacher as well. Um, oh my god. What is up with this snitch? Oh, oh, wait, where the hell is he going? That, what? What is this? This is amazing. Here comes the uh, oh, uh, what? 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 Wait. What? <laughs> what? What is? No. What is this? What is? What? What are you doing? I. I don't understand this. <laughs> okay, okay, and it turns, uh, oh. okay, and then it goes here. This is such a weird snitch AI. It, uh, uh, oh god, I'm chasing the bludger instead. What is this? I, I, I've been resorted. I've, I've, I've resorted to just little noises, but I. I, I, I what is this? I'm very glad they deleted this. Oh, what in the absolute fresh hell is this? What in the world is this? Okay, and then he turns back, and then he comes back again over here. Yep. It's it's literally just two things, of, uh, two directions, back and forth. But it's so weirdly done. Oh, he'll feel that tomorrow. 
I don't like Get this. Yeah, the switch got away. Yeah, I know. Come on, come on. I know you're turning this way. Nope. This is. Like, I just killed someone, man. I, I don't want to play sports. Okay, okay, okay. I'm on you. I'm on you now. Oh, God. Malware Bites is like, tax time promo, save 25%. I'm just like, I'm. I'm playing. I'm playing sports. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is this? Okay, and then turn. And then, uh huh. And then turn. And then disappear. And then turn. Dodges a speeding Roger. Come on, come on, I'm so. Come on. Come on. Oh. What is this? Oh. It goes around the tower after it turns around. It's black and white tower. You need to chase it around the tower. I, it looked like it was disappearing into the tower. That was what was confusing me. <laughs> snapped me in half. Oh, lordy loo. Uh, such a simple. Such a simple game. And it, it breaks me. I can... The Gryffindors spilled onto the field and joyfully lifted Harry onto their shoulders. I could do no damage runs on, like, some of the uh, JRPGs that I used to play. I can't play Quidditch when a, a snitch is going back and forth. The victorious Gryffindors hoisted Harry onto their shoulders and... I could do no damage run on Xemnas. Second form Xemnas. Or, fourth form Xemnas. And I still... I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset. Harry made his way down to the end of the year feast. It's very the dark in this room. The great hall was decked out in green and silver to celebrate Slytherin winning the house cup. You can see all the green and silver amongst the Harry blue. Entered. There was a sudden hush. He took a seat between Ron and Hermione, trying to ignore the stares of the but other I'm students. I'm not sitting. I'm standing. The house cup announced Dumbledore is awarded to the team with the most house points. At the moment, that would seem to be Slytherin. Yeah, because we only have ten students, Storm apparently. <laughs> cheering and stamping broke out from the Slytherin table. However, continued Dumbledore, in recognition of Mr. Harry Potter's pure nerve and outstanding courage, I award Gryffindor 60 points. But what about Ron, Harry's Hermione, and Neville? With cheers and applause. The additional points had won the House Cup for Gryffindor. It was the best evening of Harry's life. Better than winning at Quidditch or Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. He would never, Christmas, ever Christmas, forget tonight. I will never forget tonight either. Oh, okay, and of course we get the Snape ending still. Uh, what a game. Very interesting amount of stuff that, that wasn't worked on. Very interesting to see, you know, how polished the unpolished stuff was. Um, very interesting. Uh, I definitely wish that the, uh, the other spells were utilized far more frequently, but it does make sense that because it was deleted content, that it's not all over the place. Um... God, that was a, this was a very fun version of the game, and I will keep this forever. I, I, there's a few things I've deleted them in, in, in games that I've deleted, uh, but these I will never delete these. Oh my God, very well done. Very happy with this. At the Gothic Great Hall, yeah. Ron and Hermione did fuck all in this game. As for Neville, you never see him. Yeah, you know, the time you were out Neville was uh, just hey. I have a remember all. Hey, I've lost my remember all. Hey, thank you for giving me my remember all. That's it. Finally, let's see who will win. <laughs> we already know. <laughs> will Slytherin hold the house cup for a seventh consecutive year? <laughs> Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Yeah, we know. Dumbledore. <laughs> 
It turns out Dumbledore has uh, amnesia. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's it then, because I believe this is the uh, the free roam that we have now. I, I don't actually want to be here now. Okay. Well, I believe that was it. So uh, that was fun. Um, oh my god, it's, it's very dark in here. I told you to go to the Okay. Yeah, so we're in uh, a free roam now. So that was fun. What an interesting uh, level or game as a whole. Um very confused why I can't exit this area now, but yeah. Very very fun game. I very much enjoyed that. Um there's, there's no other mini games other than potions, challenge, and chess practice. Okay, check chess practice. Oh, is it just? Oh, Harry and Hermione are not here. Okay, well, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm still so upset that uh, multiplayer was not implemented. I'm very upset at that. That would have been so much fun. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, there we go. That's confusing. Uh, I'm using this that this year. Merry Christmas, 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 Christmas. <laughs> Uh, Eric, you wanted to end at midnight, but it seems the game had different plans. Yep, yeah, it did. But the good news is we actually did finish it. Uh, just a little bit past, only six minutes past, but not bad. But uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed this thoroughly. Um, it is midnight, which means uh, I am still awake, so fine by that. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and take um, a, uh, was the Quidditch game on PS2 uh, also multi? No, no, unfortunately. I wish it was. Uh, it would have been nice to either have a goal because PlayStation 2 actually did have online gameplay. A lot of people don't remember that, but Final Fantasy 11 was a good example of it. Um, but they didn't even have. Uh, I wish there was even like split, like split screen Quidditch. That would have been fantastic. They should have implemented that. But uh, yeah, see. But yeah, so we are going to do the PS2 game here momentarily. I'm going to go ahead and take a 15 minute break. I'm going to get myself some more hot pockets, uh, fix up a second drink. Uh, the Rockstar is all out, so I'm going to switch over to a nice, uh, 50 cent soda, or 50 cent tea. Um, so yeah, I'm going to end the stream here, that way, uh, it's still, like, available on YouTube for people to watch. It's, uh, six hours again, my goodness. Uh, so yeah, we're going to start, let's see, it's 12.08 right now, let's go ahead and come back here at around 12.25. Uh, I am going to end the stream, though, just letting you guys know, just so we can keep everything nice and neat nice and organized um but yeah this was an amazing an absolutely amazing level uh, uh, uh mod i should say um this will be included on the discord on the discord there is a let me go ahead and uh come over here real quick minimize this go over to discord open that up and and yeah, I have an absolute mad amount of uh, discords I'm in, I'm in, so don't judge me. Um, but yeah, so uh, where is it? Yeah, add-ons for the Harry Potter and Sister Stone is right here. Uh, by all means, jump onto the Discord. We have hangout, sec uh, hangout section, uh, game dev stuff for that, uh, a gaming corner, voice chats, everything you need. Uh, resources and links, we do have those. So on add-ons in Harry Potter and the Sister Stone, we do have this uh, as a, an option for download. If you guys wish, please 
download this and experiment this for yourself. Um, there's probably plenty of content that I hadn't gotten to. Um, there were a couple moments I remember where I accidentally m m moved forward just a little bit further than I wanted to, so I wasn't able to explore certain things like the Dursley's house. Um, but yeah, definitely give this uh, a chance for yourself. It's absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal game. Um, but yeah, so we'll go ahead and meet back here at uh, 1225. Um, and uh, I will go ahead and start on uh, the PS2 version. So there you go. Um, thank you very for uh, thank you everybody who uh, has shown up so far for this, um, especially uh, ADC ninety three. Um, we had uh, um, uh, it's AFK was back in the house again. We had um, uh, Watermouth, of course. Very nice to see you again. Uh, we did have um, uh, Lucky Luck back here again. Very happy that he uh, had shown up once again. Uh, we had some new people in the house. We had uh, Anastasia is our, our, a new friend here, which is awesome to see. Um, Eric was able to join us once more. Uh, ADC93, what is my Discord? Well, um, Discord is on the actual uh, Twitch itself. If you want to go ahead and... Uh, let me go ahead and switch us over to the intermission screen. Uh, if you want to go on to uh, Discord, at the very bottom, you'll have um, some panels here. If you go ahead and click the Discord link right here, uh, be keep in mind all these uh, panels I have made myself. Uh, I will be, uh, of course, releasing these. Um, these, uh, this one, this one, this one and this one already publicly released, so you can definitely download those if, if you want. But yeah, go ahead and check out the Discord link. There's a whole bunch of fun stuff on there. Uh, we all just like to hang out and whatnot, so definitely uh, pop on there if you'd like. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and prepare us for the uh, new stream. Give us uh, just a few minutes. Minutes? Minutes. There we go. Um, <laughs> there's that crash again. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys here uh, around 1225. Alrighty, see you soon.
And there we go. Now we're back again. That wasn't too bad of a break, was it? The stream's uh, drink sponsor is Brisk Iced Tea. And yes, as I say, every stream, every stream will have a drink. Every stream will have a different food. Yes, I'm still having Hot Pockets, but uh, different flavor this time. Instead of the uh, five cheese, it is the pepperoni pizza flavor. I'm gonna wait for a few people to cut, get back into the stream, and then we shall be back on the grind. Uh, now IDC93, they have finally uh, been added to the Discord, so they're gonna see some cool stuff on there. go ahead and leave a uh, link in the discord for the uh, PlayStation 2 emulator I'll be using go ahead and jump on here see how everybody's doing All right. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Well, welcome back, everybody, to the stream. Today. Now, some people have already been uh, obviously part of the uh, last stream. This last stream was literally like uh, 15 minutes ago. <laughs> but uh, today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Still Harry Potter, but different engine. In this case, uh, Harry Potter is going to be on uh, PlayStation 2. Now, this is not the first PlayStation 2 game I played. The first one was Looney Tunes Back in Action. The second one was Kingdom Hearts. Third one is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. So today, uh, since I don't have Looney Tunes Back in Action, and because uh, this is not a Kingdom Hearts related stream, we're going to be doing Harry Potter. That and a few people really wanted to see it. So, and I'm very excited to, to jump in on it. So, let me go ahead and over here let me go over here let me go over here let me go over on this and let me go ahead and open that there we go we have that popped up ready to go and let's see should I wait for a couple more people who else who is currently on the stream right now I'm curious most likely uh, ADC is still on here uh, most likely, it's AFK might be on here if they haven't returned back to uh, uh, VR. Oh, this is going to be fun, because I actually don't remember much about the, uh, <laughs> the PS2 version. Oh, God, these cords still get tangled. ADC, yes! <laughs> of course I'm here! All right, good. As long as we have at least one person. We have three viewers, my goodness. I literally just started, and I'm already at three viewers. This is, ri this is ridiculous. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump in on the magic here. Let me go ahead and... get this going here all right now I haven't tested this we'll see how uh, well it works <laughs> uh, you're talking buddy is here might as well get started <laughs> yep uh, you have been on every stream so far so thank you very much um, and absolutely 100% confirm now that I have the information, uh, yes, Saturday we will be taking a small break because uh, I'm going to go out and I'm going to watch the entire series of Lord of the Rings. That sounds like a very weird thing to some people. 
but uh, I will happily um, watch an entire series of movies from start to finish if I haven't seen them before. Uh, it's the same with um, uh, TV shows. I'll binge watch it. Uh, as an example, Sherlock for BBC. So each episode was like a an hour and 36 minutes, I think. Uh, practically movie length. Oh, I binge watched that like crazy. That was a fantastic series, which I'm I'm very happy to hear uh, that they are currently finally off of hiatus and uh, they are experimenting and seeing about a, a new season. So that is nice to hear. Um, hopefully, you know, one day other series might get that same attention. But uh, same thing with the Umbrella Academy too. I watched. Uh, I finished both seasons uh, within two days. Next series, uh, the next series I'm going to be binge watching as far as TV shows go, um, is going to be uh, Black Mirror. And as far as movies go, besides um, this one, uh, Lord of the Rings, I'm going to be also binge watching um, either the Die Hard series because I haven't seen a single movie of those, uh, or every single Godzilla movie ever. So we'll see. Uh, I love your content and vibing with you, man. Happy to be here. Uh, very happy to have you here as well. These streams are not the same without you. Uh, nice. I've never seen Lord of the Rings. Do uh, do let me know how it is. I will. Definitely. Uh, also, I'm in talks about doing that art stream. I mentioned a couple times we, I want to do an art stream. I might have someone to do an art stream with. So we might get that going and we might have... Uh, so every single time I do a different type of stream, I'm going to have a different layout. Uh, so as you see here, uh, we have the kind of Kingdom Hearts layout going on with my dev streams. It's a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to have to end up creating a brand new design for art streams. So this will be kind of cool. But anyways, let's finally get onto this. This is going to be interesting. Uh, and of course, I have a controller. So I can just sit back here. Bring... here and just relax instead of being hunched over all throughout this stream all right let me just check a message real quick all right Let's do this. We have two viewers in the house, two on Twitch. We did have one person on YouTube, and they have fallen through. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, real quick, let me make sure that um, uh, the YouTube chat is open. Go. Go over here. Let me switch over here. Let me go over right here. Let me go. Wait, is that? Oh, it's continued. Uh oh. <laughs> I forgot the uh, problem with YouTube. Is that uh, it will continue uh, a stream, unfortunately. Shoot. All right. Well, as far as YouTube goes, I'm going to say a little goodbye here real quick just to YouTube, just for the time being. I have to turn off the stream on that one because I completely forgot that uh, with YouTube, I saw the same thing with Final Fantasy Peasant. Uh, he has issues with that as well. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, just come off of YouTube real quick. Sorry for the YouTube people, but we will start again momentarily. All right. YouTube should be... Uh, Please restart your broadcast to apply these changes. Apply these changes. Ah. Hmm. Well, I wonder how this is going to work then. Maybe YouTube might just be stuck. I don't know. Yeah, no, YouTube stuck with us. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, as far as Twitch goes, I believe, aren't we starting a brand new... Uh... Hmm. Let's see here. I might have done a, a big old goof. Let me 
let me go over to the channel. Okay, so we're doing fine. Okay, I do believe it's new on here. Good. All right, YouTube, unfortunately, is the one that is stuck on a six-hour stream. <laughs> so this this video is going to be 10 hours on there. Jesus. Oh, I'm very sorry. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, I feel, um, all right. Uh, can I click edit? All right. Let me go ahead and add to the title real quick. Save. And then back. Boom. And then channel. And then. There we go. And we should still be live on YouTube. Perfect. All right. And of course, I'll edit stuff later on on there as well. But let me go ahead and expand the chat. Minimize this, and we are good to go. Let's go ahead and get us going. You're going to hear some fun sounds here. This is going to be a nostalgic sound. Look at that. Ah, miss those sounds. How are we doing on audio settings here real quick? Audio, plug-in settings. Oh man, that sent shivers, I know. Uh, let's see, stereo, okay, good, we're good there. Uh, let's go ahead and go linear. Let's keep it on. Yeah. All right. Oop. There we go. Oh, come on. Stop. <laughs> oh, stop it. Oh, no. It's disconnecting. Okay. Oh, my God. Stop. There we go. All right. Uh, so this is like the GameCube version. Yeah, it's actually uh, very much like the GameCube version. All right, let's go ahead and... Now, should I keep the layout like this, or should I expand it out to main like this? What do you guys think? ADC, what do you think? Should I keep it like this? Expand? Okay. We'll do that. All right, without further ado, we are playing Harry Potter on the PS2. Let me know if it gets too loud. EA Games. Challenge everything. Oh, man. We're about to get some nostalgia. Hold on. Let me uh drag this. There was nothing about the starry sky here, that so night to suggest settings. that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Again, let me know if it's too loud. Oh, we got a little bit of lag. <laughs> a little bit. Oh. At last. Hold on. 
Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, that's a little bit of lag, ain't it? Jim Dale narrated this. Yes. Okay, hold on. Gonna change a couple things here real quick. Would OpenGL work better than Direct 11? Let's experiment. Maybe. Mm, I don't think we need any uh, interlacing. Looks good. We'll keep it on two times native, of course. Alright, I might have to fool around with the uh, videos just a little bit, but let's see. What do we have for options here on this? Oh, I actually have a uh, save. From last year, huh? We're not going to be playing that. Alright. Let's see what magic we can work here. Let's see how bad this <laughs> this turns out being. I might, like I said, I might have to fool around with the video settings to make it uh, less laggy, but we'll see. Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. <laughs> that awkward oh, smile. I can't <laughs> tell you how pleased I am to meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Crow? D -d Defense against the dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. <laughs> Let's get on. Lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Oh, I, I love this already. There is some minor lag though, so I might change a couple settings. Right. Stand back, Harry. Mmm. Mmm. You can hear it in the audio already, there's some lag. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivanders. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to change a couple settings. Have a look around, Mr. <laughs> he Potter. Sounds drunk. When you find a wand you like, pick it up. And let's okay. see if it likes you. Okay. Uh, we're going to save state as slot one. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, we, we need to change a couple things. Oh, that, that does not sound the best. Who knew the lion was foreshadowing the finale? Yeah. Yeah. Got a good point there.
Uh, let's switch back to direct X11. Oh, ooh, I can do it to uh, my graphics card. Nice. Okay. Um. Hmm. So not so so far not the best. Uh, let's see. Control the number of, uh, uh, what is, okay, not full. Let's go automatic default. Oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> oh, it's getting much worse now. <sighs> oh, that sound. I'm, I'm not professional at all. I apologize. Uh, hold on. Let's try it. Nope. I don't want to do native PS2. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a horror music movie. Yeah. Oh, ain't that the truth? What about this? Oh. I should have the uh, GameCube version, by the way. It is fairly like the uh, fairly like the PS2 version. Uh, let's turn off blending. Turn that off. We're getting there. We're getting there. Oops, that's not the right button. There we go. Oh, look at that lovely. We might actually have to switch to uh, GameCube. <laughs> what if I switch us to this? Mmm. No. Maybe it's just a game. Uh, I wish. Yeah, because other games we're able to technically work just fine on here.
feel like I'm slowly uh, losing bits and pieces of my life here. Oh, okay. Okay, so you know what? Give me a second here. Give me just a moment. I should still have that old emulator from way back in the day. Oh, nope, wait, there it is. You. I do have Sorcerer's Stone on here. Okay, good. Now I just have to find where the dang emulator is. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, no, things aren't looking good now. Oh, yay, things are... All right. Oh, okay, he decided to disappear. Oh, okay, oh. Things are fine. Licensed by Nintendo, so you know it's good. What's going to be uh, interesting is uh, getting used to... Uh... EA Games. Challenge everything. Let's see if it works for us. So far, so good. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things <laughs> would soon be happening. Oh, no. Oh, no. Maybe my computer's just not good for this. I would directly play it through... Um, Hagrid, at last. And I would deck. I would directly play it that through back? PlayStation, but borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Audio is okay at the moment, it's just stuttering ever so slightly. Okay. Or not, haha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me, let me double check just something real quick. We don't need 60 frames. We don't. This retro, it's meant to be in poor frame. I know, right? Oh, we can go back to, uh, wireframe if we want. God, that was a bear. I heard a bear. That was a bear. That was the sound of a bear. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything to change uh, my frame rate. Well, 
Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. So far, everything's good. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers. Oh, it's running much better now. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to m meet right. you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defense against the d dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. Oh, demon. I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on. Lots to buy. Come on, Harry. All right, I'm closing some stuff in the background. Three up to across. Right. Stand back, Harry. Hagrid broke it again, yep. <laughs> Welcome to Diagon Alley. I think we're doing okay. Just your wand left Oop. from Ollivanders. Oh wand. yeah, and I still have my wand. Your birthday my present. cursor. Let me get my cursor out of the way, not my wand. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself, buying her first wand. Ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me, but I don't follow him. Oh, look at that. Everything's moving. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's Have perfect again. Around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand, you Couple hiccups, like, but nothing bad. Pick it up, and let's see if it likes you. Hmm. Yeah. We're good. Kind of lied to people instead of the PS2 version, but... You know... Mouth, uh, the thing keeps switching off. All right. So let's see here, shall we? Right. I'm going to have to remember where, um, I'm going to have to remember where all these uh, buttons are because I'm using a PlayStation controller. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. I don't have a Z button. Oh no. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna have to set up controls real quick. Configure. Oh no, wait. Wrong button. Controllers. Configure. Where's Z? Button ten. I don't got one of those. Let's do button eight. Otherwise, everything else looks just fine. What is this? Yep, okay, those are good. Everything's looking good. Oh, get it? Does this work? Ah, I was hoping that my uh, vibrate would work too. Could be cool. Well. All right. Perfect. Everything's working fine now. Look at that sleek movement. Uh. Oh, it's not a Harry Potter game without things appearing and disappearing. Oh, look at them bookshelves. Oh. Oh. Oh, I know why. Never mind. I'm I'm a uh, I'm a doofus. Uh, this is because. So 
So this is the way things work in video games, where things uh, speed up and slow down and all that. But also, things that are outside the player's view get unloaded to save memory. I have a widescreen hack on. It's, uh, graphics. Turn off the widescreen hack. The sound is terrifying. Oh, I don't like that sound at all. There we go. Okay. Ooh. Okay, there was a little bit of tearing for a second. All right, let's actually get to play this Beach this wooden game. dragon heartstring. Nine inches. Nice and flexible. Stand over there, on that platform, to try your wand. Dragon heart string. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Ebony and unicorn. Springy. The hell was that? Ebony and unicorn. Eight and a half inches. Holly and phoenix feather. Eleven inches. Nice and supple. What is with the sound? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm very scared. going on with the sound Jesus. Jesus gave another feather. just one other. it is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this one and its brother why its brother gave you that scar yes curious indeed how these things happen the wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named do great things. Terrible. Yeah. Who's dying in the background? Please retrieve the spell. <laughs> it will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. We're hearing murders in the background. Over here, Mr. Potter. What the hell? Well, it's not a Harry Potter stream with with, uh, with me. Without <laughs> very cursed games. Oh my god. There you go. This isn't going to end well. <laughs> it 
It sounds like the me What is going on with this? Fishy! Sardine flavor! Mmm! Curry! Mmm! Curry! Mmm! Marmalade! I'm terrified. Mm. Oh. Oh. Mm. Marmalade. Mm. Tofu. Uh. Earwax flavor. I do not understand oh. what is happening with this sound. But 11 years. Mmm, <laughs> coffee and curry. Yeah, it's a little bit strange, isn't it? Now, I do love me some uh, coffee and I do love me some curry. I probably would not have enjoyed either of them at age 11. Booga oh, sprouts. Oh, fishy. Mmm, toast. Ugh, liver. I know, right? Screw liver. Sardine flavor. I also wouldn't have been excited over sardines. Oh, bravo. Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. And we now have our first spell, which is again, flippendo. Hmm. Let's do it on there. If you'd come... I think I have a very, very cursed copy. What the hell? Uh, certain objects, such as glass jars, can be smashed using flippendo to release bonuses or reveal switches. That's fucking creepy. I know, right? I have the, um... Oh, what was that old creepypasta from back in the day? Uh, Ben Drowned. The, uh, I think it was like a, a Legend of Zelda... A uh, copy that was cursed and and uh, was haunted. Yeah, I think we have a haunted. Uh, Fishy sardine flavor. Haunted Harry Potter copy. Ugh, liver, booger flavor. Mmm, curry. It sounds like all the uh, regular sounds throughout the game, but somehow like slowed down. Like, I don't, I don't know why it's having these issues. Oh, that's right. Hey, chest heading around Hogwarts. Search them and uh, search them to find items you might need on your adventure. Keep an eye out for the gold chests, as these contain more valuable rewards. Felix Summerby, 1447 to 1508, inventor of cheering charms. I'm not very cheery right now, I'll tell you that. This dream might not happen. <laughs> if we continue having this issue, we might have to uh, figure something out. I'll figure something out off stream uh, to fix this, but we'll see. This is like a horror game. My goodness. Uh, 
I'm gonna... Let's see if I can look up Dolphin Emulator Sound Issues. What the hell? Uh, pause it here real quick. It's playing every uh, bit of music at once. Yeah. Uh, as of 4.0-4478, sounds in this game can range from fully functional to completely unlistenable and vary in volume, becoming extremely loud with no warning. The only known workaround is to set sound effects volume settings in the game's internal options to zero. The only way to fix the sound is to turn it off completely. Interesting. Uh, testing, the title has been tested on environments listed below. Yeah. Just gonna, I'm just gonna turn things down just a little. Well, It's gotten worse. It ha it somehow got worse. Let's try 60. Edwig, I can't open the door. <laughs> oh, this is not working at all. This is such a bad stream. Oh, I'm so sorry. You ha you you actually looked forward to something, didn't you? I'm so sorry. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flippendo knockback jeans. Flip them in the correct order. <laughs> <laughs> to target an object, press the target button, which is the right uh, trigger. If more targets are nearby, you can cycle through them by quickly pressing the target button again. Oh, yep, that head wig. I can't open the door. Before that was beautiful. Continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio I feel like Harry's having, like, PTSD. Ugh, tripe. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio brutai. Ooh, that flavor. Mmm, <laughs> peppermint. Here I am, just like, maybe if we ignore the problem, it will go away. Uh, the imp is sometimes confused with the pixie. They're both of a similar height, and both have a slapstick sense of humor. Imps are vicious little creatures. You'll need to use a flipendo to knock them back before picking them up and throwing them into a hole, like a gnome, or into an open cage. Cool. 
Uh, I'm crying. <laughs> oh, I can't stop laughing. Well, I'm glad someone is enjoying this. God. <laughs> This is so cursed. <laughs> These imps I feel so bad. Just... Try knocking them over with the pendulum. Then pick them up and lock them in the cages. The only problem with not having vibration settings is that I can't feel when the imps are waking up. <laughs> oh god! He's ascending! He's ascending! Oh lord. <laughs> oh god. A pumpkin pasty! Hey, we got a pumpkin pasty. Look at that. A cauldron. Oh, okay. We have confirmation. Uh, cauldron cakes and pumpkin pasties were both in the very first game. Okay. Seems our sounds have calmed down just a little bit. Will we be safe? A wizard card! Okay, let's get a little description for... Alberta Toothhill. 1391 to 1483. The sounds are starting again. Winner of the All England Wizarding Dueling Competition of 1430. Famously overcame the favorite Samson Wibbling with the Blasting Curse. Not bad. I do like that there are a ton more wizard cards in these games than the PC ones. Tons. Uh, game spoiler, Hedwig has not been brought here. <laughs> oh, it's true, isn't it? We don't know who Hedwig is. The game is legitimately spoiling us. Okay, good, those are... Oh, no. The sounds have started again. We're, we're gonna... We're gonna lower it a little bit more. Let's go 40. The sounds are still loud. The sounds are still very loud. to cast a spell while moving. You need to target the shear on this device and continue to cast Flipendo at it until the central section locks into place. This is gonna be bad. Oops. There we go. Uh, some asshole keeps shouting spoilers well, in the background. It's worse than the cinema. <laughs> hey, we got a new book. Perhaps it is a spell to fix these sounds. With the knowledge contained in this book, You'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. seems when music plays it calms down it's silence it's the silence this the game can't handle I'd like you to power so far it seems to be as, as such that casting. shit Harry for COVID like <laughs> oh sweet lord all right
There we go. Well done, Mr. Potter. That was very loud. <clears throat> you can hear them in the background again. There are 101 wizard cards. Jesus, I forgot that there is that many. I was thinking like 50. Increase your stamina bar by filling the pages in your... Ooh. See, I don't remember that. Godric Gryffindor. Medieval dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Very cool. If you'd kindly follow Oh, God, it's starting again. It's getting louder. Hey, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. She's and beautiful. now... What's her name? Her name's Hedwig. There we go. And she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it. Yay! The train slowed right Look at down that water. and finally stopped. Is that water? They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a That's great water. black lake. The fleet of little boats moved off all at once gliding across the lake, which was as smooth as glass. Everyone was silent until... Oh, wicked! One by one, each of the first <laughs> years was sorted into his or her house. Edwin. And what of Harry Potter? Can't Not open the Slytherin. Door. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? <laughs> her sure name is Hedwig. I can't open the great. door. <laughs> it's all here in your head. Now? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor. Hey, Harry. Hello. I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor, too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So, why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third for House of Bounds? I really don't know. Come on. And I really don't to care. that prefect. It's odd, because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects, at least. That prefects Percy, my other brother. How many brothers have you got? Too many. My name's Hermione Granger, by the way. And you are? Uh, Ron. Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. Huh? You must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming. We'd better go. The voice acting... See, the voice acting isn't bad. The voice direction is bad. There are no pauses. No pauses. I'll never forget that this is that this stream is one of the best ever. I thought this was the worst, be uh, the the worst better, the worst ever. But I, on, I'm glad I'm entertaining you. Follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me quickly now. Come on. So far. I think we're okay. I think we're safe. But it's really great being famous. Oh my god, is that Neville? Oh, Neville. Oh, what have they done to you, Neville? Oh. I, I don't remember Neville looking like this. Is there a third person view I can do? I don't think that's the third person I can do. Let me move the mouse out of the way. The good news about having a, a PlayStation 4 controller is that the touchpad I can use as a mouse. It's very, very cool. I think Ravenclaw's got the most handsome Quidditch team at Hogwarts. Uh, you have made memories for the rest of my life, my friend. Every time I see Philosopher's Stone, I'll never forget Hedwig. I can't open the door. <laughs> uh, ain't that the truth? Don't, don't curse it, though. If it happens again, I blame you. I blame you fully. Quidditch is the greatest sport in the wizarding world. 
I don't quite believe that Quidditch is the best one. Oh, I love that stained glass, though. Camera could be a little bit faster. But that stained glass up there, that was gorgeous. Can I get it? Can I get another view of that? Nope. Can't get another view of that. I could have sworn that our... Th that, oh, look at that. Look at that. That's some nice stained glass there. This is the most direct path to the dormitory. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Come on, Harry. Get to the common room. Hello, Harry. I'm so glad I got sourced into Gryffindor like my brothers. <laughs> oh, Ron's just happy to be here. Just hello. Even though we just said hello minutes ago. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. I'm hoping it's just Ollivander's creepy torture dungeon. Hogwarts seems fine. I've watched a stream of GameCube and never experienced that. But I missed the first part. Maybe it's a good thing you missed the first part. Oh, no, controller's gone. There we go. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're experiencing life. Oh. Okay, uh, I don't think I'm going in that direction then because uh, the game doesn't want me to. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. I forgot they used to run it full sprint on these stairs. Peeves, a poltergeist. <laughs> Firsties, what fun! <laughs> Go away, Peeves, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. You want to watch out for Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. Well, of course, you're. you're... <clears throat> You're just prefects, to be fair. Oh shit, Grand Staircase about to get creepy or hilarious. <laughs> so far, it's both. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Over here, Harry! I, I, I'm literally right behind you, Ron. I'm, I'm right behind you. <sighs> follow me, everyone. Keep up. Okay, so, so far we can't necessarily go many places. Oh, okay, there we go. Now, I do know if you press yourself against the wall, no. Oh, I guess we haven't learned uh, sneaking yet. Gather round here. Password? You need a password to enter the common room. <laughs> that camera. It's oh, that camera. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're welcome, Ron, even though... Oh, and then they just leave me. Okay. I say, yeah, thank Harry, Boss even though, um, word. um, Percy was the one who actually said put Draconis. the password originally, but okay. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Hey, Harry, Fred and George just set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. That is Madame Hooch's voice, actually. 
Man, you guys always point out stuff that I've never noticed before. You really should go and see Fred and George, Harry. But can I still- They've got some brilliant stuff to trade. Aw, oh, darn, I can't hit him. But yeah, that, that is, yeah, definitely Madame Hooch's uh, voice. And so far, it seems as though Ollivander's really was uh, the weird oh, audio God. location. Uh, this common room is exactly like Chamber of Secrets. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. At Albert Waffling, 1899 to 1981. Famous magical theoretician. Well, that poor man did not live very long at all. Our freedom did not last very long at all, either. Oh no! I was free! Maybe his waffling for him killed him. <laughs> I have to keep a low profile by sneaking with all these sounds. To our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard wheezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable Different voice actors in, in the, the uh, PC version. Accepted throughout Hogwarts, Bertie bots every flavor beans. And as a special bonus, for just ten beans, you can have a dip into this chest Headwork and receive a special deal. prize. Yep. Wow! I've got to try this. It sounds like fun. Yes. <laughs> but then you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. I want to buy a heaping helping of... of happiness. And a little bit of sanity while we're at it. A wizard card! Chauncey Aldridge. Oh, he's a looker. 1342 to 1379. First known victim of dragon pox. I have a bad feeling. Is it the menu? Maybe it's the menu. If that if these sounds start happening again, then it's the menu. It's the menu. It's going to happen every time we open the menu. I can't open the door. <laughs> this way, Harry. How much is this Bertie Bot's bean carrying bag? It'll cost 50 beans. Mm, I don't have that. No beans, no sir. <laughs> Stink pellets. <laughs> Dung bombs. What 
don't you come back when you have some Bertie Bots every flavor beans? Oh wait, couldn't I get beans from um Wasn't there something in here I could hit? Or open? Or is that champ nah that's chamber of secrets. Never mind. What am I thinking? Come back as often as you like. <laughs> I can't open the door. I can't open the door. Oh, this is a very. Oh. Nope. Ah, goodbye. Okay, that didn't work out quite the way I would like it to have done. It is such a very a very cursed stream. Oh god, he's seen me! Come here! No, goodbye, sir! Hey. No, no, sir, I got to go! Mm, here we go. Hmm. Okay, Harry, it's been a long day. I'm really tired, and I'm off to bed. I'm glad you could sleep with all these voices in your head. Ugh. I'm gonna have nightmares of head work. Mm. I can't open the door. Okay. When you've completed all your tasks for one day, you will be given the option to end day in your remember all. At this point, you can continue to explore the world, or you can decide to end day night, and the next day's adventure can then begin. Alright. Oh no, you could hear the menu sounds just barely start. Mmm. Not good. All right, and we are on day two. Such a graphically gorgeous day, uh, uh, game, though. Definitely, absolutely, phenomenally well done. Wait. Is that a still? Is that a still from the movie? That's a still from the movie. Look at that. Look at that. That is from the movie itself. Those sneaky bastards. Look at that. That's from the movie. They thought we wouldn't notice. But we did. Okay, is there anything I can lock onto? Nope. What is this? That Angelina, yep. Morning, Harry. Do you know what class I've got first? It's potions, Harry. Ron can show you the way. Have you seen this notice board? <laughs> they sure switch so quickly. Things, you'll be rewarded. They switch so quickly from conversation to conversation. Uh, lost. Copy of the Magical Theory, uh, by Albert, Adalbert Waffling. Oh! We got that gentleman. Uh, could be anywhere in the grounds if found. Please return to this notice board. Copy of Magical Theory. Nice. Hello, Ron. It's potions first, isn't it? I think it's down in one of the dungeons. Follow me, Harry. But the question was, is it potions? Not, where is potions? Booger flavor. Mmm, coffee. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that excited about coffee. I'm not. Fishy, sardine flavor. 
Oh. Okay. I didn't. I completely forgot that the secrets were like a huge thing in this game. Okay, can't go in there. So I can't wait to get into the Prisoner of Azkaban. Like, Chamber of Secrets is great, but Prisoner of Azkaban, that was the bomb to play. Oh, no, the sound's gonna play. No. Paracelsus. 1493-1541. Renowned physician, alchemist, and surgeon. The sounds. The sounds are going to play. There it starts. But Jesus, how long is this? Jesus. Okay, what did I say? Really? You're just gonna... I need to go and find Ron. I don't really need to go to find Ron, okay? Mm, toast! That crawl space was there, yep. Yeah. Uh, this is Chamber of Secrets, I swear. Mm, chocolate! This is all identical. Gotta love reused assets, you know? Including reused maps. Bogan. To be fair, this is a game made by EA. <laughs> to be fair. That atmosphere, though, my god. That's definitely an atmosphere change. There are packs. Card pack. Ooh. Right. Andros the Invincible. Felix Summerby. Honoria Nutcombe. Herman Wintringham. Alberic Grunion. Oh, Mr. Grunion did not look very happy. Oh, not the menus again. No, not the menus. Please, no. Make the sounds in my head stop, please. I mean, I'm not mad. It makes Hogwarts feel both... Uh, uh, makes Hogwarts feel real. Both games, same castle. This is also true. It's a uh, continuity. Cool, we have lost two beans. Just gonna go through people's stuff real quick. Oh, oh, bogey. A wizard card pack. And that's why you steal from your friends. Grogan Stump, Gulliver Pokeby. Balfour Blaine. Bridget Wenlock. Blenheim Stork. And now the voices continue. Mmm, marmalade. Uh, fun fact, I have never had marmalade. No idea mm, how it tastes. Toast. Oh. That's an interesting uh price. Uh where'd my beans go? Excuse me, I was not Rim. Thank mm, you. Curry. 
How can PS2 and GameCube official uh, game even more broken than an unreleased beta PC version? A wizard card. I know, right? Montague oh. Knight. I remember this card. 1506 to 1588. Wizard Chess Champion. I believe that was one of the cards that was included in the Chamber of Secrets for PC, if I'm not mistaken. That does... I, I'm reminded of that quite strongly, but not by PS2 standards. But yeah, definitely has... Uh, <laughs> seems to be uh, a little bit more broken than the uh, PC uh, beta. All right. Oh. Always starts freaking out once uh, the controller stops running. Oh Lord, have oh oh that lag. All right, Ron Roy. Ah, uh, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? No, oh, how dare you? Dare talk to me like that. I am the boy who hears things. Oh. Of course, Ron is literally right behind me. Ah, cool. Go, please let me go. Thank you. I actually don't remember potions being the very first, uh, the very first, uh, lesson. I actually thought it was going to be, uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts. Oh, then again, oh, here we go, controllers messed up again. Uh, then again, the movie, wasn't the first lesson potions, or was the first lesson, um... Welcome to Hogwarts. Hogwarts has four Transfiguration. houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. The hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of house points on any day. While you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the end of the year, <laughs> the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup. And let me tell you, it's about time ah, okay, Gryffindor so it was potions, won. yeah. Please try and remember, only prefects and teachers can award house points. And they can also take them away. Yeah, only prefects and teachers. Let's have a little flashback to Hermione. Come on, Harry. From the very first Better game. Moving. Giving me all those dungeons. points for the We're Aloha Mora spell. Late. Snape's uh, speech. Oh yeah, fame isn't everything. Mr. Potter. And of course, Hermione's beat us here. Double potions with the Slytherins. Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favors them. We'll be able to see if it's true. Well, oh God, oh their walks. It's oh, true then. Crab and Goyle. Harry Potter's come to Hogwarts. This is Crab, and this is Goyle, and my name is Malfoy, Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name is funny, do you? No need to ask yours. See, Red hair. Ron should already know room. the Malfoys. You must Come on. You're a Weasley. You'll soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends. What is Goyle doing sword. in the back? <laughs> I can see so like... there. I think I'm ready I can to tell leave. You the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz off, Potter. The lack of music makes this very unsettling. And they're gone. No sound of the door opening or closing, they're just gone. <sighs> the controller, no. 
I need to get a new USB cord for this uh, controller, Jesus. You are here to learn the subtle science <laughs> and exact art of potion making. As there is little foolish wand waving here, many of you will hardly believe this is magic. I don't expect you will really understand the beauty of this softly simmering cauldron with its shimmering fumes. The delicate power of liquids that creep through human veins, bewitching the mind, ensnaring the senses. Snape's eyes are very wide. Fame, brew glory, even stop a death. If you aren't as big a bunch of dunderheads as I usually have to teach, today you will learn how to mix a Wigan Weld healing potion. I want you all to collect the following. No, Snape, don't it. open menus, please. Asphodel, Dittany, Wigan Tree Bark, Molly, Failure. Ah, we're missing an ingredient. Oh, yeah. He had he, he opened up the menu. Help you with the first ingredient. Make sure you have the ingredients for your next potion blessing. It's defense against the dark arts with Professor Quiddle next. Oh, class dismissed. And it just assumes <laughs> that Harry just like. I'm just happy to be here. Oh, her face! Oh, oh no! Oh, these faces! Oh God, these faces! Oh, all of these faces are just. Mm. All of these faces are just not okay. The silence is fine. It's better than head. Oh no. I heard a little bit. Okay, anything I can ruin in here? Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Now get to your next lesson. What if I just... Well, the Chamber of Secrets, you could hit a teacher and they'd hit you back, I forget. Incendio! Actually, wait a minute. Is that the you next need spell? need to collect all those ingredients in time for the next potions lesson. We've got Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor now. Uh, where, where'd Hermione go? Is Hermione gone? No, Hermione's there. Okay. Am I supposed to go in here? Oh, no. It's a golden chest, though. Oh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a wizard card. <laughs> a wizard card. Herman Wintringham, nineteen seventy four to the present, plays loot with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. Nice. Mmm, curry. Oh, bogey. Wait. Oh, sprouts. Oh, sprouts. Revolting. Vomit flavor. Yuck! Grass flavor! I believe... Yeah, 50 is the max. <sighs> He's very dependent on Hedwig. Always thinking about Hedwig. Always missing Hedwig. Oh, she's a running. It's 
See, I wonder what's the difference, because the PS2 version of this was running horribly, but uh, the GameCube one is running just fine. I'm very curious to what, uh, as, as to why. I'm pretty sure the PS2 version uh, doesn't have these kind of issues. So after the stream, I might go ahead and take a gander and see if I can fix that. So that the next stream is a little bit more bearable. Harry, this lesson is with Professor Quirrell. I've been really looking forward to it. Oh, Hermione scares me sometimes. Class, today we are going to have a most illuminating experience. Oh, it's Lumos. Learn the wand lighting spell, Lumos. Not only Lumos. can this light be used to illuminate. We'll probably go ahead and finish uh, the Lumos uh, challenge and then go ahead and skedaddle for the night. Secrets. Lumos is also a useful spell to use against spectral beasts such as guy trashes and g g ghosts. Provided you b bathe them in the light from your wand. To learn the spell, you, you must each enter the spell challenge. Nibbled. How about you first? Cut their eyes. All the eyes are just very. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> your that turn, laugh. The Lumos. Book is located on the other side of the crawl space. Find it, and the spell will be yours. Neville almost you died, and he just did a light chuckle. Oh, God. Oh no, it's an- oh no, I made a goof, I made a goof, I opened up a book. Uh, Fully Brutalized Volume 1, general, unnamed, non-specific ghosts haunting the classrooms and corridors of Hogwarts, not house ghosts like nearly headless Nick. Uh, ghosts are only hurt by the light directed from a Lumos spell. Very use- oh, wait, 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 is there something else there? Wait. Oh, okay, so this is going to be uh, different uh, different enemies. All right, time for the sounds of... Yep, there they are. <laughs> they're just, oh, they're just waiting for me. A cauldron cake! Mmm, yay. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Wait, so a cage is over a here. Do I have to. Do, do I have to, like. Wait, how is this going to work then? Oh, my answer. Here they come. I did not expect that. Uh, dude, I'm so sorry about your family. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry about your family. You deserve to be upset right now. I apologize. Okay, and we're not doing challenge stars anymore. We're doing challenge, challenge shields. Mr. Potter, you need to collect them all for the highest grade. Dude, you don't know the power that I have. Never mind. Can I jump this? Uh, 
Well, that answers my question, but, uh... I'm just very sad now. Ooh. Okay, so where do I go first? Oh, this is, there's a whole, oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Oh my god, there's chests all over, okay, well, hey. Might as well get the chest first, you know. There are going to be cauldron cakes, so if they're all cauldron cakes, then I might... Ah, okay, so that's how you get them down there. Okay, there he go, that boy. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. A pumpkin pasty. Not bad, not bad. I have full health right now, so none of these uh, really work for me. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Flame the light. Ooh, I probably should have thought that one a little bit better. Alright, so I assume... Is there a way to get back up here? I don't really want to mess this up, but I also don't want to go too far with getting things right. That's what I did at the, uh, at the, um, the Dursley's house with the, uh, E3, uh, version. Oh, that's right. I have too many beans. A pumpkin pasty. See, I should have gone to Fred and George's shop and got the, um, the bean bag. Ah, it's time for Hedwig. But, do I need an owl treat for Hedwig? I don't think I have one. <laughs> See, I yelled Hedwig, Hedwig, and it didn't actually make the sound. But if I open up a menu, I'll scream Hedwig 50 times. Okay, so, yeah, I can't get that just yet, so let me go ahead and uh, skedaddle down here real quick. Oh god, that's terrifying. Oh god, there's both of them. Ah, 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 nope. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go up here real quick. And we're gonna get this. Home shield. And we're gonna go ahead and scream Hedwig and Incendio and all that good stuff while hearing the sounds of things that aren't there. After this. A wizard card. After this message. Oh, it's a uh, good old Eric Eric the, uh, the oddball, oddball again, or Yurik. I always call it Eric for some reason. Highly eccentric wizard who is famed, among other things, for wearing a jellyfish for a hat. Yay. The actual cue for head. I know, right? And. Yep, there's the sound effects. Home 
Blue Shield. Uh, so far, though, so good. No, uh, I haven't taken any damage yet. At least uh, cold and cakes don't kill me, like, uh, with some of the, um, with some of the, uh, particular... What's that sound? Oh, it's still going to the sound effects. Um, without that particular one glow. What is this? What is this? Oh, those were hinges. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing one of these chests are... Uh... Wait, did I get all the chests down now? Kim Pasty. Or did I miss one? Ah, there's the treat in the middle. Owl treats can be fed to owls to encourage them to do favors for you. Alright, so I gotta go bribe Hedwig real quick. Do the same way you can bribe me in real life. Bribe me with food. It's game over. Pizza, I'm all for it. Still playing. We are hearing an actual murder. He is not happy. <laughs> they can't open the door. Oh, and there's a spell book. Good. Oh, but there's a spell book. Someone, someone always coughs when this happens. Very 2021. <laughs> nice. Oh, cool. So I can come up here, but there's no actual reason for me to do so. Oh, okay. Oh, now he wants to shout it. <laughs> yeah, he didn't shout it when it when it counted. Oh God, I'm not gonna like this though. This is what gave me a, the creeps as a kid. Go ahead and make this uh, why, because uh, why not? <laughs> wow, the little Maybe I could use this to find my way out. Oh, it got angry. Oh, it got so angry. A cold it's so angry at me. Ah, and a little secret door, too. Wait. Are there any other explorables around here? Oh, it is not liking this at all. Okay. I feel as though the secret area is the one I'm actually supposed to go through. It's still going.
Let, let go. Thank you. Ah, okay. I knew that was going to do that. Sounds. This is, this is lovely. Just gonna keep on Lumos, just, oh. No, no, it's gonna be more sounds. I don't look forward to getting wizard cards in this game because it's just- A wizard card! Spawns pain and sadness. Dymphna Firmage. 1612 to 1698. Famously abducted by Pixies while on holiday in Cornwall and lived in mortal dread of them thereafter. Failed to persuade the Ministry of Magic to have all Pixies humanely destroyed. Jesus. It's a little... It's a little brutal. I don't remember that. A pumpkin pasty. Okay. All of these are good to go. I still am at max beans. Let me go through. Okay. Well, I thought that was going to be the right way. Hmm. Uh-oh. How far am I set back? Oh no. Did it? I didn't ask for... I mean, yeah, sure, thanks. I didn't ask for that, though. I had two notifications come in, apparently, but... Uh, okay. Um, but... <laughs> I think we finally broke it. Because it's, uh, it's not loading. <laughs> well, this has been a very interesting stream. I, yeah, Harry died permanently. <laughs> I think it's for the best, unfortunately. Well, that was an interesting stream. We failed terribly, but it was an interesting stream. Oh, my back. Uh, but yeah, I've been streaming since, technically, I've been streaming since like 6 p.m., so. 7, 8, 9, 7, 8, 9 10, 12, so what, two, eight hours? Jesus. Yeah. Well, I think that's a good place to stop as any my goodness well I wish this was a uh, more productive stream unfortunately we had quite a few hiccups uh, hopefully the next stream I'll figure out uh, what we can do to fix that uh, if for any reason we're having any issues with the ps2 version or the GameCube version if we can if we can't switch back and forth uh, we'll figure something out but otherwise yeah uh, so yeah this Saturday I am out and about so this Saturday is a no-go when it comes to streams. I will be here on Sunday, though, uh, to continue this playthrough. Um, if I do anything for streams tomorrow or Friday, it will... I'm not sure what we're going to play, actually. Oh, man, that was hilarious. Can't wait for the next one. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. ADC, thank you so much for enjoying this. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'll actually keep it on the GameCube version just for the just for the giggles. But, uh, oh my god, I, I, I did not know, I, I completely forgot just how interesting this game looked. So, especially with uh, Snape's face and a lot of the students' faces. Yeah. What a strange, strange game. Uh, let's switch that here. <laughs> we had, uh, I think, uh, at most two viewers, <laughs> including yourself. 
and that was it. Not a lot of people are interested in this, but I'm interested in this. That's the whole, that's the whole point of this, is just to have fun. So, without further ado, I believe that's going to be it. We almost hit the uh, two-hour mark, so not bad. Uh, I did not expect to play through the entire uh, E3 thing uh, for the previous stream, so that was pretty cool. We got that off uh, quite well. Watermouse, we're topping the two viewers again. <laughs> it's only you two. <laughs> Why is it <laughs> when something goes wrong, it is always you two? <laughs> Here to start to finish always uh, going viral. Oh, Lord. Oh, uh, not me. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. I'll figure out and see what we can do to fix things up, make things look a little bit better. Maybe I can fool around with some of the settings. But otherwise, I'm hoping to continue this um, particular stream. Otherwise, we'll switch to Chamber of Secrets for PC if I can't fix anything. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you did miss it. I'd say go back to it on the YouTube side of things, but uh, unfortunately, YouTube decided to continue the old stream with this stream. So the stream is about eight hours long now. Uh, yeah, that's true. You have school. How is school going for you so far, by the way? Might as well get a couple bits of small talk before you before we all have to skedaddle back to our lives. See, I'm, I've been done with this brisk iced tea, iced tea forever, Mike. These little driplets and droplets on the very bottom of the can. The can is what this gets me. Oh. It sucks. Why does it suck? What is it that is making school suck today? Is it a bad test? Or is it uh, students that you don't like? Is the teacher giving you bad grades when you know you deserve better? Uh, Final Fantasy Peasant might be on later tonight, so uh, I do have auto hosts enabled, so um, if you guys pop up on here, I will be hosting uh, Final Fantasy Peasant streams uh, just to try to get him in one or two more views. He's a really good, he's a really cool dude. I would heavily recommend you guys check him out, especially if you are uh, fans of Final Fantasy. He's amazing at what he does. Uh, I've known him for a while. Cool guy. Um, he's actually in my game, too, which is even better. Uh, let's see. We have part online and part in real life. Very annoying. You, you don't have a, like, a rhythm. All right. Uh, man, it was funny. The audio kept playing head with Kendall. <laughs> uh, I might have to, um, make that a clip. I'm not sure. Well, hopefully school will get a little bit better for you. A little bit nicer. I'll put you in my host list, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. I very much appreciate that. You don't have to, but thank you. Uh, we did make one new friend today. Um, as you can see, uh, Anastasia joined us. Joined the team. So, very glad we were able to get at least some stuff. And we had a, a quite a bit of viewers for the last stream, which is nice. This stream didn't get too much traction, but it was a lot of technical difficulties. <laughs> as uh, ADC definitely knows. But uh, anyways, uh, we'll call it a night for now. It'll be a clip in my head forever. Nice. <laughs> we'll call it uh, a night for now. Um, we'll figure out different days to do things. I do want to split up some of these days a little bit further or create a better scheduling. Um, actually, um, real quick, Watermouse, do you have uh, school every day? Or uh, are there particular days you don't go to school? Because uh, once it hits nighttime for me, uh, once I'm off of work, sometimes I'm, I'm free. So I might be able to do some extra streaming at night. Who knows? But ADC, thank you again for always joining us. Monday to Friday, yes sir. 
All right. Uh, yeah, you guys have been very, very supportive of what I'm doing. I appreciate it. I'm like I said, I'm very new to this thing, as you can tell by all the uh, difficulties we've been having. But I'm enjoying every second of it. So thank you very much for joining. Um, and like I said, this Saturday is canceled. I'll be going over to um, it's AFK's house. We're going to be watching the entire Lord of the Rings series from start to finish. That is 12 hours of watching movies. Uh, I should be back on Sunday. Uh, back to normal uh, stream schedules. Oh, by the way, what's up? What's up, Watermouse? I got my own emote now. Is that the Pikachu? I like the emote. I forget that you can share different emotes on different streams. I like that. Maybe I'll make some emotes for you guys. Always, man. I'll be back for sure. Thank you. Now, the next stream might not be Harry Potter. It might be Crisis Core. It might be Kingdom Hearts. Who knows? But we'll figure something out and we'll have a laugh every time. So I'll be glad to do something. Uh, I'm going to test <laughs> some of these things beforehand, though, just in case. Uh, so I know that this doesn't... Uh, happen too much and get settings figured out before you guys come along uh, so that we can all enjoy a nice stream but anyways that'll be enough for me go ahead and cut that and we're gonna go ahead and close that you want to stop current emulation yes I do never wanted to stop current emulation more but alrighty, that'll be it for now. You guys have a good rest of your night. Thank you as always for joining me. Uh, Watermouth, hope school goes decently for you. Uh, ADC, hopefully your day gets a lot better as well. Uh, quite a few people joined us uh, through today's uh, multiple streams, so thank you everybody for joining as well. And uh, Anastasia, thank you for uh, coming on along to the friend zone the friendships that we are making along the way our friend goal is just a little bit closer to what i would like to see it at and we're making friends very fast very fast so it's kind of cool so anyways y'all have a good rest of your night and i will see y'all again hopefully very soon all right goodbye for now <laughs>